Welcome everyone to Let's Get On With It Live, where we do, in fact, believe it or not, they said it couldn't be done, and that was kind of fucked up of them for doubting in us, for not believing, for choosing to pay attention to some, like, pools, hot tubs, and beaches broadcaster, uh, shaking their money makers, uh, and they do definitely make a lot of money <laughs> in exchange for subscriptions. You know what they're not doing, though? Getting, uh, gore-soaked in mortal glory, too. This is why I'm a cardboard box major. <laughs> I've made shitty decisions. My name is Griffith, your local necromancer, and we are back once more with Mortal Glory 2. The sequel to Mortal Glory It has been several days, and there has been yet another patch. Uh, I do not have a display of it available for you, uh, because that is that is incorrect professionalism on my part. But I can read. You like to read? No, you wouldn't like to read. Anyway, there's a button to the in that's been added to the inventory for forgetting skills. Uh, it's not hidden in the gear menu anymore. Uh, folks didn't notice there was an option for you to forget skills. There have also been a number of balance changes. Um, characters no longer count as dead for permanent death effects if they are resurrected before the end of the battle. That's noteworthy. Uh... Chad and I were collectively wondering whether you could resurrect someone in a fight if you had permanent death mode enabled, and what would happen if that happened. Uh, some various debuff stacks have been changed. Uh, random debuffs at the start of the battle can no longer cause rooted. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, damage and knockouts weren't uh, effectively crediting XP and damage credit to the person who was causing the knockout. When, like, the debuffs and environmental effects. Apparently, also, damaging objects was giving experience, and that's no longer the case. And, uh, experience from healing is also a thing, and apparently that has been increased, too. So there's your run-through. It's not a specific display. So it goes. Uh, the last time I played this game, I tried Master Difficulty on broadcast, and there were a number of flaws, which, in my gameplay which resulted in me getting my ass handed to me. Uh, after that broadcast, several hours later, I do believe, I did take it for another spin, and I'll show off my Discord, where I did post the images of that. They said it couldn't be done, but I won. Look at how many spell points this Umibozu has. It was fucking ridiculous. Uh, that termite box got blessed with plus 10 magic damage uh, from an event. One, Master Difficulty, and Awu, the fucking Abyss, Chain Man, and Slick and Swift. Uh, heavily focused in on the first two characters and picked up the other two later. And that just, like, there's some real fucking numbers there on those first two. <laughs> it was great. Uh, but the key there was the skills. Really, really helpful to have skills that are items that bypass protection entirely. Awu did, and all of those, like, 70% protection dudes waddling around with triple-digit hit points in the Emperor fight, not an issue. So yeah, I would say, as I wrote here, problems last broadcast, skill issue. Definitely a skill issue. On my part, so, understandably so, the, the higher you ascend in difficulty, the fewer routes you have to victory, and that is true of many, many video games. All right, glad I could have a, a scene for that setup, but not a scene for the actual update text. That's professionalism at work. As an aside, my microphone is going to sound different compared to the other Mortal Glory 2 broadcasts I've been doing. I have been labbing the transitional microphone. We'll see where the road takes us with that. If you report it, if you have any issues, report it to your local chat window. Options. We'll turn off the fast AI fast looting. We'll just soak in the atmosphere for now. Hello, hello, hello. New game. No need for master. Set this back to normal. Ooh. What 
classes do I have left? Some. The answer is some. Who do I feel like using? If I get to need to go in order, it's gonna be the kids soon, eh? But do I want to continue going in order? As we go into endless, the fights get harder and harder. How long can you last? So, in in the first game, you were able to, like, find beast characters to put on the team, rarely. I, I haven't seen any beast characters appear in shops. Uh, and I doubt that changes for endless mode. So that's unfortunate. I guess it could be the Kitsune that I start with here on endless. Sure, why not? Cautious start? Nah, we'll let it ride. How do I feel about this stat breakout, you know? That works for me. 1718. Give me a team name. Stop. Champions of Scourge. And our founding character, uh, which can be renamed by chat at any time for 10,000 points. It's a stiff price to have your name recorded in the annals of, of lore, the chronicles of legacy and what have you. Madoka. Cool. We have our racial skill spirit projection, blue skill, yellow skill, green relic, sunny gold. That's green, blue book, green, yellow book. Any challenges I want to take on? Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it be as is. We're going for endless Imanovi. That's what it says there. The fights will get harder and harder. How long can you last? We're going for eventual death and ruin. That's that's how it goes there, up there here in the streets of the gladiatorial fighting. How endless is endless? Hold that thought. How much spell juice do I got? 30. I need a kill spell. I think that's going to be overgrowth here. Yeah, I think that's going to be overgrowth, not Cyclone Shock. Cyclone Shock could definitely be a kill spell. It's got a range of one, though, and I, I don't want to get in a range of one. Overgrowth, though, applying rooted to target. That's going to help keep the distance. I think the second skill I'm going to take up here is going to be Chaotic Blessing. Applies a random buff to a friendly unit. Targets friendly units. Could definitely be helpful. Especially that I know that Berserk can't be on the list of uh, random buffs anymore. We could uh, potentially go into Calming Touch. That's 300% of remaining AP. Times 3. Plus 6. We'll pick Chaotic Blessing. You absolutely could slam them into yourself if with Cyclone Shock. 100%. Could fuck yourself. Do not want to identify Egg. If this character gets knocked out, that's a problem. Uh, prickly Boots are pretty nifty. Uh, to be able to walk around and deal some incidental damage here at the start. But I think I'm going to go with Throwing Mittens. If this character is going to be next to a barrel, I want to be able to surprise fling that fucker into an enemy. With our one strength. So it looks like endless mode will also have the same sort of routing that we see. And bosses at the end of it. How long can we last? I don't know the answer to that question. We've got a way station to pick up Gladiator. And route these two books. Third one, fourth one, fifth event. Fifth event, maybe. All three of these offer gladiators. I might... Oh, I can't get to that shop without also taking that shop. I don't want to take too many shops. It's kind of like a waste of space. Let's have a look at elites. Yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to look. I I mean, it stands to reason that you could reuse the same, like, structure as this. Um, 
I don't know how level four will look. Perhaps the same as the others we've seen thus far. It is a mystery. Also looks like I can't have more than one elite here. No, I can. It can be done. They said it couldn't be done. So... What I can do is... Take one of these shops. Go to this event, go to this event. I would still like to be able to highlight these paths. And instead of taking this event, we take this elite. We're missing out on... Three events to grab another elite? Hmm... Am I good with that? No, the events could be anything. They could be disappointments or they could be glory. The Apprentices of Destruction! It'll be uh, interesting to play this on normal difficulty again without any glory modifiers. Because uh, my last run of this was on Master and... Woof. <laughs> Some mastery was required. That's right, they're, they're not starting off at flawless intellect. I've got to warm up. You're doing great out there. Spiky defense? Sure. Go get him, kid. What an exciting fight to watch. Oh, tremendous. No need for me to get closer. My specter was full of so much blood. Okay, slight concern in me taking the buff there. I don't... Because I chose to cast a buff, I don't have enough blue juice to throw down my third overgrowth for a kill. Hey, lethal. Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't you attack? <laughs> Why did you shimmy? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Note that we don't get the knockout credit for our Spectre <laughs> being the one to get the kill. But per the latest patch, uh... I think it was 1.0.3, so not the latest patch. Damage and knockouts dealt by summoned units will now give experience to the summoner equal to the amount the summoner would have gained by dealing the damage or knockouts by themselves. So, the copy of this Kitsune got the knockout, but ostensibly we got all the experience from that. Imanovi, what is... what is wrong? How are you having such difficulty processing these things? Like, okay? We're at the very beginning baby fight, and the skill of the AI specters that we summon are also being hampered, as would presumably be every summon. What is the problem? Can you mechanically swear to the performance differences between 32% and 64% or 100%? I rest my case. It'll be okay. You can figure it out by not figuring it out. It's easy. Just stop thinking. Good, use the crit there. Great, great. You have 30. Show me intelligence or wisdom. That's regeneration. That's... 
sure. Well. Boop. I'm going to attribute the, uh, the terrible intelligence to why the Spectre did a shimmy around. <laughs> But I have, uh, I have seen the AI even on its max intelligence, either by being late in a run or by starting with it, do some questionable shuffling. But in other times, they've also dunked on me, so your mileage will vary. Yuck. I don't want that right now. I guess it's gonna be you, Kimmy. With your 12 HP. Do I even want any of you two gross fucks? Would I just take this coat? I might just take that coat. It's 13 protection, 4 crit chance, and 24 HP. That's not increasing my kill speed. Directly. I can also take this plus three wisdom. I think I'm going to take this coat. I could sell this book and buy that elixir of agility. That gets us a th our third action point. So 48 hit points, still 30 spell points. Uh, we don't have a weapon. When we run out of spell juice, it's still one physical damage for us. Let's see how that goes, though. And uh, maybe get another body from one of these events. It's true, Death Heaven. The Reapers of Butchery. Speaking of barrel shenanigans. Mana Fiend? Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna eat me for 15, huh? And that outreaches my rooted? My overgrowth, I should say? Maybe I can get Liliana to waste it on the spear projection. I want to get an angle where I can shove a barrel into this dryad with my throwing mittens, but the arena features are making that a pain in the ass. Like, I'm not going to be able to shove this way. I could shove into that clump. No, I couldn't, can't, because that's in the way. I, if I shove this way, it would just immediately fling into that wall. Uh can't get an angle to shove that in a satisfactory way unless I were to shove it here. I would need to get the dryad around here? Griffith wrinkles his face. Not impossible. A range of two, right? I might be able to lure this dryad in using clever antics. Like that. Clever antics. Oh. Oh, hey, you actually had enough spell power to fling out one of those. Nice. I also forgot the dryad had went first, so. That naturally did derail my plan. <laughs> cool. That's okay, though. We got some extra damage thrown down there. And Mana Fiend did get used. Which means I feel much better about this shit now. Damn right you had to pass. Pollet. Trollop. Yes, mm, yes. With your nine physical damage. That's a... Uh... It's a slight issue. 
Yes. 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 <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> that armor does not help me. Eh? We're going to need some spell points. Earth, please. You know what? Lethal. Quit trying to dictate my emotional responses. Grandma, you're becoming too angry. Grandma, you're being too sad. Grandma, you need to eat more. Grandma, please. How about you get your own child slash pet slash other dependent and order them around? <laughs> Grimm, you should take a page out of Sally Strother's book. Viewer looks up from whatever else they're doing at the screen. Grimm, who is Sally Struthers? Uh... I could take physical damage and double my physical damage right now, chat room. There we go, Summer. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits and wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate. I feel for humans at this micro instant. You hate, hate. Like, streamer, you're having too much joy with the thing. Streamer, you're not being engaging enough. Streamer, you need to talk every eight seconds. <laughs> Open abyss. Throw lethal in because he's a thin boy now. No, Griffith, I'm exercising. I have muscles now. You're a thin boy. Shut up. <laughs> Get in there. I guess I'm taking vicious. Because I'm not taking hemophilia and eating minus 10 HP right now. And I'm not taking amnesiac. That's correct. Forrester! Arlen was definitely confused looking at that event. It was a pure positive. A perk that wasn't covert. I rolled that on that werewolf that I did in the master difficulty run. Off stream. And I was like, oh, fuck my life, why is it covert again? Also, shout out to these enemies I'm facing having a fucking weapon. Like, oh no! Like, like, this is some pretty good gear. With a hasty teleport, could go anywhere. Could literally be anywhere. Surprise, boop, attack. No barrels. You go next. One and then one, two, three. So if I put someone here, be hunky dory. <laughs> Spectre, like something like half your stats. Spectre is, in fact, half your stats and no items. So, that ain't the Ignite, so I don't get the free attack from that. That's understandable. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me, though. It's gonna suck. I'm... Mild concerns of my ability to win this. Good news, though. Another Ignite can't be thrown at me. That's good. That hasty teleport could go anywhere. 
Didn't go next to me. Holy fuck. They said it couldn't be done. They're talking a bunch of shit like lethal. <laughs> Always trying to dictate what you can and can't do. Lethal's the cops, guys. I think I'm gonna wait until I can summon my spirit projection. Nah, I think it'll be fine. You know, I thought maybe I'd roll a crit there. We didn't. Cool, I'll use my 12 agility to do nothing. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I have vicious. I was like, wait, I, I have one damage and I crit it for three? Round it up, bank error my favor. Damn it, another piece of armor. Great. Fucking great. Let me put that on. Oh, wait. I can only wear a coat. I can't wear anything under a coat. We call that a coat? I guess that's all we can manage for a coat in this fucking economy. Coat. Coat. In quotation marks. Can't wear you can't wear clothes under a coat. A tunic? Incorrect. I suppose there's already a layer there, right, on the Kitsune. I haven't played enough sexy games compared to you, Lethal, that's my problem. You are you are well versed in Kitsune lore. And physiology. Like, blind, extraordinary-looking woman approaches you. There's a whole lot of bloom on that on that woman. Is that why they're extraordinary? I see where destiny leads you, Madoka. You need but n a nudge towards it. Choose your blessing. Give me a random perk. Show me covert! <laughs> Madoka suddenly feels more unique. It's agile, plus six agility. Okay. Well, that'll help the AP and the crit chance with my one damage. My kingdom for a weapon. <laughs> Maybe I'll find one here. This was the only round I could have chosen to find a weapon. And it's not like I would have suspected that I never would have found a weapon when I started on this path. Yeah, I'm still in the bargaining phase. Good, 1v2. Oh, I can take the extra challenge for two armor. I do not have the killing power required to win this fight. Unless there are barrels. Okay. There are barrels. It's not a no. That's not a no. Um, I haven't seen multiple armors in Object Dev Evan. Ugh. Okay, so I move up three here, and I fling the barrel how many spaces? Six. If only this tooltip showed me that it was six. One, two, three, four, collides. 
for three, six damage, blows up, sets them both on fire. Then the Whisperer moves and hits me, probably with a Mending Bolt to heal. So that erases all the damage I dealt uh, with the collision, but there is the barrel damage. And then the Chained with the Soul Chain likely pulls me into a place to kidney punch me and make me cry. Great. Cool. Good thing I have hit points. Hey, what if I don't choose that path? <laughs> if I don't approach them, what am I hoping that one of them moves to this space and then collide with that? Is that what I'm trying to fish for? But I would need multiple turns to get over there and then shove. I don't think that should be my opener. I'm thinking about line of sight this Whisper is going to have with an attack. It's a range of four. Okay. There you go. I concede I did not account for the possibility of the Whisperer doing that, but I suppose since I put both of myself and my clone out of range, the Whisperer was not able to get a strike in to heal and thus burn to death. Alright, that worked. Oh, hey, a weapon! Whoa! 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 Wow. They said it couldn't be done. I think I'm going to pick up Rain and Knives here as a flat area of effect damage that is not dependent on mana. So where is this forget skill up? Oh, there it is. How about that? Just a button right there. Okay. And 10 crit chance on top of that. Okay. That's right, the power of flame compels you. I guess. Ranger! Wow! Choose one green armor. Really, really, really helping me feel better about this choice to buy a blue armor. Instead of like a plus three wisdom potion. Really helping me do that. Yeah. No, this was, this definitely helped for survivability. This was the correct choice. I guess I'll take this. But I'm not putting it on. Green Relic, we can make use of- Oh! More- If only we could wear two sets of mittens, but you can't stack uh, the same Relic. Should have looked at this first. Consume mana is. I mean, prickly boots would be nice for the incidental damage if I run out of spell juice. But what if I just had fifty more spell juice? Think about it. One v three? How about no? There is definitely experience value and, like, incidental value in taking, like, all these challenges that pop up. Uh, doubtlessly. Like, you succeed, that allows you to pile on more challenges, which allows you to pile on more challenges, which allows you to pile on more challenges. Here's the thing, I could make use of a procurement order right now. They don't have that. It's a lot of physical damage I'm looking at. And I am but one lad.
There are barrels. The Megatsune. You too have heard of the ancient Reign of Knives tech. So I can get the barrels away from me, but I can't cause a collision. The dwarf will get to move first. The dwarf will get to move here and then reach out with Reina and I's five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Does that have to target an ability or a space? Any tile. So could target here, which means I could be hit on this row. So if I don't want to get hit by Rain and Knives this turn, well, next turn, I have to stay on this row. But I can't stay on this row and line up an attack with this barrel. Because if our dwarf friend steps here to understandably attack me and thus blow up this barrel with the rain of knives, uh, that means that I am not on a line to push that, actually. Because I can re-diagonal. Shut, shut up. Fuck you. That doesn't assist me at all. Meaning... I do what, exactly? <laughs> If I summon my Spectre this turn, the Spectre is just going to move out and then get rainonized by the Dwarf. Good. Good. This is what I wanted. Tally ho! Gonna ask a little of agility. Nice crit. I'm thinking about positioning and getting a barrel slung into me, which is why I'm hesitating on this.
I believe I have stopped caring. If anything, the dwarf might summon a barrel to hit it with the mending jab and heal. That would, uh, no. That would actually be a more reasonable idea, I think, than any damage that a barrel flung at me could do. Yeah, I'll stand here. Do what you gotta do. It makes sense. If you, like, moved here and put a barrel there, one, two, and then, like, collision damage, that would only, like, that wouldn't break the barrel unless it were explosive barrel. Really glad I picked up these throwing mittens. And that there were barrels on the board there. I might have been able to 1-3-3 three, three that. Maybe. An extra opponent would have added some pathing complications. Oh, I can get some wisdom? Wait. You heard about some wisdom? Have you heard about the wisdom? The good word. We'll take it. I went close to running out of MP in that fight, but I still think that's better for me to bring along than something else. I think I'll stay on this path. Do I want to explore the tower? For 70 experience points just on one character? Maybe get an item out of this? Uh, I'll try checking the item. Three strength, one vitality. Oh, good, more armor. Yikes. We'll roll for random unremovable debuff. Vulnerable. Ooh, uh, vulnerable. That's minus 50 protection. I have zero protection. I am quite damageable. What's the range of magic needle? Five? Five. You have two AP. You've got a crippling throw. Okay. With a bold charge. Crippling throw has a range of five as well. Yeah, I don't think that's realistic. The spirit will just have to get hit by that. Stay away from this barrel. Place here. As for me, I could stay back, but I want to hit this Minotaur with this. In addition to hitting the fire barrel. Nice crit. You'll love to see it. Rain of knives? Hey. Hey, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> that works. Okay. That definitely did resolve that situation. Cool. Wonder Bubbles. So... I would expect... Moving blocks me from getting soul-chained up there. 
uh, magic needle likely gets applied to this kitsune. Or, you know, we just uh, grab piercing spirit. And despite us being vulnerable, we don't give a fuck. Survived having vulnerable. Challenge complete. And a skill. Mm, we can make it be Mending Bolt. Us having a little bit of incidental healing and also like an extra bit of damage? I'm willing to accept that. We have the MP for it. I'm willing to accept these charges. Sure. Event me! No. Not before an elite. Go fuck yourself. You're not worthy. Fucking kid. I take that, and then my next event is like, Hey, Bart, I want to fight you again! No. That whole event chain relic, we've done that twice, has not been worth it every single time. How many characters are tougher than plus fives? Plus fives. For a green gadget. Patchy terrain, so knockback chance has tripled, huh? Knockback chance has tripled, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Barrels? Barrels. A lot of barrels. Okay. Okay. Really glad I took these mittens. Really enjoying these. I like the beast coloration there, this Undine, or at least just some different coloration of the uh, unit display. Press T to turn off tooltips. We're gonna come over here and do that. So I can like move my mouse to show things to you, the viewer, in contemplation. I think it's gonna be me shoving this barrel. I don't see any punishment that could come from this. And this vampire is about to go flying. I went skydiving, <laughs> Rocky Mountain climbing. Yes, the Spectre did technically get healed. <laughs> That's indisputable. Okay. Is flinging this barrel into this Undine better than me attacking? It can't be. Do I want to group Annihilate? Because I can fling the barrel into there, cause some collision damage. I think I actually will. Sure. 
Yeah, that was better. That's plus five. We drink your blood in the midnight skies are red. We drink, we drink, we drink your blood. son. <laughs> Anyway, so there I was. I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that back, all right. Would I like a physical damage weapon or a physical damage weapon or a physical damage weapon? This one has men's spirit. I like the tin protection there on that hammer. Maybe grab an extra AP here for a prospective second gladiator. Oh, but do my eyes deceive me? Is you know what? I like these choices. So unstable passage, teleport to target location, deal damage to all units between. That's a nice way to deal like. Group damage, you don't need line of sight. You can target any tile without walls or units. It's a nice way for all of you to, to boogie out of a bad spot. Nature's embrace doesn't consume a turn and applies rooted to all enemies. Mwah. That's that's yummy. And then a straight up lightning. That's magic damage plus seven. That does not deal piercing damage, notably. <sighs> Or I could skip. I don't think I'm skipping here. I think I'm replacing the Chaotic Blessing. As nifty as a random buff that doesn't consume a, a turn is. I like the Reign of Nye's area of effect damage that they can apply. And I'm not skittish about taking Nature's Embrace because I have this mana potion. Yeah, Rooted means they can't use their AP for movement. We've been having good fun with that overgrowth. Lightning, like, the value in lightning is just... Especially if I get a way to spread, like, a bunch of liquid around, which I did in my master uh, playthrough I did off-stream, where uh, I had someone, like, with, like, the boots of, like, Inevitable End or whatever that, like, causes them one damage with every step that gives them plus five AP, which means they bleed on every square. That means you could do some connective tissueing between, like, two, uh, two different groups. Or if other enemies move onto that blood on their turn. That's a quits, or drawback. Lightning could also end up hitting my characters because of that same, like, effect spread. But what other characters, he said. If I took Lightning, I might get rid of Mending Bolt, as opposed to uh, Chaotic Blessing. I can always just put off the level. Let's see what this event and a shop have for me before I pick the level up. Mana Conduit, dealing a knockout to an enemy, restores 40 MP. One could make an argument that's superior to the Mana Potion. Provided this unit gets the knockouts. Okay! So we're definitely picking up a second here.
And if I don't re-roll, it's gonna be this angel. Can I swing the angel money? Yes, I can swing the angel money, and I pick up the enchanted pendant. Safrina is gonna be flexible in both the physical damage and magic damage-wise. That's... I would like to see a commitment in one category or another, and just give me the extra points in agility. Or vitality. I'm not willing to re-roll the shop, though, to go fishing for another gladiator. I think I can be satisfied with taking the angel. What equipment do I want to give the angel? Like this... This... What's your agility? Three. Probably that armor over over the extra AP. Do it. I want the five agility on more than the ten protection. I'm willing to trade 10 protection for 5 agility on this character. I think so. Do I want the 4 wisdom armor? No, I think I would rather have the 4 agility armor than the 4 wisdom armor here. Yeah, I think that'll be able to break down. Alright. Gotta have some action points that you can move and attack. That gives me enough juice to buy a... an item worth a damn. If I re-roll, I probably won't be able to afford whatever ends up in this slot. So do I want this slot? Stu Concussion is neat, but does not assist me right now. I don't... I'm not too motivated about grabbing a third gladiator here at this time. Free soil and a remote detonation aren't going to do it for me. This guitar does advance my magic damage. I lose out on crit chance. If I equip this, though, I think it would be on Safrina, which would cause me to lose the 10 protection. The reason why I would equip it on Safrina is because I don't know where we're going with this angel yet. This battle mount would definitely go on Safrina, but Safrina is a tale of two halves. I think I'm gonna reroll. Okay. Uh, 
I could pick up a third gladiator. I would actually be able to afford it. Just saying no, I'll pick up a... I'll pick up another body in the next act. Some point in time, I do believe. Explosive bombs, nifty. I'm gonna grab this ornate sword. It speaks to me. It says, how the fuck do you do? Could also be this battle mallet. So the ornate sword gives me three action points. I would put that on the Kitsune. That would give me seven AP. Which is nifty, but I would end up replacing that anyway. That also gives me an extra five magic damage. Which is good. For sure. This battle mallet is three of the protection that's from this. Because uh, each point of vitality adds a point of protection. Uh, 12 physical damage and 12 HP with 32 knockback chance give me something to work with here. Even if skills don't line up. I'm going to take that. Which means we sell this. I put this on. And now I know where I'm going with you. Let's remove Minding Bolt, he said, shaking his head. Chaotic Blessing, Red Nature's Embrace. Okay. That's the end of our shopping. Cool. Barbarians of Eradication, a 2v2. We have the giant slitherer up here with lightning, drain life, sudden gust, a mending stone. A visionary every time... Kaz Thaltu uses a skill, gets a different skill. I can isolate these two already. These are all range four. Nice crit. Okay. If we stay on this line, the giant slither shouldn't be able to hit us. All those are range four abilities. So we're on this line, we're golden. With that in mind. to step in front of me, huh? I appreciate you body blocking. It's very thoughtful of you. Protect the master. Master! Master! <laughs> cool. you love to see it. What's our blue skill gonna be? Electric incision, perhaps? I... Yeah... Maybe? I could make an argument for prolonged death here. 
So Frida could definitely have something to do there on a on a turn. She did use both of those abilities though. Think of electric incision. Repel, reposition. Or mud pillar. Mud pillar is pretty nifty. So is repel. So is reposition, though. You had to build up a charge. Mud pillar doesn't need line of sight. Any tile without target or walls, walls or units. A mud pillar blocks moving a line of sight. It could also be something that you end up like using to like collide an object into. We're gonna pick that up. Is that more useful to me than three strength, one vitality? I think so, yes. Could be. Do I change the order of these two characters? No. I'm willing to have the Mud Pillar be something that we play around with on the Kitsune's next turn. I could also put this on the Kitsune, but then I don't have my fun barrel of fling with the Kitsune. I'd have to do it with the Angel, or not at all, and I kind of do want to do it with the uh, Kitsune. Go ahead and take this. Okay. That's that. Phase two. Woo! How's our route look? Bloody? I think bloody is the answer. So here can route me to either of these shops, which I like the prospect of. I take this fight, and then I go down... Take this fight, go down this line to grab this elite. Bounce to this elite, this fight... That? Is there a route I like better? I don't see a shop until the end where I can pick up my third gladiator. Unless I pick up one from an event, so I'm gonna be, uh... Two-manning this the entire level, which um, we could swing. Random unremovable debuff. Let's try it. Wind Affliction and Terrified. So Wind Affliction means that I'm going to be flung back three tiles towards a random direction at the end of my turn. So I could end up going forward. I could end up going back. I could end up getting collided with an ally. We go forward, we go back. That dwarf, by the way, 6 AP on 8 agility. What the fuck ever, right? <laughs> no moving. Good crit. You'll love to see it. You'll love to fucking see it. I'm not in range to do anything. My attacks. On my angel. And there's nothing I... I feel compelled to mud pillar here. I don't have a barrel that I can use, and this dwarf has 6 AP, and so we'll be able to perfectly get into a range to attack out whatever way it desires on its turn. On their turn. No mana left, though, to ignite or decompose matter. That's nice. Thanks to the spirit shelter. It just got barrel. You know, summon barrel. As one does. We'll just move like this, then. Sure. Okay. Ah, 
I think I will keep back. What's your knockback? What's your knockback? I'll end my turn here. I have wind affliction, so we'll see whether I mm, we'll see whether I actually end my turn there. Okay. Barrel can get sent into the both of us here then. It will not be. Okay, that's a choice that you could make. That was a mechanically legal choice that you were allowed to perform. Indisputably so. That will not kill without a crit. I want a mud pillar here? You have 4 AP. I think I want to block this barrel coming in at us. Ah, oh, haste. Yeah, you can attack whoever you want. Trying for the knockback chance there. Good crit. Good crit. <laughs> Green armor. Uh, that's five agility. Five agility does beat four agility. I did the math. Checks out. Skill here. Could be repealing thrust. Could be a mending jab, but I don't think I would read it. You know, I'm not opposed to the idea of reading. I'm not a tackle. Probably more inclined to read this tackle to help this angel close the distance and the uh in the build that's happening here of a tale of two halves Half. as my friend dan uh said in our last session of Baldur's gate 3 we uh this past saturday we started a new run because the saturday before we uh we cleared our playthrough off and off uh off and off. Yeah. It's less damage. Man, that heal could be meaningful. Now that we have the fourth AP, we can close a gap. I do rate that higher than a tackle. I think. Safrina can become deadly, but she would also have to become incompetent. So that's plus nine physical damage in exchange for plus one to skill cooldowns. I'm not willing to eat that negative perk. So you could work around that? Um, for ejemplo, if you had an Everleaf, your skill cooldowns would uh, be nullified, but like the use of any skill ends your turn. In exchange for a nine physical damage. That only helps this skill, but obviously we have a flat 22 here. That really gives us some direction here with this angel. It also ends up consuming a perk slot. Which... Uh, endless, you know? Could eventually fill all these up. I've talked myself into it. The incompetent angel. <laughs> the mage gently touches the angel. Hmm. I need an adult. Recruits of Desecration? We could turn this into a 2v3 for a green armor. 
see what kind of skills we can find for the angel to lean into this uh, attacking. This elf has a shitload of MP. Uh, thanks to that robe that provides plus 88 MP and doesn't have anything to synergize off of it. That's how it goes sometimes, you know? Weeping Keepsake, Last Hurting Frost, Rending Throw, this Fiendling. You know, it's nice to see enemies on level 2 with just, like, blue and green items <laughs> instead of... <laughs> and not even all fully equipped. Ugh. What a time to be alive. I'm willing to take a third here. This third is a lizard and does have a good chunk of health. 3 AP on this lizard. They all have 3 AP. Elf can always speed up. I think we can take that. We do outspeed them, only just. Let's see if there are any barrels. Hmm, critter here. I'm gonna try this for green armor. No barrels, okay. Pity about the barrels. Fisk disc. has a range of six, but there should be enough terrain around here that uh, this elf will not be able to fling this damn thing. Because that does require a line of sight. So I can put my uh, my sphere projection here. And then we could accomplish like a rain of knives. Mm, maybe I put that further back. Because of this. I don't think that line of sight will allow a hit there, but I'm a little, a little skittish. But this should be perfectly fine. But the fifth time, the fifth time was the correct time. Good. What do you mean there wasn't a crit there? Damn it. It's three enemies grouped up. I think we go for that. Yeah. So it goes. This will kill here. We take those. We take victories. It has an area effect of two. It sure does. I say not believing what I saw in front of me with my own eyes and choosing instead to mouse over the tooltip. <laughs> take two damage every time I move. I definitely want to move back a space. And I am in range to do this. Cool. You can stay there. No, where's the specter body? Come on. Okay. We don't even need to do that. We'll just kill. Okay. 
Okay. Can I take a hit? Even with like a knockback? Yes. I will not move then. I will do a mending bolt. Yeah, I can take a hit. <laughs> I crunched some numbers. Looks like I can take a hit. Cool. This clove. Whatever. Tunic for selling. This challenge armor is just going to be some clothes for selling. Eight gold and a blue skill. Resuscitate. Demoralizing shout. Sharpen resolve. I do like a sharpen resolve. Applies piercing resolve to target. Half of your damage is piercing. Pretty damn handy. Now that I can dance. This would be something that we would want on a physical attacker, such as the angel. And looking at the electric incision, I'm just kind of like shrug with that. It's the same as physical damage, except if there's liquids. Which I just haven't made any use of at all. It's not to say that they can't be useful, just... It's gonna be, like, more positioning thoughts. I mean, this is a... A much less damaging skill for me. But could end up being of assistance. Let's drop the electric incision and pick up Sharpen Resolve. You know, I do lose out on, you know, potential selling every time I do one of those. It's okay. Be behind the potion shop? Let's go this way. What would I like to get upgraded here? Summon Pillar. I give the Summon Pillar 10 physical damage. I give the Summon Pillar 10 magic damage. I think I'm going to give the Summon Pillar 10 physical damage. That's a... Sharpen that Earth Rune. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a... Uh, that's pretty frightening. Decapitators of the Hungry Ones? I don't think I'm going to give them a clone. In exchange for blue armor and green. We're facing a beast here. It's already a 2v3. We're seeing a focused assault on this Umibozu. That's a very lovely skill. Combined with a procurement order, so we're going to have a bunch of barrels on this battlefield. Hopefully uh, we can leverage those and resuscitate on the uh, beast. Beast uh, is not too spooky. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not barrel flinging time. Not this turn, anyway. Y'all stay the fucking place. While I uh, try to lab this. Do not stand on this line. That would be a focused assault. What, try pitching this in? All surrounding units are knocked back five tiles. So, I could knock this back. But it also would be at the end of my turn. So one, two, three, four, five. So at my turn end, I would be here. I could have the angel do it to be here. The angel would move to this space and then ha-cha. Yeah, push ends the turn. It's a melee attack. Like if I had a way to destroy the barrel without ending my turn, then yes. No, there is an item that allows you to have it a free action. I think it's a, a purple item, though. I just get plus five to my knockback distance, which is how I've actually been flinging barrels of the Kitsune. Otherwise, I just have a knockback distance of one and the barrels would go nowhere. But yes, that is an item. That's good thinking. I could still do that with the angel to get the angel to move like an extra space forward if I didn't want to take like a separate approach.
If I just rain and knives this glump, this doesn't do anything for me, but get like a random environmental tile on all surrounding tiles, which could just be water. If I come over here and fling this up, I fling it up six. Which puts it here for like a setup for my uh my Spectre to be on the Fiendling. But ideally my Spectre might, you know, hit that glump instead. Which I can't hit that bare roll. I could just hit those two with a rain of knives. I think it's worth me doing. Let's put the spirit here. Keep in mind, my spirit doesn't have my items. My spirit can't go, whoa! And next turn, I could fling that explosive barrel into this. Although the elf would no longer be rooted and so would... No, I act before the elf. So let's keep my specter from getting in on this action. I don't want the specter to, like, move here, for example. That would... Frustrate me. <laughs> we just have the specter here. And what I can do here with this Umibozu... Thinking. I don't want to be on this line, uh, because the Umibozu could focus to salt me down. But I could create a pillar to prevent the Umibozu from doing that, if I wanted to move on this line. Bummer, but combustion gonna happen. I could have made it so that the specter didn't immediately hit that, though. And uh, was out of range and actually got to take a turn and do some cool actions. But I didn't. I'm bad at games. Build up a charge of otherworldly play with that. That's not atrocious damage. Um, not in range here. If I kill, could be at range for a focused assault. Let's stand here. No, I don't want to stand there and kill because I might roll a knockback and harm my uh, Kitsune. How do I execute this? I think I'll stand here. Heal up. Whoop. Kill that, and we deal so much physical damage with this angel. Green Relic. Um, I'm just going to say it's a sell item. A Vampiric Swipe is not... It does more for us than a Mending Jab. It does way for more for us than a Mending Jab. That scales. This Kitsune has been offered physical damage so many fucking times. <laughs> I'm going to take the crit chance here. All right, magic damage. Cool. All right, 
40% crit chance with a 24 base magic damage. We have Vicious so that we deal 33% uh, extra damage. Kitsune could stand to have more health. That, uh, that code's putting in some real work. We, we had an option to grab some hit points at that level. Man in fancy armor approaches you. Aren't you in luck, Traveler? I have a collection of rare equipment for sale. If you are interested, only one per customer, though. Okay. This is worth a thank. The dagger is shrouds. On melee attacks, spawn thick smoke on target. That's a... That's a neat effect in that that thick smoke blocks line of sight. Which means that your opponent... Uh, would be forced to move in order to do some of their stuff. The caveat is that you wouldn't be able to target that space if you need line of sight for, like, say, your other characters. Acid Dagger. Normal melee attacks always deal piercing damage equal to 10% targets max HP. That's an interesting item I can't recall ever seeing. So, what's that? You deal one physical damage? No, you don't. You deal piercing damage equal to 10% of the target's max HP. Piercing damage bypasses all protection. So you're dealing 10% of their max HP, and, uh... I presume that can crit? It does say always, 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 but I presume it could crit. Which means we could kill anyone with the Kitsune in four turns of melee? <laughs> Let's see here, we have Knight's Veil, 13 protection, 3 AP, this unit bleeds thick smoke. Strong argument to put this on the Angel. Um, for the extra maneuverability. That help, that makes the Angel, like that puts the AP at five as opposed to four. We do lose out on the benefits of five agility. But we gain an extra five protection. And it doesn't mean the unit bleeds thick smoke, so whenever this angel takes damage, thick smoke is put on the battle map, which could end up hiding the angel from like range retribution. And then we have Phantom's Will, 3 AP, 18 crit chance. This unit gets knocked out and explodes, dealing 10 damage to surrounding units. I am reluctant to put this on the Kitsune to lose that protection and those hit points. That's not a choice I'm willing to make. If I'm going to make a purchase here, I do find the Acid Dagger like a nifty like idea. But the Knight's Veil is... Um... Here's what I'm thinking, though. These items are not so compelling for me that I would take them and wear them and keep them for the rest of the run. Of these, I like the Acid Dagger the most because of an option that it affords me if I run into, like, a buzzsaw of an ass load of, like, vitality. Since I do not deal... I do have a Magic Needle, and I do have Sharpened Resolve. So... Yeah... I think I'm going to walk away here instead of just making a purchase. The Knight's Veil is technically an upgrade over this tunic, but it's not enough for me to spring the 184 gold for it. The Dagger of Shrouds doesn't do it for me. And Phantom's Will, we talked about that. I'm not willing to have this Kitsune's HP. No thanks. My loss? Eh. Special arena, but fighting arena is unusual. I could give them three extra units for 71 gold and a scepter of magic damage and seven agility. I would definitely use that, like, scepter. Three extra units, huh? In a larger arena. Let's look at the three extra units. Am I willing to... How faithful am I? How much do I believe in the killing potential of my team? Oh. 
things. No pits. No barrels. Spikes. 2v6. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can leap. Okay. Spectre goes here. And I actually cannot reach to Raina Knives. I don't have enough movement due to the extra long arena. Makes sense, but fuck. <laughs> None of my abilities here are going to reach either. Yes. Whenever you... Well, so long as they stop on that space. If they, if you just glide them right over it, then no. Much like if you just pull someone over a pit, but they can land on a safe space on the other side, they don't fall into the pit. up further if I wanted to actually rain a knives on that turn. It's a lot of wish casting, Grimoth. Well, no crit. That's a forty percent chance of, of big dreams. And that's not a kill. What's your protection score? No, that's gonna be a, still not a kill. Two HP short. fucking alive. That's so bad. Double crit. And I lined up for that knockback to get slammed in. Okay. I'm not even going to be able to bring my ally back. Because that space is uh, occupied now. Block me.
Vampiric Strike would take too long to cool down even without uh Lined up for the soul chain. Okay. I actually thought endless mode would end there. Huh. So, we don't get any rewards from the challenge. That's the how the that's how that goes when you uh, fail a challenge. You don't get the rewards for normal level completion. You don't get the challenge rewards on top of that. I was expecting to lose the run there, though. In the normal game, you're allowed to take a loss every level, so long as it's not to the boss, but you can't take two losses a level. So for endless mode, I suppose you are still going to be allowed to take a loss every level, but you can't take two? Okay. Huh. And here I thought I was going to end the broadcast early. <laughs> no, I totally wasn't scheming to end the broadcast early. No. 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 Come on. Look at... Come on. I would do that to you. Come on. Come on. I would totally do that to you. So what was I hoping for there in that 2v6? If I were to do that fight again, it would be not to root on that first turn? Mm. And the elf would be able to haste and kill someone. It'd be to have a uh, crit with that rain of knives and not get uh, a kitsune down no, by a crit beast. knockback. Dark blue one. Beef. Showering money and revealing the Go Roast Beef's Roast Their Beef. It's back by popular demand as an option sometimes. Was well, a possibility, not an option. You can't pick. Shower me in beef and wealth. Shameful display. You know what? This isn't Total War Shogun 2. You get that shit out of here. I'm good, thanks. That doesn't get a turn, though. I believe we had our, uh, our absurdity. Already in this run. I can put a pillar here, and then next turn with the Kitsune, because the Dryad won't be able to move, slam this explosive barrel into the pillar. It doesn't tell me what I'm doing with this attack this turn, though. Or I could just walk past it. And actually hit multiple enemies. I could still move back and do that. That's still open to me. AP, huh? With a four tile range. Looks if I looks like if I wanted to do some of the Spectre, it would have needed to be uh 
last turn. No, no, that'll work. Actually, uh, survived that blazing charge. Ah. Thanks to that mending bolt. Nifty. Fine, you don't get to move either. I'm afraid I got some bad news. No. The Kitsune couldn't target the Dryad in the thick smoke with anything but a melee attack, and... Was not interested in that, by the looks of things. Not interested in that at all. I haven't needed to drink this healing potion yet, so I think I'm going to take the 8 vitality and the 12 MP. And just, like, you know, take the extra health there and choose not to need that. Hello, hello, welcome in. We're on Endless. We took a loss. Uh, due to a 2v6 that went wrong. Somehow. <laughs> against the odds. But it didn't end the Endless run. Which, that's fine. I thought it might, though. I thought it might, I mean, I, I thought it would. I could have used a, uh, a magic weapon here. You may have heard of those. Magic weapons. 10 physical damage and 8 vitality. That's, uh... It reduces my physical damage by two. It gives me more vitality for more protection. And I end up with more hit points on the angel. The three AP... I don't think that does it for me. And then the pike is ultimately more physical damage but at the cost of some hit points, and I'm not willing to lose those. I think I might pick up the claw, not to equip it on any of these characters, but just put it into like a third slot. Because I am going to be picking up one more gladiator at the end of this level. So let me go ahead and set that gear aside. Something like this. I guess I'll just put these items here for now. And I'm not into that ring. We might need speed, whoever it is we pick up. Blue armor? 12 protection, 6 vitality, 18 protection on that. Oh, roast thieves. Roast oh, their rolled beef. the beef again? Oh, roast thieves. It roast is again? Beef. Showered in wealth and beef, along with Big Twitch. Delightful. Lovely. Nom, 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 nom. Thanks for the beef. I take two agility. I have three AP left. I replace that armor with uh, three extra points of protection, 20 more HP. Is that worth? 
I might take this cloak over this coat. Thought that would add more health. No. 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 300% of vitality. I lose out on six. I also lose out on four crit chance in exchange for five more protection. Worth? Termites. This could be the first time I don't take a box of termites. Box of termites, I I find to be great, stellar. It prevents object units from spawning at the start of battle, so that you don't have barrels on the board at the start. Am I willing to give up my barrel flinging ways for ten protection? And, of course, not having to deal with barrels at the start. Am I willing to put aside the mittens? They've been pretty fun. It's been some nice knockback damage for us. A tin protection, though. I can go far. Some good concussions and no for this group. And Demon Heart... No. Termites. Put the mittens down. The mittens are down. Only a fight here. Fight club. Walking near to an eerie lake, you hear a whisper from beneath the water. Stranger, let me introduce myself. I'm a giver of things. I'm also a taker of things. Would you bargain with me? I am willing to grab uh, this first item in exchange for fighting an extra skeleton in the next fight. I'm not willing to take a, uh, a negative penalty for either of these items. Skelly bro. It's going to be a 2v4. I can take the challenge on top of that. I believe since I'm rocking a loss here, that's going to be a no. Especially since I'm fighting an extra skeleton. I've basically been paid extra here. Not seeing anything too frightening. The 7 AP there combined with the 6 AP combined with the 5 AP. Good lord! Fucking speed demon team here. Everyone's, uh, well, you're not rocking gear that increases. You just have 20 agility. And you have lightning. That's a, that's a pretty sizable, uh, skill. Just like seeing that uh, on a minion. Range of six on a pestle and bolt. That's right. I probably uh, put a uh, a pillar in front of this space. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. I could have summoned first. You wouldn't have had enough MP to use that anyway. Oh, now you crit on that.
Good kill. Speaking of kill, let's get that there. We'll sharpen up. I do like how the skeletons uh, look in this game. The various skeleton minions. There's lightning at work. No, we do not have to kill summons in order to win. But it was there to attack. Pretty sure we get experience for that. Grizzly Assault. Sucker Punch, a Blessed Swing. Sucker Punch allows for a little bit of maneuverability. I think I'll take the Grizzly Assault here. And a green weapon, which... I guess it can be that scepter. That's one more point of magic damage, but I'm trading the 10 crit chance with my Vicious in exchange for 10 protection. I don't hate that, but I think because I've got Vicious, I'll take I'll keep the extra 10% crit chance there. Okay. This could be going much quicker, but thinking out loud, you know? Folks who haven't seen this game before, get my thought processes. 7 AP. 1, 2, good heavens, dwarf. The wiggy. Can you dwig it? Yes. Storm season. How many tornadoes? That many tornadoes. Dwarf goes first. Start with the charge crystal. I I glossed right over those. Like, wait, the, how the fuck did you flicker beam? So your turn didn't consist of like flicker beaming and then trying a barrel in the tornado mess. You just decided to do that. Well, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. After careful deliberation, I have determined the answer is go fuck yourself. Pretty sure I turned off tooltips there. Looks like uh, they appear over the mousing over these abilities, but just not on the belt board. Unless I press T there. Oh. These units are going to be stuck back here in... Wasteland. I may not be able to. So I'd have to like run through here and hope that I end up landing next to the dwarf because tornadoes knock you back three tiles towards a random direction when you enter them or when they enter your space. So we could end up anywhere. Let's put that pillar there. That seems appropriate. And they can move at the end of the global turn. So it's best to stay away from them. Keep some distance. Amazing. Ow. Ow. <laughs> My body. My body's on fire. I end my turn. You do what you want, Spectre. Bye, Sp <laughs> What? You can't be serious. Come on. That was cheating. <laughs> Bullshit.
tornadoes uh still have three more turns to go summon wind <gasps> Let's go for it. You and I. <laughs> uh huh. Good. Good. Uh oh. Good. I've been slowed by the crippling throw. <laughs> Fucking tornado fights, man. Every damn time. It's always a ride. Still slowed. The wheel looks at the idea of moving forward. Rounds. Drugs. Okay. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Fuck it. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Fuck it. No. It's cool. I could potentially revive, but I think, I think we'll be fine. Drink your blood. I don't need to heal this turn. We can heal this turn. If I get the revive, I can't then come back and kill, so we'll just do that. Purple Whoppet! Looks like I'm getting physical damage here, which, you know, I've already got a purple physical damage weapon. <sighs> This deals the most damage, but I lose out on 18 hit points and a bunch of knockback chance. Hmm. Gain some agility for crit chance and extra movement. Here, I lose out on two physical damage for a bunch of extra protection. And here is just... Hmm. It's a head scratcher. Savage strength, critical chances double for this skill. Hmm. Not for you, though. We'll pick up this Gladius. Let's swap it. How do I feel about that? I don't. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Whoa, a wizard! Fucking wizards, man. Wizards about to teleport in and dunk on me with something and then get fucked. No, no, I go first. Okay. The wizard will just teleport in later. Understood.
Dealt 40 damage on a crit. Protection did not shave off as much there as I thought it would. Okay. Fine. He said... With a mild degree of bitterness. I'll take some of that back. And uh, that whisper was immune to getting debuffed. So, not rooted. Skill book, Acid Splash, Afflicted Bash, Mending Waves. So Afflicted Bash doesn't do a whole lot for me because my my power is in physical damage and not in strength. That said, I can replace this repealing salvo here. Or Magic Needle. Magic Needle doesn't do so much since I have Sharpen Resolve. Yeah. I would rather take that over one of those two, so go ahead and pick up that book. Is anything giving you agility here? No. Take the plus two agility, then. We lost out on an opportunity to take some vitality, but that gives us five action points. Some extra crit chance. Which does not hurt, given our, uh, viciousness. Angel here gets a perk. Angel here can become an innovator, which can allow accessories to fit in any slot. So this angel could wield four accessories, which could really result in some wild shit. Wise for eight wisdom, which is not how we're going, or predator. The attacks this unit deal 30% more damage if the target is not surrounded by any unit or is surrounded by this unit. I would be tempted to pick up Innovator, except Predator is here. We've had we've had great fun with Innovator, but I've seen how much damage like Predator can bring to the table. I'm picking up Predator. And that's Max. Two positive perks and a negative perk. A negative perk is mildly annoying, but we picked up Deadly for that. So that's 49 physical damage, an extra 30% if the target is alone, basically. We're gonna go grab that Elite. Hopefully win. <laughs> Then grab an event, our third gladiator, I'd say, and take on a boss. I will not be making them tougher, no. The five, a seven, and a four. Our soul here, level seven chained, is impatient. Skill cooldowns higher than one are reduced by one. It's a uh, pretty notable damage there. It has a tendril and a chain. Elena. Acid Splash. We saw that get offered. Just this last one. And then uh, the Prowler. Bunch of strength related skills. Not bad strength, though. Items wise. Okay. Hmm. No inhibitors on this line. Think about skills again. Seven AP. Let's make our spirit projection here. Put them all in place.
cool. I was uh, I was counting on you to do that. Welcome into my parlor. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Ooh, you got enough juice to uh, activate rooted yourself now. I'm not on a line there. Cool. I'll take the heal. We can just use rooted next turn. In my turn here. Ow, ow, my body. <laughs> I was using that. That's not a kill. I should take the guaranteed kill here. Maybe get a knockback? Okay. Uh oh, got a Colossal Bolt now on Elena. But we'll get this resolved. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, crit, 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 crit. This one does. Crit, 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 crit. Crit Elodian. Seven vitality, that's 21 hit points. I get extra magic damage, I lose out on a point of protect. No, I gain a bunch of protection, that's 19 protection. That's worth doing. Uh. Still, I do still lose that on the three hit points, but I'm willing to exchange for that. Okay, event. Pushing a barrel does not consume a turn. I could loot this, and then we're going to have... Uh, hey, bud. Hey, hey, how dare you? How darest... How, how dare. So I could pay 150 and these would sell for more than 150 so this would be a net gain. If I choose to sell them, alternatively I could attack. Team starts with a random debuff or I could run and see a skeleton aid the enemy team. I think I'll run from this. I will have a fair prize. Like a super skeleton, like, oh fuck. Come on, man, I didn't mean it, come on. Come on. Bubba. Oh, man. Bubba. <laughs> okay, Bubba. I would like the nine vitality elsewhere, but we can always use the MP for some physical skills. You got it, Bubba. Boo boo. I'm, uh. I'm very intrigued. Especially with that invigorated perk on top of that. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome aboard. We are about to uh, commit crimes together, I dare say. They're going to be exciting crimes. Oh, wait. Oh, that means I couldn't use a box of termites anymore, though, if I'm going to equip this. Ooh. Ooh. I do like those, but if Bubba here is going to go turbo barrel flinging, hmm. 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 I'm, I'm willing to experiment. Yeah. Why not? Right? 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 I think I'm going to give you that point of vitality instead. Put you back at silly two hit points.
No, we'll put you like this, Bubba. Bubba's got rampant vines. Cool. He's got wings of misery. In a vampiric swipe, that's good to see. Do I want to swap out that coat of his with... A lot of strong arguments. Indeed. Indubitably, he does. Potions. I think I'm going to buy a Chaotic Perk Potion and slam it down on Bubba. Where'd that Focus Assault come from? What was, what was I seeing there? What was, what was happening? <laughs> it is a mystery. We'll never know. Oh, from this. Well, I could have enough gold to buy that pike. That's 15 physical damage, 25 protection, 1 strength and 1 wisdom, and a focused assault. We could definitely use a scepter upgrade for our Kitsune. Am I willing to... Yeah. Park me! Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> hmm. We will definitely get into positions that that will activate, but it will be saying something about our current predicament when we're in situations when that activates. Considering that is on Bubba. Okay. I don't... I don't hate that. He said. <laughs> I think I'm going to draw Wings of Misery here. And put on a Tackle? No, I don't think I'm interested in putting on Tackle. We'll learn Grizzly Assault and we'll sell this. I think I'm going to be waiting to grab my fourth, so I think I'll sell the rest of this gear here. There's always someone bigger, right? Could allow me to buy this pike. Would that pike be something I equip? I don't want to drop this angel on HP. That is a that is a great deal of protection. Not willing to eat that loss there. The scepter. The scepter causes me to lose ten crit chance on this vicious character. But that, like. That quintuples our magic damage. We're going from 4 to 20 on the weapon. And we're getting 8 hit points. I think that's... That's too important. Yeah. 32 to 48. We're getting an assload of MP on top of that. I'll just keep these here for now. Because I feel inclined to sell them. I'm going to grab the uh, Wisdom plus 5. Slap it down. Fifty gold, I can get that much extra. I don't think two forty two for four is worth it. Ooh. 
I'm gonna take some extra vitality. I think I am. I'll miss you, Termite Box. Who can say? <laughs> uh, give me this. You need the extra hit points. That takes you up to 72. Okay, cool. Let's roll. You will make a nice ornament for my quarters. One skeleton will aid the... Almost reads like minus one skeleton will aid the enemy team. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, notably here... Ooh, Conjured Bramble. I do like a Conjured Bramble. Big fan of that one. Is that this giant Minotaur has a grand drop? Jumps to a space six tiles away. Knocks all surrounding units back three tiles. Line of sight not required. Any tile. So long as it's not within two. If any knockback damage is dealt, skill cooldowns are increased to the targets by one. So we do not want to be in a range of a leap at all on the first turn. And we can definitely root that first turn. Any barrels? Yes, but they're not conveniently pushable. There's the skeleton that we stole from. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Leaps here. That is six, right? Right. I like this music. Put you over here. Hmm. Just thinking about breaking the rattling cage for a neutral unit that the AI will focus on. But there's an argument for me potentially getting a crit here with this damage. I think I'm gonna do this. Put a shroom that they will have to potentially think about, maybe potentially, possibly consider it. You know, not just no wrong ideas in a brainstorm, boys. No bad ideas in a brainstorm, I think. Staying back, do I stay clumped up? Yes. Do I pillar anywhere? No. Yes. Griff, make up your fucking mind. <laughs> but please. My pillar. Here. I end my turn. Not dead. No, it doesn't have low cooldown. You're rooted anyway. If I stand in front of you, though, in this position, you will be able to charge unless I pull you next to me. I think that's fine. One, two, three. Get over here! Howdy! Greetings! You cannot toss the cages, no. A, uh, a normal, uh, like, melee attack 
will just attack it. Good. 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 He's got swiftness now. Less good. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you divine relief yourself? How darest thou? I've got a plan. Involves critting that fucking boss for 90. <laughs> You can finish that. Well, I was gonna fling the barrel for free, but because I can move and wiggle, but that's not actually gonna just move out of the fire and then no, that won't guarantee kill. Let's make sure we get that kill. I'm confident I won't get that kill. The protection, you'll you'll probably be fine. Come on. I mean, look at you. You're bleeding everywhere. You know what? I'm feeling arrogant. I gotta take care of Crackles here. Fuck you, Crackles. <laughs> Fuck you, Crackles. Allow me to retort. Now, will that loss go away? Well, it does. Okay. We are learning things about Endless. And yes, there is no Emperor at the end here. Judging by the difference in how this looks. Alright. This hammer is not going to be something I equip, but we'll put that there. This book? You can make an argument for? Half damage pierces protection. Applies a random debuff to target. I think it's time for me to replace Reign of Knives. I like the having the Mending Bolt as something the uh, the Spectre can use. I think it's time for me to replace Reign of Knives. Applies a random debuff to target. Range 5. Uh, and half of that damage pierces protection. Pretty helpful. Well, I do like a well, I do like a rain of knives. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here, step up, stretch my legs, let my ash recover from this chair. Maybe open the blinds of my house if no one else in the household is up. Check on some animals, grab a drink, and shall return. Did you know you you have won 95% of your fights? You're you're damn right I have. This goblin can spit out stats across all of your playthroughs. He doesn't feel like sharing any more stats at this time. All right, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'll see you folks in a bit. Yep, yep.
be back with the action shortly. I'm gonna open up my window and embrace the the pre-spring. Plant sex is in the air. Pollen's on all the vehicles. The non-evergreen trees are blooming. The evergreen trees have never stopped being green. Such as it is the lowlands of South Carolina. Got some nice cool air. Gonna stop being. Birds are migrating back. The nearby bog is full of life. You can hear it at night. Full of all the life returning. Bumblebees are out in force. Soon I will have to begin the annual vendetta against the wasps. I am undefeated against wasps. I have taken draws at times, but I have never suffered a defeat. Unlike to unlike to ants, where I have suffered defeats before. Uh, remember in third grade, fire ant got me real good while I was uh, while I was raking leaves in my yard. I'd come inside and I uh, was in the bathroom and I thought that uh, the little red smudge like on my nose, where I obviously like felt an itch and then crushed the ant was just from, like, something else. But no, no, then it swole under there. One ant did that. I've told this story before, likely ar really around sim ant times. Sim ant really got me interested in, like, exploring, like, insect life entomology. And I really studied, like, the ants that were around, like, not just, like, my school grounds, but also, like, my house. We had, uh, we had fire ants that I, uh, I studied and scrutinized outside. They lived in an old stump. I carved apart the old stump at times. Just like study and scrutinize them, but uh, after I got bit, that was it. <laughs> My mom told dad to resolve the issue, and uh, those ants were eradicated. Dark days for science. Oh, wait. Hmm. I was not anticipating a hiccup there. When do you anticipate the hiccups? It's after the first hiccup, right? <laughs> I've never been, like, not having a hiccup yet. Like, I'm about to hiccup. It was just the one? <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> the mysteries of the human body. Our music loop has stopped. There we go, our music loop is back. I haven't read any complaints in chat about the audio today, so... I'm taking the audio is Wonder Bubbles. Myself and the transitional microphone had a... had a few hours of labbing yesterday. Where we've come to new terms. Of course, this all happened after the Vampire the Masquerade Redemption series ended. But I was picking up sounds that uh, I didn't want to pick up anymore, and uh... I was getting, like, different vibes and sensations from the microphone that I didn't want to take anymore. And, uh... I have altered... things besides the microphone itself. We'll see where the road takes us on that front. Where the fuck are we? Level 3. Go on. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, you know, Death Heaven, it's... <laughs> It's a situation where I've, I've like, like, I've, I've hiccuped and people look at me like, Oh, what's wrong? I'm scared. Are you okay? Like, have you never had the hiccups before? <laughs> people around you are just bewildered by, like, the sound and concept of hiccups. Like, what? Hiccups? What? Sir, are you okay? <laughs> Sir, are your limbs about to fall off? Do you have the gangrene? I've just... Hiccups. Please. <laughs> Did he? 
<laughs> what is this expulsion? Of shops that I could ram into. Not, not opposed to the idea of a shop. We don't have enough gold to secure a fourth gladiator at this time. So I think I'd want to put that off until later. And once I get the fourth gladiator, then I would want to start looking for skill books, for consumables, for gear replacements, of course. So I'm feeling like this, like, central path, get like an event, two events, take an elite here, sidestep that shop, grab another elite. That puts us like in the central category. Um, take this elite and then I have to run into a shop. But then I can get another elite here and then take a shop at the end. Maybe. Yeah, I can buy weapons and consumables at that shop. If I make it that far, of course. And then I could look towards, like, getting a fourth gladiator at this shop. I don't... I don't dislike the idea. All right, then. Give it a go, shall we? 3v4. Random unremovable buff on all the enemy characters? Am I... Am I willing? The flesh is willing. Ambush on the wizard? Uh, well... <laughs> gonna teleport in and have himself a jolly fucking good time. Hello, I'm a wizard. I'm gonna teleport in and skull fuck you. You have a blessed day now, blessed be. Great, fine, wonderful. Hi, oh, wizard. Hi. I'm doing things. I'm making moves. I'm cool. You sure are, wizard. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> wizard, please. Right, I don't have rain of knives anymore, so I can't do like indirect attacks. That's a pretty good amount of damage. Seems good. I don't... I don't hate that, yeah. Hold on. Okay. I could pillar and potentially protect this Kitsune this turn, which would give the Kitsune uh, a turn to apply root at all enemies. Like, that's a, that's a teleport five. One, two, three, four, five, which puts the wizard on this line, right? There's no ability the wizard has, which allows the wizard to reach down here. So this should be safe, like, tucked here in the bottom fucking corner. Could not be an issue. He said, nodding emphatically, choosing to believe that was true, secretly fearing otherwise. <laughs> you do kind of want the wizard to come in and maybe attack someone to allow the, the troll to have a good time. That's important. Expecting a summon out of you. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with the pillar this turn. Let's move here. No, no summon. You definitely could afford a summon. Okay. No barrels. This is the worst day in the history of everything forever. <laughs> Go up 
like this. She got wizard. A crit. So be it. So be it. I think, uh, I think we'll kill that fucking wizard. Fuck you, wizard. You had to pass again, haha. -ha. <laughs> pillar? Not that it was necessary. But pillar there anyway. Because of how much damage we deal. Because this lizard is alone. With no protection. How does it feel to be alone? That good. I think we can all agree. That good. Hello. Come on over. Greeting. Hmm, if I step there, I can get chained. Ah. I don't have to consent to that. So I won't. That's pretty good. That looked pretty good to me. I will now consent to getting chained. Oh, piercing resolve could definitely go onto a friendly unit there as well. Who for thought? Nope, it's fine. Bubba's level 10 does not need the extra experience. Got it. Early on, my mindset was like, the more gladiators, the more action economy. And now that I've had, you know, I've put 60 hours into this game at this point, I have a different attitude with that. About uh, about securing experience for gladiators, and the amount of work that two and then three can do for you. Green gadget, green gadget. Could be expand matter. Could be swift curse. Could be remote detonation. Some reasonable arguments here. Line of sight not required for that? That's a that's an interesting possibility. A Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Possibilities. And tell me about this abbot here of glowing power. 18 protection, 10 physical damage, 6 magic damage, 24 hit points. Okay. Well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm flashing back to when I saw like a potion of agility being offered that was like plus three at the last shop. Yeah. That would drop your AP down to two, and that's problematic, I would say. Same protection. Six more HP. Ten more physical damage. That's definitely an upgrade. What about if I reflect with it on you? Three more HP. Four more magic damage. One less protection. I think this is more of an impactful upgrade on our troll. Like, this is doing a lot of good work here, this plated robe. Of course, Bubba doesn't need the, the XP help, but Bubba could always stand to be a better killer. 
I do not think Bubba disagrees. BB. Do not believe BB disagrees with me. A man with his face hid under a dark look of Richard. I hear you are in the fighting business. I could make the fighting a lot easier for you. If you know what I mean. This is the first time I've seen this be offered. Uh, this is uh, an event that came up uh, occasionally in the first game. The first time I've seen it in the second game. Like, hey, bud, you uh, you interested in, uh, in some assistance? I don't believe we require it, but I'm interested in, you know, lubricating the uh, the wheels of commerce here. Poison our enemies. It will be done. Cool. Three v four. We could give them an unremovable buff to go along with their uh, random debuff for a blue skill and a green skill. I'm looking at this wizard with forty two magic damage and ruthless. And I'm thinking, hmm. do I really want to give that a buff? <laughs> that could be so bad. That could, that could easily be like, hello. I bypass all of protection now with my repealing salvo. Goodbye. Could be ambush, could be stealth. And uh, it has Divine Relief, so it's going to be able to purge that debuff. That's that's the thing that spooks me here, but I don't think it kills all of us. Based on the skills I'm seeing here, so I'm willing to give it a try. So I think I wait to root. because this character is already rooted until the divine uh, release have been used. It allows this wizard to get closer. It's the beat. Blessed be! Both of you rolled Wind Affliction. Hmm. Could be advantageous, could be abysmal. Am I willing to run up front here and just take this shit on the chin? initiative, but I think I'm gonna not attack this turn. I want to. He says as he shrugs and kills the fucking wizard anyway. <laughs> I think killing the wizard here changes my, uh, Plan. I forgot I deal an ass load of damage with this character. Pretty good. Especially if I crit. Out. You win uh what do you do, Zaza? Yeah, you only just have the two skills. It's not, it's not a big deal. Okay. What do you do? How do you even function? <laughs> hmm. I don't think there's 
value in me pillaring here this turn. Howdy! Oh, buddy. 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 Howdy! I could fling this barrel away from me without it costing its hurt. <laughs> Think about that. I know, right? And consume a turn with units from all eight directions. You'll love to see it. Get out of here. Step here. Blood. Wait. Wait, wait. Truly, the cleverest troll was like, no, I'm going to wait to get rooted even more before I purge the debuff tapped forehead. What? Silly. No. 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 That can't be. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, this Kitsune is in range to get attack now. Mm hmm. Zip, zip, zip. Yep. You good? Yep. Zaza here is like, they have to come to me? I'm stealthing. They can't attack me, bro. Oh, I get it. You don't want to use a skill because that will break your sneaking. You want to be able to use it to attack. I understand now. Get it. It does make sense from a, from like a design perspective. That really does. There is a slight, you know, problem that is added. I feel that it's going to be achieved when the specter steps adjacent. I can also Wings of Misery, like, woo, but I would be a Jason. I don't need to be a Jason. The Spectre steps adjacent. Come on, you know you want to attack me. Am I not scrumptious, yummy scrumptious? Yum, 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 yum. Break the stealth. The stealth is broken. My other idea was like, hey, I'm going to get this ability back, bud, before that ability... Yeah, before that expires. Bloof has, an has been obtained. Victory for Grimth. Eh, just pick up any boots and put those there to sell. A blue gadget? Okay, we got ourselves a throw javelin. I do like throw javelin. Splat 14 damage, half of which pierces protection. Pressure Blast is pretty handy, too. Counts as a melee attack. Uh, targets enemy units. Knocks a target back five tiles. It's pretty handy. And Charm, I'm kind of eh about. Uh, we haven't got a whole lot of work done with these uh, utility gloves and throwing mittens yet on Bubba. I, I want to believe, you know? I want to believe. Blue skill. I think this is going to be sold. That was a red skill. You know what? Doesn't matter. Or green. Rather, a green red. Here we go again. Scatter ice um, is situational. Exposing assault is nifty. It applies vulnerable to a target. And the third of that damage pierces protection. That's uh pretty valuable. I do like the notion of Wings of Misery. Like a really powerful like relocation tool for this troll. 
if it's just took completely out of position and needs to close a gap. But I think I care more about exposing assault. So I'm going to drop the Wings of Misery. Pick that up. Level you up here? Hmm. This unit starts fights with a random long-lasting buff. This unit is immune to buffs and debuffs. Randomized skills. I'm feeling callous. This buff could be, like, glorious. It could also just be, like, eh. Like, not an act of detriment, because Berserk has been removed from the pool. But also kind of like, oh, plus eight strength. But callous? I'm not doing a whole lot with debuffs, and there's so many debuffs that could be put on the table. I'm going to pick up callous here on Madoka. Not a single fuck is given by this Kitsune. Right, I haven't gotten that far yet. Got confused about my place in the world. Listen, kid, I know you are coming to a fight in my town. You wanna... You wanna have a... You wanna... You wanna... Hey, you know, just, uh, just to get out here, just, uh, you know, just... Just giving it some careful consideration, you know. I've, uh, I've gone ball big in on before. I'll just take extra blessings. I can have a random buff. Make a real show out of it. We're going to give the elite fight a random buff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We rolled double damage on this shit. At Inferno. <laughs> the battlefield contains fire. Greetings. How much fire? 8 AP. With double damage. Uh, uh, Why did that Blessed Swing deal 80 damage? I know it's piercing, but you only have 32. Oh, right, it's double damage. Still, that's what? I guess it's a plus four there. Yeah, the random buff there did not help. It's okay, we'll just bring her back. Gonna step on the square that I would use to attack this fucker, though. Yeah, if I actually want to kill this chained, I'm not gonna be able to bring her back this turn. And the fucking wizard is lurking out there with double damage, and I'm not gonna be able to root this turn. If I bring this kitsune back, what's going to happen is that the kitsune is gonna be downed. Yeah, 8 AP, I... Like... I would have needed to go first, and I didn't go first, so, you know. <laughs> I can't control having plus four AP from gear. On a chain tear, so could have just, like, yanked me in. You know, hazard protection here was a random buff that was rolled. Aruz also rolled Piercing Spirit, so completely bypasses protection. That... I want to bring this Kitsune back if for no other reason to like take a hit, but no, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this chain. Even though the chain is already acted, and uh, maybe this angel will survive. He said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Good joke. I love jokes. Like, I bring back, but then I can't reach the chain to attack. So... Can one of these save me? I don't see how. Sure, crit. Why not? I guess I could have counted on you to kill. 
good point. Why didn't I just trust you to be able to kill with your double damage? I have no answers at this time. That really sucked. Of all the places Cyclone Shot could have flung me, it just totally sucked. Well, fuck me. So Cyclone Shock knocks a target back three tiles. If the target collides with something, repeat the knockback towards a random direction. That is the second time I've totally been fucked over by an enemy uh, Cyclone Shock. Because Bubba going there means that Bubba is dying before Bubba gets a turn. And Bubba's got regenerate. Bubba, Bubba's got moves. Bubba could land a kill. Bubba ain't doing shit. I would have to be able to reach to slay uh, this lizard, but I can't. And the lizard's able to reach both with charge and with conjure tendril. It's not an issue. Fucking wizards, man. Thankfully, I have the angel there for the revive. Fuck you both. I should have used this first before I did that. Hope that doesn't cost me the game. I don't think it will. That was annoying, though. That does keep the Spectre alive, which, you know, is a choice. Okay. Ah! The crowd keeps applauding. One of these fucking tweener pieces of armor. So many of these gear items end up appearing, it's just like, we kind of like commitment one way or the other, but instead I get, oh, you could have both. But I'm like, eh. you know, I mean, I guess I could. Certainly could. That ups the physical damage to 61. Gives me some spell juice. Don't even remotely have the AP required to get close to someone. It's your armor that definitely needs an upgrade. You just don't have the AP, and I don't have those claws anymore. I gotta do that adjustment. Puts you down to 51 hit points. What do you mean, why is there a six? <laughs> You're gonna have to explain your question. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, wh what do you mean, why is there a six? Eight hit points. It's gonna be the action point here. And... 10 crit chance over 16 hit points? Protection we can, we can find. And enemies can end up finding a way to buy best. Now we're now, armor now has a six? What?
pick the health. Are you talking about like the 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 armor graphic? Oh, it had an activated ability, like of the Min Spirit, or one of the things I was mousing over. Okay. I could have been something that just flickered on in front of your screen. I did use the Min Spirit that turn, or in that combat, so, you know, could have been a... Sixty-six physical damage on this angel. And, uh, pass half of, uh, protection. Okay. Yep, that would be why. I just looked right past it. My brain already wrote it off, knew what it was. Results. That slows you down to three from four, having adjusted the gear like this. Right. Am I fine with that? I think I will keep it like this, yeah. Since Safi here is a uh, is a butcher. It's the third eye, man. Still not really have made good use of these uh of these mittens and gloves together and blah blah but damn it. Stay strong. We'll skip the shop. Potentially buy a goodie. Barrel chain, now's my chance. Doesn't consume a turn. Gives me all these barrels that I can throw down. Yeah. Barrels, barrels, barrels. Barrels for Bubba. I feel like this is a waste of my money, but you know, we're trying to lubricate the economy here. It's a waste of my money. There will be no lubricating of this economy. Up it's a butchery. Instant missile, acid bolt, blessed bolt. Blessed be! Blessed be. That HP hit doesn't look like that big of a deal. There's a pit. One of you has a chain equipped. It's the werewolf Salazar. The central pit. <laughs> I I enjoyed my time with Vampire the Masquerade Edition. Maybe I'll play it again in uh, next decade. On Windows 17 or whatever. chance 29% 29% 
what I'm in range of to be attacked here by. You have a permanent unremovable phasing. If I crit, I can kill either of you. Desperate prayer. Let's go after you. You might phase anywhere. You mean you could be anywhere. I made you vulnerable. Hello. How you doing? Not in range. Well, I guess provisionally in range of that. Not in range for me to be pulled either. That was just a the correct spot for me not to be able to pull with my vines. Because that's in the way. The broken pilar. Step here. Abilities do you have? I believe I'm going to be closing, getting up and closing my window. Fucking train. Let's put that there. And not crit. I'm dying. Well, that's fucking rude. <laughs> I, I, it does say applies on dying to targets, so, you know, HP can't drop below one. Damn it. throw them into the pit. I mean, possibly they might enter the pit. I do not have a guarantee to sling them back twice into knock, knock back into pit. Also, strongly disapprove of you not having used Nature's Embrace there. Instead, going after the kill in quotations you can't get. Fine, I'm not better. Well, it made, it, made, it made sense mechanically. Made sense. He said. I was actually really counting on that rooted. Cannot get an angle to heal self without also. You're not rooted in place. I can just root you in place again. No longer undying. I do not want to stand there. That's a I chain. Whoop. Forgot you had Al Arcane Outburst. I 
I lost the extra AP. Annoying. Okay. There goes the pillar. Get you out of here. And we'll just win this fight. No time for your summons. Is a challenge completed? Huzzah. Nothing of give me ass loads of uh, AP. I guess this technically gives me a tornado and two extra AP. Here's the thing about that tornado that you spawned under you. You might be flung three tiles and well, you will be flung three tiles in any direction. That could set you back further than the fucking AP does. So you know, it's complicated. <laughs> Four wisdom and 12 crit chance. I think I will take that. My official ruling. These have just ended up being a waste of space. It's been good to have dreams, but those dreams have uh, not paid off at all. Ever been disappointed by your dreams before, viewers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need the MP here. Let's grab the eight hit points over the action point. Let's grab the magic damage over the action point. It's two action points, or double the HP. I do like being able to move. It would allow you to move and attack in one turn, which is really nice, because there's no cautious starts here. It's two action points. Take the 16 inch back. But uh that was that was that was a real real thought there. Real real effort went to that. Real effort. I think it was go up here, take this treasure, then go along this path, take the elite, get in this shop for a gladiator, and then probably buy consumables at that one. Or weapons. Oh. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Double damage. Okay. Hey, lightning storm. Good thing you don't go first. Random debuff to all enemies. The Ice Age. Oh, hey, barrels. Unfortunately, my troll only has three action points, damn it. <laughs> and the barrels are not splendiferously placed, we'll say. In a way that I can immediately capitalize upon. But maybe future barrels will be. Maybe future barrels will be. Spectre. Rooted. Yeah, Lightning Storm reaches further than you'd think. As that's a five tile range. One, two, three, four, five. So it goes there. So any of these spaces can be targeted. And then there's an area of effect too on top of that. So let's say our area of like our targets here. It radiates out to here. So if I'm standing in this section, I I qualify for a lightning storm. You qualify. 
Yeah. And you know, they deal double damage. So, you know. And there's just so much shit that's blocking here that I cannot get like a line on for targeting purposes. Which is shitting. I don't have Lightning Storm. That'd be great here. God, would it be great here. I can always send the Kitsune in there. You and I, we've been going the distance. Aim for the sky with a secret ambition. Two, one. So two there, the one skates me to here, and then I would be able to blow up this summon, which is not. Two gets me here, one gets me here. I don't. I don't know how long I'll be on target things. Let's let's find out together as a family, shall we? The answer is not one goddamn bit. In fact, I have moved into terrible peril. Not being able to target a fucking thing. Good. 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 I'm still I'm still learning the lines of sight and how they work in this game. Still learning that. But it means that I can't be targeted by you. I dare to presume. And uh, surely this double damage lightning storm won't kill me. It wouldn't crit. Right? 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 I'm not going to bother making an attack. I could scoot back. Just whoop, whoop back a little bit. I mean, that attack is still coming no matter what. Spikes there. Ah. I'd like to tell you that was calculated, but I did forget shrooms have a uh, have a um, multi like tile explosion knockback. They're bloated. All shroomers are. When this unit gets knocked out, all surrounding units are knocked back five tiles. So yeah, I'd like to say that was incredibly calculated. I'm so fucking clever. And I could have lied to you and said that it was all in my head. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna let you in behind the scenes there and say no, 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 not this time. Fuck that zone, man. The new sonic level of pain. I'm not gonna be able to scoot across there. I could, uh,. Take this route. Step here, then scoot to here. Like so. I think that's the route I'm taking. I just chose to clear that barrel out of the way for reasons, I guess. <sighs> well, at least you used the nature's embrace before you fucking suicided! It's fine. It's great. I'm happy. I love life. 
Life is the best. Shout out if you love life. Shout out to life, as a matter of fact. Oh. How frightening is your damage output? You have a reincarnate. We'll, uh, we'll pretend like I'm keeping that in mind. But secretly, you know I'm not. Four hundred and fifty-five damage. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> Yes. You're going to be rooted another turn. Cool. You will deal some amount of damage to me if I permit you to attack. Let's not let that happen. That seems unwise. Yeah, that's why it was 455 damage. Big number. Big number. This 3 AP, man. For the birds. Huh? Hats? Go here. What you got, Umi Bozu? Torment. Okay. We do not let you take a turn. We agree. Cool. That was an awkward battlefield, and it's okay. The troll is already at max level, so does not need to be doing heavy lifting here. Do we have... We have one of these fucking tweener guitars again. 5 AP on that sword, you say? 5 AP on the sword, you say? Okay. I'm willing to hear you out here. 5 AP, you say? 5 action points from the government? Just like the government cheese? Hmm. I'm gonna say no to this. Maybe to this? That's 18 physical damage there. 4 agility, that's an action point, and 6 vitality. Five fucking action points. So many action points. That really, really allows us to do do a whole lot with our, with Bubba, with BB. I like this battle axe more, but I do desire that sword. He says he takes the battle axe. Damn you, Grimith! How could you do this to us? I've been deceived. Betrayed. Why? I'd do it again. <laughs> Can't take the streamer anywhere. It's fucked up, man. We lose out on three hit points. That seems fine. That seems fine. That does a lot for us. Put that there, we'll keep that to sell. Which route was I going? This route. I do believe. Give me some treasure. My patron tells me I got this. My patron. What's my purple skill? Grand Salami. Harmonious Discharge. I do like Harmonious Discharge. Grand Slam has to build up charges with knockouts. And Arcane Calamity is... Fine. It's more than fine, truthfully. So, Harmonious Discharge, 
is strength plus wisdom, so it doesn't scale at all with physical damage plus magic damage, which is unfortunate. The advantage here is that it randomly hits up to two targets within range of you, which could only be, might only be enemies, and might only be folks that qualify for Predator. So, like, if someone's stealthing, you can still hit them. And uh, this angel here has some strength and wisdom to make use of that compared to, say, like, I am liking, like, still having, like, this repealing salvo here for dealing double damage to summon units, but I might swap that out for that. The other argument here is definitely Arcane Calamity. All units surrounding target are knocked back three tiles. Which can be a nifty, like, repositional thing for me, too. That's a range six ability. That's magic damage plus eight. I would, uh... I would replace the Mending Bolt for that. Uh, our Spectre would lose out on an ability to heal. But that outreaches anything I currently got on the board, and then it can help with, like, some repositioning things. I'm, I'm a little torn on this one. What skill would I get rid of on the Angel? It would definitely be Repealing Salvo. Do I like Mending Bolt more than I like Repealing Salvo? This doesn't scale at all, but it does give to Spectre more than one hit point. Which means can actually take a little bit more than incidental damage, and we've seen, like, a chain pull happen on the Spectre that doesn't kill. Not a chain pull, but, uh, like a Bramble pull that normally would deal some damage. Here's the thing, I would drop Arcane Calamity for an Area of Effect damage spell. Harmonious Discharge does give me that Area of Effect, even though it's not scaling with my physical damage. Allows me a way to like reach out and touch uh, like gnomes who have hidden. Purple Relic? And that's going to be the Indestructible Helmet. Who do I want to make indestructible? I say these throwing mittens could be replaced by this point. We have six knockback distance. We don't need an extra five. Utility gloves I'm still inclined to keep. I guess. Though I feel like pressure blast would definitely do more for me. Purple gadget, maybe we'll find something else here. Ooh, sharpened spirit. Yes. That does it. Sharpened Spear. What that does, it doesn't consume a turn and applies Piercing Spirit to Caster, meaning your damage is piercing. Yeah. That's good. That means more to me than uh, pushing a barrel not consuming a turn. That means that, uh, what's that? You have 70 protection? Nah, you have zero protection. And because Sephrina already has the Sharpened Resolve skill, so inclined to put that on Safrina. Besides, I like those where they are. I could always put the Earth Rune of plus 10 physical damage on Bubba. Maybe give Safrina the indestructible helmet? That way my angel who can bring people back from the grave is harder to kill. That also puts them fairly even. Equivalent, I should say. Barely. Not entirely equal. Almost equal. On physical damage output. Which makes sense for me to do, since Bubba has three physical, like, damaging skills, and Safrina has two strength leaning skills. So we can look more towards things that would increase Safrina's, uh, strength as opposed to uh, physical damage. Keep that in mind. Will I forget about it? <laughs> Stranger things have happened, you know? Okay, with the special rules. An orange weapon for this. That's plus 8 to their stats, right? No, that's a plus 11 to their stats. Am I willing to give them all plus 11s to their stats in exchange for an orange weapon and a blue weapon? 
in a special arena with rough surfaces in a storm season? <laughs> Maybe? It's gonna be wild tornado -y. You already have 10 action points? Hmm. Okay. Haunt. You have a phantom necklace. Like, with tornadoes there and rough surfaces, so collision damage from knockback effects is doubled, and tornadoes are definitely going to be causing knockback effects which turn into collision damage, it could, this could totally go my way. But this could easily not go my way. Like, that, that doubles the Feedling's hit point total. We're going to, we're going to absolutely say pass. I'd do it if this arena weren't so special. But it's special. That's fewer tornadoes than I thought there would be. Is it, that was your turn? That, that, you, you stormed ahead so that you could... <laughs> stormed ahead so that you could mana fiend me. Oh, well done. I'm gonna put you here. Root. I would like to get away from these tornadoes. But we're gonna be standing next to at least one of them. So it goes. This doesn't kill unless I crit, but if I, if I crit these kill anyway. You're gonna have a turn to attack, though. What skill would I like to keep in the bank? I'm gonna use that. Even though we don't need the heal. Okay. Now, because I've gotten rid of, like, my ranged attack, you know. Oh, boy. But we do have a ranged attack, sort of. Sort of. Feeling brave tonight? Not really. No. No. Not. not. I thought about feeling brave. No, not really. Considered it. Understood. <laughs> you have a good day. Sometimes you go back to your starting location. Ooh. I did not foresee a pounce into Rain of Knives because I did not realize you had Rain of Knives on that turn. That did that did deal with my specter. That sucked. That's my official ruling. It sucked. Could be rooted in place. You could bless it, bold. I think my response to that is, who gives a fuck? Howdy! I'm, uh, I'm a little, little miff now. Little, little tiny itty bitty miff now. I'm a, I'm a decky in the schnoz. It's the technical term. make you vulnerable for future attackers. Thanks, tornadoes. Oh no, I can reach. <laughs> A reach can definitely occur. I think we'll pass on that. I... Wait. 
here. Just clump up, everyone. I really thought I'd be able to reach. Kind of annoys me that I didn't to kill with someone. That's what I get for not doing the math. Now you get to go again. You can go wherever you want. I mean, yes. Yes, that... If you're going to do a Cursed Cam Calam for Focus Calamity in some place. Yes. Yes, you're right, yes. Cannot say you were wrong. Damn it. Good. 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 Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm happy. I love my life. No, this is good. Should just let you take care of the problem. It was a 26% chance for knockback. I did not have to take the risk. Well... So, are there spikes here? Doesn't look like it. There's just a tornado, you know. We live here now. This is our home. Let you go ahead and tickle me, buddy. Huh? Okay, okay. Staying alive, staying alive. The blood is moving, by the way. I want to let Safrina get the attacks in for the experience. Could have just healed with that turn. It's probably fine. You can also get some experience. Okay, very good. <laughs> well, we won, but it annoyed me. Cyclone Blast. Now that is something I can replace Mending Bolt with. It's also Sawtooth Drop, which is okay. Pick up Cyclone Blast. Cyclone Blast knocks a target back four tiles. If the target collides with something, repeat the knockback towards a random direction. It's pretty nifty. It's Wisdom times 1.5 damage, and we do have some Wisdom. Some. Amplified Advance is a pretty nifty skill. Um, if I were to take it, it might be if I re by removing Exposing Assault on Bubba. But that would mean that I'd want to keep Sharpen Insignia on Bubba until the end of time. You don't have a way... No, you have Sharpen Resolve, of course. Duh. Amplified Advance uh, is an adjacent targeting ability. Reduces the duration of all environmental tiles surrounding you and under you by 10, but amplifies damage, which is really nifty. Bubba has less MP for that, but that's okay, because Bubba doesn't have any MP using skills. Safrina does have two. What am I most inclined to get rid of here? Like a grizzly assault? Get rid of the blood that we would use to... Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, yes. I don't dislike having expo and keeping exposing assault. 
That way I can open up the others to bypass piercing, or I can just secure that they have ways of their own to bypass piercing, which they do. Let's drop that. And put down Amplified Advance. We always have another book of this if I really need to apply it. All right, let's grab our fourth gladiator. No, we have to fight the elite first. Random unremovable debuff on the team in exchange for the uh, the cloning mirror. The splitting mirror, I should say. What do our foes look like? 8 AP. Confusing skill layout, I would say. Nibby here, the gnome, who does have a mirror equipped and is frenzied. The bolt magic missile. Magic missile, huh? Magic missile. Arena, tornado. I am willing to greed this. Yeah, I'm willing to focus to salt. I'm willing to try greeting this. Random unremovable debuff. Or because one of our characters is immune to that. Okay. That could have gone worse. They're gone worse. Vulnerable. Now rooted. You're terrified. Which is definitely not as bad as being vulnerable. And you're immune to debuffs. Let's get our clone out. Uh... I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the clone here. Let's root. So that this enemy lives here alone. How does it feel to be alone? I'm not going to attack them to allow the angel an opportunity to heal. Although that might be a knockback and a troll. The troll will probably be fine. He said, Antwin, that was true. attack there. I was wrong. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Let's move back then. Alright. Let her rip. We did not knock back. Good. that entire access point. Shift right. What's my biggest threat here? It's you. You also have 82 hit points. Probably not killing you this turn. But we can definitely slay you. Oh, crit. Well, I guess that would have taken care of everything. And that prevents me from getting attacked this turn as well. He can't keep getting away with this. Spoilers. He kept getting away with this. See, well, that sure showed me. I gotta reach. Let's not let the focus assault happen. That's fine. Bye.
Chaotic Sickness, huh? Doesn't consume a turn. I like it. I'm a big fan of the sickness. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Is anyone named? All of them are unnamed. You have your pick. Madoka, Safrina, or Bibi. Bubba. We are about to pick up our fourth. Sacrifice minion. Mm, I think this is all going to be cell fodder. We shall see. I would be be inclined to, you know, accept another magic attacker to my heart. We'll see what's available to us here. We don't have to pick up a gladiator here. We can... What the fuck? What do you mean you cost 1765 <laughs> Excuse me? You're only level 9! Why the fuck would you cost that? So you do have Sanguine Strike, you have Frenzy Dash, you have Conjure Assault, and you have Transfer Life. Transfer Life, Resurrect, all surrounding units with HP equal to Gazer's current HP. So it kills the dwarf and brings everyone back adjacent to him. Everyone. All surrounding units. I mean, Conjure Assault is cool. You don't you do not justify a 1765 gold price tag. <laughs> no, you're you're not worth that. Uh this slither here could commit some crimes. Slither comes with haste. Using skills doesn't consume a turn, but they get plus three cooldown. So, uh, they can empty out the arsenal on their turn and then, you know, wait a while. Wait a while and listen. Blood Cataclysm. Hmm. Who suffers robes? I'm gonna give the shop a reroll. Think about whether I want to buy any of the items that are in the shop. I could see an argument for a revival at the Hollow Stone. I could definitely see an argument for the Slitherer who does have haste and has room to grow. I also would like to have Mind Lock as a skill that we have on the party. What's your perk? Giant Slayer. Just no, like. <laughs> You are not worth me selling this stuff just to scoop you up. If this is endless, we're going to have presumably time to get you some kills to level you up. Howdy, howdy, welcome man. Yeah, Hasty. Hasty could do some things for us. I just have to keep that in mind with the skill books I give you. And that would give us a dedicated second magic attacker. Who could also do things for us like Chaotic Sickness, provided they survive that long, because I would keep them last. Now let's pick them up. That means that this doesn't really do, do you any good. That armor we would want to start catering more towards. Wisdom. Uh, skill book wise. Reject pain for hazard protection is nifty in the sense that you can like run through 
fire and tornadoes and what have you, but I'm also, like, uh, not strongly compelled by that. So, you do have Repealing Salvo, but you already have Repealing Salvo. Of course, skills that don't consume a turn still don't consume a turn on the Slitherer. But they just have a much longer cooldown, so they're less effective than someone else rolling with them. You could make the argument to put this Chaotic Sickness on someone else. But the only other person who has that kind of MP is the Kitsune. And you could make an argument for that, since we do have Spirit Projection. I would be willing to give up Overgrowth for that. Yeah. And then we Noxious Barrage, we Cyclone Blast, and then we, uh, we pray. Because that's the end of our actions that we can take that deal magic damage. Maybe we should get an item that has like a magic attack spell. Just thinking out loud. Sure. Yeah, let's keep you away from skills that don't consume turns. It's fine to have items that don't consume turns. It's cool. Am I keeping any of this gear? I think not. It's all getting sold. It's all getting sold. It's not all getting sold. Yeah, yeah, sacrifice minion, you know, with all the summoning we do. And we can't have duplicates, so. 2414. Do I want to buy one of these armor pieces before re-rolling? Do one of these armor pieces do it for me? Do it. So I'd be interested in buying this champion armor for my angel. Uh, the 12 physical damage doesn't do so much for us. Um, since we now have two skills on her. Them, it, they, his, we, that uh, lean on strength. I mean, there certainly are bevies of summoning spells. There's more than four summoning spells. Like critters to blood to specters. That's seven wisdom, though, that's already being added to this harmonious discharge. So we're taking that seven wisdom and we're turning it into nine strength and three wisdom. We're losing it on three physical damage. We're getting the, the strength, which gives us knockback chance. It actually factors into these two skills. We're losing out wisdom which drops, obviously, the effect of Harmonious Discharge, also drops our MP available in exchange for this. I'm more tempted to hold this money and roll for consumables. Consumable shop uh, being up here. Or I could also like have a look at weapons. Because uh, consumables would be permanent stack gains, and I might also see a chaotic perk potion. I would slam down on Bubba or Zief. And just look to. Yeah. I'm not saying it's useless, I'm saying. You only get a charge on that when you get a deal on knockback. The Tin Vitality... It translates into 30 HP? Yeah. 
five wisdom on top of that, you lose out on an action point here. That's 27 HP, 18 protection. That would be 31 protection with the 10 vitality. I can make an order for that, but I'm also, you know, interested in maybe saving potentially, possibly, maybe for uh, a cool uh, armor that gives me like a mana shield effectively. saying there aren't upgrades here I'm just like are they worth I think this plated robe is yeah it's plated robe is Who gets this? You're doing more for the team, Madoka, so I think you get this. This doesn't really increase your HP by a whole bunch. Let's get that to you. It's plus 9 HP. It's, you know, plus 5 Wisdom. Plus three magic damage on the five wisdom. And a bunch of extra protection on that. Bunch of, it's not that much comparatively extra protection on this. This is the one that's most needed replacing. So, we'll sell that. I want to spend 75 gold on a reroll here, just to have a look. An Everleaf. Also a level 10 wizard. Environmentalist. Throw rock! I love throw rock! Shit. Damn. I don't have an ass load of strength on any of these characters, but, you know, everyone loves a good rock. Five ranged, deals half strength damage, doesn't consume a turn. The great sort of thing that you throw when you need to deal, like, incidental damage to someone. It's great. Big fan. Big fan of throw rock. This Everleaf, though. Skill cooldowns reduced to zero. All skills consume a turn. So we wouldn't give this to the Kitsune. Because we have multiple skills that don't consume a turn here. Uh, we definitely wouldn't give this to the Slither either. Because the Slither has Hasty. And we've seen how Everleaf and Hasty work before in a prior run. This would either go to the Angel. Or it would go to Bubba. And I think if I were to put it on, I would put it on the Angel. The problem would be that Sharpened Resolve would end up consuming a turn as well. I think given how I currently have the Kitsune and the Slitherer has the Hasty perk, I don't think Everleaf is for us. But the ability to just spam like your best move every every round, that's really good. Sharpened Spirit, another Sharpened Insignia, that would allow me to drop Sharpened Resolve if I was willing to drop an item. You know, that only lasts for one turn. That ability has a seven turn cooldown, as opposed to sharpen resolve. I'm consuming I would consume an item slot, as opposed to a skill slot. You could make an argument for that. That damn rock, though, man. Oof. What about the armor pieces? Did I just tip this dude 75 gold? I might have just tipped this dude 75 gold. 25 protection, 2 strength, and 13 vitality. If that was like 13 strength and 2 vitality, I'd pick that up on the angel. Chainmail a plus 4 AP could make an argument for that. I don't think so. These aren't, like, significant enough upgrades. I was willing to try a reroll for 75 gold. 
tip the uh, tip the shopkeep. That chainmail interests me. For plus four action points. What would I lose out on? Ten physical damage. The ability to just move. Mm -hmm. I put you at forty-three. Lose on some hit points. No, no. We'll leave the rock behind. Yoda, you got it. Yoda. Yoda it is, Morlock. The pricey 10,000 com compulsion loops have been spent. It will be a name which endures for the rest of this endless run. Did in fact have a different life. Fifth AP. Only 12 damage. But it could be more. Would I get like gear replacements? It could be more. It could be more. I want to believe in it. I want to believe. That's right, you are incompetent. Your skill cooldowns are increased by one. Forgot about that when factoring in the Everleaf. I will look fondly at this rock as I grit my teeth and leave the shop. Purple weapon. 11 action points, excuse me? 61 crit chance, excuse? <laughs> Help. <laughs> You bleed Acid Mist, you have Sacred Blade. Sacred Blade's a pretty good skill. I would uh, definitely like to see a Sacred Blade being offered to me. Which, you know, if I actually went to a shop that sold some skills, which would be this shop. Which we cannot hear to at this point. We'll say no. It? You want to randomize me? What do you want to do, bud? You want to sneak? And come out here and get your real crit. Thankfully, you don't deal that much in the way of damage, because otherwise that could have been that could have been hard times, Daddy. Let me tell you what hard times is. It was not hard times. But it could have been. It was not. I feel someone else can kill you. Who dies? Who dies? When you die, you'll spawn a tornado. And tornado could end up being entertaining for us. You also have the most hit points. I'm convinced. Map checks out. Those, those tornadoes look kind of cool, actually. So that's, that's a different tornado aesthetic. I'll just take care of this. Goodbye. Uh huh. You have an ever leaf. <laughs> Fuck you, wizard. Ever leaves have this typical like combo that they love to do, where they blink to a place before they nuke you. Well, ever leaf means that all skills consume a turn, so blinked and then the turn ended before being able to attack with. Reservably repealing salvo here. Putting the pillar here so that we can't get bull rushed by the Minotaur. And I'll just stand back here. When all the gear starts having skills, teleport caster to target location that applies slow to all surrounding units. Well, yeah, I guess that's that's a legal move. All right, cool. Two, three, four, five. Let's give you some cooldowns. I 
I think we just killed the wizard. Give this to you. Knock you back. I believe Simon says kill the... I mean, I could kill either of these. We'll kill the wizard. Wait. Right. Right, you have haste. All of your shit doesn't consume a turn. Right. Right. Right, I was confused again. They're like, what? 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 <laughs> we'll just kill them. <laughs> Gotta get used to haste, eh? Green relic? Oh, procurement order. Now's my moment. With now no longer being able to shove barrels. But I sold my box. Obviously, I need to sell the box. Yeah. Well, oh well. Purple jewelry? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, uh... I did some math. Three AP on that, huh? I was about to pick up this gold bracelet, but shit. Three action points? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because this needs a replacement. And I was going to replace it with, uh... Strength. And agility. And also some wisdom which would scale with this up. But I could I could just take, you know, three action points. That seems fine. That doesn't help this character do more damage, but action points. The economy, you fool! You could also use an improvement as well. Four wisdom and 12 crit chance. That's true. You could use an improvement. Let's think about it. We do definitely want to crit more with you because you're vicious. That's why we kept that on you. No, I don't think I'd replace that. I think I would replace this. Two protection, we're getting that for the two vitality here. Sure. We'll uh, put a bracelet on. If this had three agility on it, well, it would be even more overkill with action points. Since we have so much rooted, I'm less inclined in crossing the battlefield on one turn. Yeah, we'll do that. That's notable. Chuck that. Like to level up outside of battle so that the various buffs and debuffs that are in battles don't like weigh into this. Uh, it's gonna be strength. It's gonna be strength. Could be agility. Could get another action point. So good long as It's gonna be strength. We'll pick up some other stat bonuses along the way. Possibly. Probably. Maybe. Can't forget that you're a predator. Alright. I could, uh, dip into this shop. For skill books and considerables. Instead of taking the elite. Skills could always be better. But we'll take the elite. Enemy characters are tougher. Plus 11 on all their stats in exchange for, uh, Two blue skills and a purple jewelry. Not willing to take them getting that much of a bonus. Wiggy already here, already has HPs. He's also a visionary. My god. It means that every time he uses a skill, it's replaced by a new random skill. He's stubborn. They are stubborn. You got a bulky tackle. I'm probably going to forget that you have that. You teleport to a random location. I'm looking forward to that fucking me over. You have 37 physical damage with a frenzied dash and a sanguine strike. Okay. Barrels! Get debuffed. Nerds. So I have spaken.
I think this predator over here dies. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. What's up, bud? You, uh, everything good? Uh, we're just, uh, we're just hanging out here. You know, you know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. Put a pillar there. For no reason. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Totally not trying to... No, no, it's fine. Don't... don't you're asking too many questions. What did I tell you all about questions? <laughs> That didn't get a knockback. Upsetting. Help. Now it's time for so long. But we'll sing just one more song. Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. Me and you, my dog Blue. We can do anything that we wanna do. Apparently we can't, though. I said, we can do anything that we want to do. Good. Glad we understand each other. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. You've done your work, bud. The dwarf who started with 170 hit points. Oh. Through the bomb. It's a fine crit. It doesn't right, 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 right. Stubborn. Stubborn. There we go. That's how you solve death to fight everyone. Oh no, Daftified! Ah. Hello! Can I interest you in some goods and services? Alright, I'm liking the party. I'm liking how everything's come together here. Four action points, you say. There's one of those tweener weapons. I think that's superior to, for us. Yeah, 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 that's superior. We shall take it. I shall equip it. It has been equipped. Survivability is at hand. Indeed. I see. All right. Let's it be. Let's go. Last fight before level three boss. Stockpile. Spawn a new barrel in every unit's turn. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Haven't suffered a loss this level. I will I eat three extra units here? How do how do I think of my killing power in a group is? Pretty sure I had that attitude last time. <laughs> and we lost. So, you know. A lot of fucking barrels. Oh. Okay. Well. I see. Damn. Wild. Alright. Sure. Cool. It's killed here. A lot of barrels providing cover. 
And now my foes will not be able to move because they are rooted in place. And they're no wizards. At this point, I'm kind of like, they have skills. Everyone knows they have skills, some. Unnecessary group. And I know now now we can't just shove barrels freely. Distressing. I think I deal with that Spectre. So as not to allow the Spectre to do a diffuse acid or scorching eruption. I think I fling this barrel up there which causes an explosion which will fling this specter back five tiles and thus slay the specter I was thinking about like doing vines to pull that over but I don't think that's necessary I think I also want to put a pillar in here unclear at this time Ostensibly, my specter will get a turn to do some cool rooting powers. I either want to put it here or here. I haven't decided. Hopefully I will. <laughs> it would be helpful to decide. Maybe I don't use it this turn. Let's not use it this turn. Fresh barrels! This is worth doing. Cool. Good. <laughs> Good turn. I do not want to be in a line for this focused assault, so I will stand next to this. I will stand here. Pleased by the team performance here. Taking on these extra foes. There's an achievement for like fighting a full group of eight. I think I cyclone blast. Leonard here. It's not a kill. I do like my kills. What kind of damage are we looking at? Some. It's not a kill either. No, it it's gonna be a kill. As a cyclone blast, it's gonna knock you back. 
Also the crits. I guess that's going to be a kill there. <laughs> One, two, and that also gets me out of range here. Friendly hits up the two targets in range. You and I uh, don't have to do that, though. Just get the kill. Earth tilts his head. Hmm. <laughs> I have an idea. It's fucked up enough to work. But nods. Yes. Yeah. Howdy. I was gonna fling this barrel. Uh at uh, Leonard here, but I feel like I could, uh, I feel like we could have managed something. We do. Want blood? We don't need blood. Anyone got a buff on him? I suppose it might actually, yeah, your turn expired, so the buff faded away. You're still gonna be rooted. Yeah. All right. This is. Yeah, this worked. What's your knockback? One. Play love. What kind of skills do you have? Not a problem for me, those skills. Cool. I can step forward one to do this, then step away. You you can be berserked there all you want, bro. You ain't going anywhere. Please. You're bully. No longer rooted. You're slowed. You have five AP, so you can get to someone and revive them. We don't. We do. Do we really want you to be able to do that? But I feel like this is the greater threat. Especially since I can come on in through the fire and flames and utterly annihilate that fight. It felt good. Uh, yes. Not procurement order. There was like a barrel being spawned every turn. Listen, they're all dead. There was a lot of enemies. There was an ass load of enemies. I, I stopped keeping track. I didn't really, I didn't really look that hard at their gear. So could have been great. I'll grab that. I guess I'll grab that book. That was cremate. Yeah, cremate's worth learning. Purple jewelry. Would that be an ornate collar for us? I think that could be an ornate collar for us. It does drop our crit chance. Ooh. We lose out on some wisdom. And the crit chance. No, oh, that says MP, not HP. But we are gaining MP from that, or HP from that. That's 134. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 we'll give you that. You have 5 AP. That's pretty good. Though we did make use of that last AP. Last turn. Take that. We'll sell the rest of the stuff. Let's go to our Shop of Horrors. Flaming Sword on melee attacks spawn fire on target. That's pretty nifty. Got big beef here. Sacred Blade and Amplified Advance of the Sanguine Strike, but incredible. Okay, the Flaming Sword is 20 crit chance. That's... Hmm. I 
I'd like to see one of these weapons, though, give strength, but none of them are. Alright. Um... go ahead and grab this. Someone's getting an extra action point, and it's gonna be our Yoda. Yoda, have an extra action point. We buy this one as well, because there is a, a three there we can resolve for an extra action point. The Wisdom we're gonna be picking up too. Uh, the Vitality and the Agility there. I don't think the uh, Agility there, but the Vitality for sure. The Wisdom's definitely going on you. The Vitality is going to go on our Angel. Try to get the Angel up into triple-digit hit points, considering how the Angel does have a Resurrect. I read all the shop now. Weapon does compelling things. Elixir of Wisdom for 275, we grab that. The rest of these are kind of high on their prices. I might be willing to spend 150 to reroll just to get away from those prices. Weapon wise, nah, I don't think so. My Wisdom goes on you. Yeah, those are too expensive for those potion values. And I'm not compelled by these weapons. Six. Do you like nine physical damage with nine magic damage with nine protection with 12 wisdom? Weapon, please. Yes, at the beginning. Congratulations, you made it to the start of Let's Get On With It Live, where we do, in fact, sometimes it's been known to occur. Get on with it. <laughs> I remain your host, Grimoth. Somehow, through all of this. It's wild. That's not worth buying to replace that scepter. That doesn't do enough for me. Chain of Claw doesn't do enough for me. That? You can make an argument. I lose out on... A little bit of magic damage in exchange for 16 crit chance? That? Now that is a compelling argument. Austic Scepter on melee attack spawn acid. I, that is a compelling argument. Considering this character wants to crit. I haven't exactly been loading up with agility. So we lose three magic damage here. We lose one point of wisdom. A little bit of HP, of course. In exchange for getting that crit chance up by 16. More MP, because that's what we're fucking missing. Do I want to keep this? I think I do. Yeah. It's worth having. Let's have it. Sell that. Okay, elixirs wise. We've got uh, a 208 through 3. A 267 for 4. 383 for 5. Ugh. 65 for 4. Do I re-roll the shop again after this? I think I want to give my Kitsune another action point. That way that ups that crit chance too. I can pocket the rest of this cash for finding items... Like maybe like an early shop to like for skills after this because we are an endless ostensibly we're just going to the beat will go on in theory
fuck it, I'll take that. There we go. Put the 20 vitality on ZF. On Z. Okay, I feel uh I feel pretty 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 damn good about the squad. Boss three. Frost Giant. I think I fought you once before. In all of my runs I've done of this. I get to see some bosses we haven't seen before in Endless. If only because. Well, there's two and then the Emperor. I may not have fought you before. I don't recall uh, Doom being used. I have no have seen you sit before in that chair. Let's have a look at Ulrich. Barb Tunic, so if his attack applies bleeding to the attacker. Any bleeding this unit causes deals double damage, so there's cool bleed synergy there. Uh, Fool's Curse for a last stand. Uh, is a full heal. But once that is used, Ulrich will die. In a few turns. Impatient, skill cooldowns higher than one are reduced by one. Callus, this unit is immune to buff. No! No, that works? I gotta see that. What? Yes, that is a debuff. Oh, that's fucked up. I didn't think about that. What if you had a full heal in your pocket, but then you were immune to debuffs, so you didn't eat the doomed debuff? <laughs> that's cool. I didn't consider that possibility, but yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah. I'm like, oh, surely doomed. No, no, no. I mean, it says it's a debuff. I... All right. I did not think of the prospect of combining Callus with that. I do. Madoka is Callus. That is a that is a valid argument. That's a full heal. It does not consume a turn. And there is a several turn cooldown on that fucker. But hey, he's impatient. We have a charge. We have a perforating stab, which will do fine against us. Frost Nova, deal damage and spawn ice and all times an area effect. Applies Rooted and then a Glaciate, which we've seen plenty of. If there's plenty of blood on the board, uh, Glaciate can bring harm. You're a Predator with a Summoning Manual. Nothing to summon. Nuppy here with Haunt and that Glass Helmet. Uh, Nuppy here is... Uh, thankfully does not have any super scary attacks, but... Attacks from this unit pierce protection. Any incoming damage is doubled. So, perpetually counts as being able to pierce our protection. But thankfully, does not have a big, like, Oko. Conjure Bramble, though. That's real. 10 AP on you. Okay. Environmentalist. Let's, let's see how this looks. I do like this music track. And of course, is immune to all buffs and debuffs. So, Ulrich's like, look all the that shit. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. I was I was anticipating that getting me into range, and I care far more about killing like this. Like glass helmet fucker. Fucker of glass helmets. I want to let, like, a, like, you survive and thrive under Jojo. Come on in! Hmm. Not how I was expecting you to come on in, but you did. Howdy. I can reach. And I crit. doesn't really close off that avenue. Cross Giant can still use that avenue. I'm going to keep some distance here. Yeah, I don't want to clump up too close. Except here could Frost Nova. 
We'll get here. And I end my turn. Final range, sure. I've seen that before plenty of times. Yeah, whatever, man. Vile rain. Whatever, dude. Go this way. Stay away from Ulrich. Did not foresee that. Did not foresee you spending your turn flinging a barrel into me that doesn't break. The vile rain did kill the inspector. In case you missed that part. Fine with standing here and blocking like access to this guy. Yes. Yeah, I am. Howdy. I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> Fucking barrel away from me. I'll wait here. But you're not gonna have enough time to activate your last stand. I I do deal an ass load of damage though, so I could I get the confusion. Goodbye. Doka. Some good stuff. Summon blockade. Spawn mud pillar on every tile. Leading to target location. Throw a shield. And revitalize. Which builds charges when you deal knockouts. Well, uh, I'll take the revitalize. Move these two pieces of gear and leave. Phase four. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. The enemies will just get to keep getting harder. With a boss at the end. Okay. About five hours into the run. Of course, we started the broadcast a bit over five hours ago. I'm not opposed to putting this on. We've got real killing power here on Madoka, and I'm interested in maybe like putting this on as an opportunity for me to like bring someone back from the dead. Four AP here on this, which is fine, but we're but we're pretty solid on AP. As for these clothes, um, let's level up first. Our level 10 skill is absolutely going to be Enhanced Thunderbolt. How did you know that I wanted Enhanced Thunderbolt? Damn. Fuck. Either that or summon a clone to myself, which we are not doing this run. Not with Madoka. And uh, Transfer Light, which, no. <laughs> it's Enhanced Thunderbolt, and I'm getting rid of Cyclone Blast. Cyclone Blast is pretty nifty. We saw it with, like, good effect there. But the relocating, it deals... Damage equal to wisdom times half, which actually, you know, that is wisdom times half. It's pretty good. Noxious barrage, half a damage pierces protection. I don't want to get rid of that. Is rooted or is chaotic sickness or nature's embrace on the chopping block here? It's okay. 87 plus 12 is 99. That's 99 in a 3x3 three three area that might spread out if there's more blood. That's 99 that could end up vaporizing my own characters. Wisdom times 1.5? You look at the wisdom there. Like, these aren't too far off. That's, uh... I don't know the answer to that question. Being able to pop off, like, rooted and, like, a random debuff. 
really like being able to apply rooted to the entire team. That's basically like a winter orb. It stops the L from being able to remove, unlike a winter orb. Uh, but enemies who are immune to debuffs are immune to this. I'm gonna hold that thought. Let's look at armor pieces for replacement. I suspect it's this scale mail I'm gonna be replacing here. And I anticipate it being. Oh, a murky leap on this. Nice. So it doesn't consume a turn ability on ZF, who, like, whatever. Murky Leap can be transformative. That's 23 protection, that's 21 protection. This is more hit points. It's the same amount of hit points. Well. to trade 11 hit points in exchange for a murky leap. It's going to be the same crit chance just due to like how the agility breaks out there. Sure. I'll take the murky leap as an option. I gotta equip this on anyone. You can make an argument for it, but I'm gonna say no. This revitalize, I'm keeping. The rest of these are definitely just gonna get sold. that much HP for a revive in my pocket? I think so. I do naturally need to kill in order to get a revive in my pocket, but I feel like that's a possibility. Don't know. I would rather keep the rooted than the random debuff. The random debuff could be rooted. It could be anything. But it could also just not be meaningful. Whereas rooted, I know exactly what I'm getting. I like the value of both Cyclone Blast here and Noxious Barrage. Noxious Barrage applying the random debuff to target and half that damage piercing protection, which is so valuable. If I was going to get rid of one of these two, it would be Cyclone Blast. This will naturally scale up like better as we get more wisdom, but this is an area of effect that we are lacking. With Madoka. Well, like direct damage wise anyway. I think I'm going to drop chaotic sickness for this. I think that one I you you could make an argument for a cyclone blast, as far as I'm concerned. TBH. I M H O. Love how I fucked up trying to say an acronym because I don't speak an acronym. <laughs> Consumable shops, skill shop. Skill shop and consumable shop. Events. Could be anything. 
for that. If I take this right path, I get an elite, an event. I can take either of these elites. If I stay on the right path, I can get a third elite, then end up with a skill shop. Fourth elite, and then get consumables. So if I just go far right. Far right, man. Far right. Take this elite and then just go. Where are my options to dip off this path if I hate it? They exist. Ish. I do want that skill shop just to, like, go fishing around for some other skill choices. Good. You could interest me. What do you have to say, uh, bookkeeper? You seem to be hoarding a lot of gold. Remember that you are not a dragon. Hey! How about you go clone yourself so you can go fuck yourself, huh? How about that? What does cloning have to do with it? Shut up. Go fuck yourself. Go rest my case. Booby trapped and double damage. Shit. Well, I'm definitely not taking the clone here, then. Double damage. Okay. Good. We go first. You love to see it. And we double damage. Do my eyes deceive me? Our enemy's about to die. Which which clump of you would like to parry? Mm. <laughs> you have the most health over here in this group of three. And while you have some annoying things, I do dare say all of you are dead. I have spoken. I need an auto calc this battle from here option. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'll step up the spikes. Get over here. Get the fuck away from me. Doesn't help, you know, does not help level up the other characters. To get all the kills from Madoka. I cannot be asked. I'll pick that up. Gonna make an argument for that. Event me. Plus 10 HP on the entire team. Yes! <laughs> Big fish. Big fish. Fish that are big, 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 big. All of you, big fish. Big. Stockpile. Spawn a new barrel on every unit's turn. To make them tougher in exchange for a purple relic and a blue relic? When you say tougher... Hmm. So it's still merely plus 12. I, you know, presume much like this is the case as Endless Mode in the first game, stats will just accelerate to the point where you're going to fall. One of the things about this game, though, compared to the first game, though, is that there's no evade chance. So you're not going to be seeing, like, terrifying, like, gnomes or whatever where you're staring down the barrel of evade chance like that and going, oh, okay. Another thing is that we're allowed to take a loss every level. So long as it's not to the boss. Like, we had a loss earlier this run. That is tempting me. Tell me more about yourself, Hamako. Their AI intelligence has not been scaling as quickly as I thought it would. Like so. You've got to invigorate. You're a flanker. With Stockpile, I am uncertain. And I don't feel like letting this Hamako get a rip here of a chaotic discharge. 
that could crit on three units within range in AoE 3. With the damage being that high. Since Amako is going first, Amako might, you know, win initiative over Madoka, move seven spaces. I don't need that. Of course, I went first, so, you know, fuck do I know, right? Only thing I know is that I know now. Clearly, that's the... That's the, that's, that's the takeaway here. Of course, if we go first, it's an entirely different scene. The situation where you'd love to have, uh... Piercing damage. Well, like a full pierce on... On Hamako to be able to just, like, bypass, like, everyone's protection. For this. This is not combat music, by the way. That was a crit. That did hurt just dropping a fucking meteor on Madoka. <laughs> Can confirm. Meteor crit did hurt. It's true. This angel can't reach. And this music is throwing me off, bro. Bro. It's throwing me off, bro. <sighs> Fucking barrel placement. <laughs> Build a fort around the specter. Ah! Hi, I could reach. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, only the four AP on you now as opposed to the six. That's that's meaningful. It's a meaningful difference. We do have we do have a murky smoke now for cool leaps. Greetings. First off, you're not allowed to use any of your other skills. As it was written, so shall it be. I have spoken. You can take that. And then we'll give you a cremate, too. That's right, you're not allowed to use your skills. And finally, I feel like my work here is done. You gotta let other people get the experience. Now that's a compelling item to me. Perhaps more so than this revitalizer that we did build up charges with it. I have to think about that. Could always just put it on someone else. I did make that argument. I do kind of like that on you. The box is back! Box is back on the menu, boys. Yeah! Termites, fuck yeah! I will take the termites. Get out of here, barrels. You no longer have power over me. I said right. Enemy characters are tougher in exchange for champion armor and necromancer beads. When you say tougher... Focused assault. Ooh, a singular punch. Singular punch, yeah. Griffith fantasizes about having singular punch. That's some good shit right there. You've got Singular Punch, you have Focused Assault. Oh, look at those skills. Choice skills. 
Let's go. This music track, not my favorite. to how the line of sight blocking is working. I think I'm going to step back the one and actually just take this hit here. And crit, you know, as one does. <laughs> Easy. There's a 51% chance. Ninety HP on that troll. Hooba. Hooba. Excuse you, it's Hooba. Damn. Well. Ten AP, ten AP, six AP. Didn't I slay you? Don't think too hard about it. I end my turn. This would be so much more painful if I wasn't able to root all these fuckers in place. Do I need a pillar here? Yes, your four moves. That's gonna complicate this zone. I can't do that. I should have leaped first before I moved. I don't want a bunch of smoke being here. I won't be able to target out of it either. That's okay. Root them! Yes! It's okay that you weren't able to attack this turn. I didn't need you to. I better get to work on this troll. No. Refuse. Do you have an ability that would allow you to reach? Me if I'm here? Maybe. Knock back immune. That's fine. We dealt 85 points of damage with that. That that ability does not bypass protection. There's 66 protection there. We can always use piercing or sharpen resolve on an ally to put on the Kitsune for like turn two, if we so desire. Anyway, how much damage are we dealing? If we do this some. <laughs> An amount. It's not necessary. Don't care. I feel pretty good about this party. Until, you know, I stop feeling pretty good about this party. When that day comes, I think I'll create a bunch of blood to amplify advance next turn. No, I can just eat the pillar here. It fine. It's advanced me meaningfully. Yes? Okay, it's time. You! You're not allowed to do anything. It's illegal. You. You, you should consider perishing. Just do this. Oh, that's right, Death Defied. No. No, 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 no. No, get, get, get rid of that buff. Thanks. All right, have a good one.
Bless it be. <laughs> Your turn, Hooba. Oh, no, sorry. <clears throat> that went well. I feel like they challenged it all right. Make an argument to me uh, with necromancer beads as opposed to the hollow stone. The value of a potential skeleton as a distraction. We've seen how they can work on distracting the AI. I could, I could see it. Good. It's not a difficult argument. Let's, let's give it a spin. No, I still do not. You know, I'm still, I'm still cool with that item. Mr. Short. Am I willing to accept a clone of Yoda in my next fight for 450 bucks? Yes? Grimace nods. Grimoth nods. <laughs> oh, okay. I can accept a challenge for a, a randomly clone unit from the team. Hmm. No, I think that'll be fine. Now, don't get me wrong. Yoda without any gear on. Still a giant slayer. Still has some skills. Did it for the money. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want to go after someone else. Trusting the others to kill Daikon. Bow. All we are is dust bone in the wind, dude. Dust bone. Wind. Well, uh, until I lose this endless run, at which point the, you know, everything is lost, I can never truly attain victory because it's endless. That's how that works. Endless. characters attack here. I don't need to utilize the sharpen resolve this turn. We will use the sharpen resolve this turn. That will kill. You can use the experience. My skelly bro! How could you do this? to place this pillar here to block any potential vine summonage from that vector. Okay. Hmm. 
Nice opener. Are you deaf to find? No? Hmm. You just have 37 hit points, and this only deals 36 damage. Understood. I'll just go ahead and haste the rest of that off. I think... I feel like that was pretty good. Let's mind lock the other Slitherer. I end my turn. A job well done. Another Skilly Brovros Grimbo. You're rooted in place. Based on what I remember of your skills, he says he reads through all the skills. You'll be able to pull me adjacent to you. Not concerned about that, though. Especially if I crit back. Alright. That's the angel maxed out a level. Six AP on that dagger, huh? Six AP on that dagger. Just say no to that. What skill do we pull out of the box for level 10 here? Grand Slam, Frenzy Dash, Barrel Burial. Grand Slam requires you to get a knockout to build a charge on it before you can use it. I mean, if you do, or have an item that allows you to have, like, start with a charge. Strength times three is some. I don't feel like it pulls its own weight, though, because it doesn't pierce protection. You would need to, like, give that effect in some other capacity. Also worth me considering, like, what skill am I going to place? Frenzy Dash and Barrel Burial. Frenzy Dash is a little bit of a distance closer. Only range two. It charges towards the target, knocks it knocks back two tiles, and applies swiftness to the caster for 12 agility, which turns into, like, 12 crit chance. A bit more than that, actually. And, uh, reaction points. I like these skills that are on, though. I like the Vampiric Swipe as an option. An Afflicted, afflicted Bash and Harmonious Discharge both have real potency here. Frenzy Dash is not compelling enough, and Grand Slam is not compelling enough of how I'm currently playing this character. We're just going to skip. It's perfectly fine. Stockpile! Spawns a new barrel on every turn. I can give you three extra units. Change for Conjured Assault. Oh, now that would be a skill we'd use. And a purple relic. I am perfectly willing to give you three extra units. He says, looking at the units. This dwarf in particular. Woo! Focused Assault. Randomized stats. Let's go. Let's keep you out of it. Root him in place. Let's analyze some HP totals here. Along with uh, how my underbolting is going to have to look. Be nice to have a scope. We'll put it down here. I got a crit on uh, the central hit, which is really nice. And because uh, the Fiendling had such low HP. Two Skelly Bros. Bones and Bone Grin. Cool. You'll love to see it. I want to get out of this line. Oh. I mean, you already had your turn. Focused Assault can only do so much. Like, it's a range of eight, but... You can only do so much. That open rooting. That's good stuff. Let's head left. I don't need to use that. Because I can always... 
was just kidding. And did knock back into my skeleton board, too. Thinking intensifies. Okay. I'm open for that. Get over here. Sharpen the spirit. Put that behind you. It wasn't necessary, but I did it anyway. One of you is more dangerous. Let's say it's you, Rubius. Rubius, Rubius. Oh. Mind lock you. It's a good turn. Didn't see that you had leap as an option. My beautiful specter. That's quite all right. 88 hit points on you. Mm, the only one of my characters who isn't leveled all the way is this mind player, and I don't think the mind player is getting another turn this fight. Let's deal with this if we can. We can. 205 damage seems fun. That seems fair. Okay. Cool. We did get a level. That's a challenge done. Ooh. Radiant sculpture and Everleaf utility gloves are being offered to me again. We'll pick up the Everleaf as an option. Guess I changed my mind. We get the Conjured Assault book that I wanted. A lightning storm. Mm. Ooh. It's a real choice. What skills are they offering here? Blessed swing. Sudden Gust. Flash, though. Okay. I'm thinking this tunic here on the right. For the strength. This one's the one that offers the most wisdom. It would offer 24 protection on top of 24 hit points and 5 wisdom besides. The 24 hit points and, like, 21 hit points from the 7 vitality. And the Sudden Gust gives another skill. Though you already do have Sudden Gust. So I don't think it helps you getting that from an item. It could allow me to swap that out for you having Lightning Storm instead of Madoka. Yeah, you could certainly uh, stand to have a skill upgrade. But Madoka is, uh, is pretty fucking good. Yeah, I'm... I like the idea of taking this enchanted plate. I tend to buy this tunic. But I will take this enchanted plate. And to put this on you. And let's level you up. We're going to take some wisdom. We're going to take some wisdom. And we're going to take some wisdom. It's pretty spooky. Oops. And I want you to forget... Sudden Gust, because now you're getting that. And learn Lightning Storm. And Conjured Assault is definitely going on, Safrina. I think that's worth me dropping the heal here? Are you sure about that?
Yes, the best heal is killing everyone, but... Also has Death Defiant. Hmm. And this does not do so well on Yoda at all. Yoda only has nine wisdom. That does not that does not work for Yoda. If someone's getting it, it's definitely Safrina. Yeah, I don't want to replace Sharp and Resolve. Considering replacing Harmonious Discharge, but no, these skills don't quite do the same thing. This deals damage to all surrounding units, which could be mine, but it could also be enemies. This require adjacency. Am I now rethinking this skill? I am not. I refuse to rethink it. You can't make it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... That heal is just so useful to have. We've made use of that heal a few times. That like, that really makes a difference. Give me all the damage this angel can lay out. I'm actually just going to keep this book, then. I'm going to keep thinking about it. And this Everleaf, I'm keeping, so I am with this Revitalize. I'm liking the Necromancer beads. I think that's a good choice. Sure. We'll bank that thought for now. I don't... Uncertain. I like uh, Sabrina having some range here with the Harmonious Discharge. Effect area being two. As opposed to the one from this. But this, I mean, this certainly does deal more damage. Three more. Of course. This also has a much shorter cooldown than this. It's true. Plus less mana. Maybe if we had, like, the Sharpen Resolve or, like, some sort of effect from an item, I'd feel different. Like, if I handed over the Sharpen Spirit and then got rid of that, but then I wouldn't have any way of uh, allowing Yoda to bypass protection. So I wouldn't be good with that. That's why we're going to keep the book. Storm Season and Stockpile. Looking at a Banish and Everleaf. Everleaf, you say? Moggy here has an Infectious Root, a Jagged Ring, a Focused Assault, a Predator. Predator is noteworthy there. Not dealing too much single way scary damage, though. Rage Toxin, Amplified Power, Hunter Bolt, Magic Needle, Touch, and Alatar here. Yeah, it's kind of flimsy. Like 20 magic damage on that, and them's rookie numbers. Though it's critical jam damage doubled. Chance double for that skill. Got a prod, got a chain. With a storm season and stockpile, I'm not willing to risk enemy characters being tougher. The battlefield's gonna be complicated. As seen here, it's complicated. So much protection, I'm happy to try and punch there. That's the full 70. Eh? Rude. Yeah, it's not worth using the lightning storm here. Well, I mean, that should kill the... Not lightning storm. That should kill the wizard. Yeah. And I got a crit on top of that that nearly killed Yodet. Yodet. I insist. This should kill. Thank you for understanding. Oh yeah, that killed. Ouch. Don't think I'm pillaring here. I end my turn. You, I don't know. Take a ride. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Yeah.
Get this barrel away from me. And crit. And win. Oh. So there definitely did need the experience points from that there. Blue relic. Plus three charge, all skill to charge. You could definitely make use of that. I could see that being an argument. Purple gadget, skill ring pull. Sharpened spirit. In a last stand. Yes, the last stand. Yes. Yes. We did not get to see the frost giant do this. I. I wanna. I wanna try this out just to see it, you know? There's another sharpen insignia being offered here for Safrina. That does allow me to, like, the flexibility to replace that skill. Though it does last for two turns as opposed to the Sharpened Spirits. One, pull down to smaller. Give me this last hand. I want to see if this will work. Perhaps, uh, brick the run in the process. It's an elite even. Oh. Alright. Loot! Purple Gadget says... Rocket Blast, I guess? Purple Relic. Can be... I don't know. Necromancer Beads again? Could make an argument for that over this Restore Life thing. Rocket Blast. I don't know if we actually put that on. Since I got the Necromancer Beads here. And purple gadget. Oh, hey, there's a sharpened spirit anyway. I'll be damned. It's good to be good, I tell you, viewers. <laughs> Sometimes. What if you, what if you just gooded harder? Hmm. Think about it. I think I would put that on here, though, and maybe replace this. Oh, damage drop. I think it's fine. Want to keep that pillar on. The Sharpened Spirit I want to put on Madoka as opposed to Safrina because, like, this is, like, obviously a notable weakness. Like, Cyclone Blast and Enhanced Thunderbolt not being able to go through like that. You could argue, make an argument for putting uh, Conjured Assault on Madoka. Because, uh, sure, that's Strength plus Wisdom, and sure, we're looking at one Strength, but we're looking at 62 Wisdom. If uh, Madoka ends up getting into melee combat, which, you know, is a thing that could technically happen, he said. <laughs> we'll leave things as they are like this. Sure. All right, second on this elite. Crack the bones. Gonna have to take another stretch break after this level. Enemy team has two extra units for a beast fight or an elite fight. Or I'm gonna be labbing a bit? We're gonna say no, I think. Howard talk. Yes! Uh-oh, their Kitsune gets to go first. That's rude. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Not better, it's fine. I gotta see. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh, yes, yes, good, good. Cross Giant out here doing crimes. Right. Right, I can't sharpen my spirit. Right. I'm going to have to take that item off. Put it on the angel. Right. Right. Immune to buffs. Right, that's a buff. Right. Right, 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 right. Quite right. Can't say it isn't. I think I want to kill the Slitherer more so than, like... That's multiple enemies, man. Did not kill them, though. 
One could argue that was a full trace. Get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Rameth tilts his head quizzically. I'm sure that was a good reason. Promulent, insane reason. I think I want to. Put that pillar there to complicate that Slither's life. Not enough reach. Am I a bad enough dude to walk behind this pillar next to this pit? I think I am. That's right. You have vile rain. Gross. I don't have my hop anymore. These are enemies. Good. I resolved the, the fucking slither anyway. lightning. You just live there in that corner. That's your corner now. In this corner? <sighs> just as planned. Locked down on the angel so that I don't see a revive come out here. Finish off you and heal you. Finally, I'll move again. My little skelly army of distractions. Lot of treasure. Woo. Frenzy dash. This thing. The supply signal after every step spawn a barrel randomly on the battlefield. I think not. <laughs> Let's put this on. To bolster those statistics. For that? Yeah. I think that works more on you than the angel. For the sharpened spirit item, I did say I wanted to make use of it. You have to find is neat. The thing about it is that though, if you get knocked back, as part of like you being killed, then when you take the collision damage from the knockback, then you do die. And the death to find is like, oh well, fuck. Not a bad thing to have in the first three turns, but not like necessary. I think with that, I will now drop Sharpen Resolve. And these two Sharpened Spirits are just going to be mandatory. Piece of gear for the Mo. Put on Conjured Assault. It's going to give so many options for Safrina to deal real damage. Real damage. This helmet is worthwhile and meaningful to keep still. You'll know. I think we, we focus on just... What do we just won? Yeah, think about that. Think about winning. 
Here's our weapon choice. That's going to be a no. That's going to be a no. That's going to be a... Eh. That's less magic damage than I'm getting from the scepter. Because that's 20 magic damage there at the 8 wisdom. I like the crit chance here on the doka. So this is just going to be... One of these will just be picked up to sell. Yeah. Gladius would be the one most open to getting replaced. But I'm not seeing anything here that adds strength. So the answer is no. That's okay. We got our skill shop coming up. I'm less interested in that skill shop now. I could uh, dip out of it. Like, my skills are pretty... Pretty fucking okay. I could go looking for uh, weapon replacements. No. It's an armor shop. I could take the extra fight then. Then come back onto this right path. All right. You might be correct. I don't remember enough of Past Griffith's actions. But it stands to reason Past Griffith might have been a prick. I do not apologize. Merely acknowledge that you could be onto something. Feel better now already. <laughs> Haven't gotten that issue resolved. <laughs> Halfway to level 10. What if I ran to this shop? I skip out on the elite fight. I have so much gold. And then, like, that allows me to look for skills and potions. And then I can swing over here and grab more potions. I take four fights. I lose out on events. Alternatively, I just take this route here. That's three fights and two events. Or I get two fights and elite. An event a shot. Of course, like this perk does shot to the end. I could just put it a look here. I do have so much gold. Limit touch is going to be a no. 20% less HP. So, yeah, we'll try. Fuck it. 14 AP, huh? Hi. Imagine this foe do having something far scarier, right? Debuff immune. Are you? A curse ward. Okay. That explains that, though. That's fine. I will last stand those 27 hit points back. And I'm going to trust the rest of the team to be able to resolve that cluster. Blood Brigade. Nice. Turned all that fresh blood into low-level units to aid the team. My team's got that guy. Oh, I can't move because I'm rooted. None of these guys can move because they got rooted by the fucking Frost Nova. Well, yes, I'm, uh... Just forgetting to work, then. Nope, no reach. 
And due to the angling positioning here, I can't actually get an angle on that whisper. I forgot about the rooted. So there can't see around Yoda. So. Why didn't you root? You could have used rooted again. I mean, that was cool and all what you did, but come on, man. Come on. Breaking all of my balls. Every single one of them being busted. See, now they're going to come eat our flesh. Because someone decided that they didn't need to root. No, it's fine. It's a good ample. Nah, no. I mean, that ate the ice, but we still would have been rooted. Yep. No. Get him. Yeah. Sell. 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 Sell? That's 33 protection on that. That might be a keep. A lot of protection. 14 vitality translates into 3 hit points per and uh, 1 point of protection per. And 6 crit chance on top of that? Is it worth me losing the 5 wisdom here? That's 31 protection versus 33 protection. This helped me on the whole hit point front. That gets me back up to triple digits. I lose five damage from the five wisdom loss. Extra crit chance there, though. And two extra points of protection. Twelve extra hit points. I'm willing to replace that. Am I willing to replace you? Same wisdom. No, which means I'm selling this piece then. Is that right? I could make an argument for putting this on you. Eh. I lose out on some meaningful damage there. I'm going to say no. Alright, I get sold then. Keep it moving. Alright. Have a look. With 5,000 gold, it's an assload of gold. I've never not had this much gold before in this game. Another lightning storm, a colossal blast. Colossal blast is neat. You get a charge on that when you deal a knockout. And it can be pretty easy to get a knockout at this point in our times and lives. So then you get a charge of that, and that's pretty fun. There's another lightning storm, another cremate. Uh, I could consider putting a Lightning Storm Madoka. Here's the thing. I want to keep that Noxious Barrage to Pierce Protection. Enhanced Thunderbolt does a lot of good work for us. We already have a Lightning Storm. And Cyclone Blast, I, you know, I like. We've lowered our magic damage now. Uh, but we've still got plenty of Wisdom. Colossal Blast is tempting, and it's only 93. If I get a knockout, that's wisdom times three damage. You know, you're going to make an argument for like, hey, like, Enhanced Thunderbolt could get a kill. And then, like, Cyclone Blast, like, could be replaced by that. Pretty easily. The range of five, range of five. Sure. Let's look at the armor pieces. You're an innovator. Accessories can fit in any slot. They're all they're all orange. And that one's a spirit wall. Cool. I'm definitely gonna be buying that. 
kind of thing I'm looking for. I think prices are going up. So, Spirit Wall. Incoming damage reduces magic instead of HP, if possible. Gives us an asset of MP, so... Turns MP into HP. And uh, we can definitely use that on you. I see... I say Zieth as opposed to Madoka. Yes. Yes? Ten action points, though. We could place ourselves wherever. No, I think Zieth is the one who needs the extra AP right now to do moves. So I think we're getting rid of that enchanted play. Yeah. Um, as regards to other upgrades, I definitely do want a an armor upgrade for you, Safrina. Something that adds strength instead of physical damage here would be swell. I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna say no to replacing your pieces with that. I don't think any of these skills are going to be the way to go. How about you, Yoda? You definitely use something that leans more into physical damage as opposed to that magic damage. What if you put on this cloak? What would, what would that do for us? I say no. It is enjoyable. I have, uh... I've had quite a bit of fun. I'll reroll this shot for 100. We got another spirit wall offered to us. Understood. A blood brigade. It's pretty interesting. A spirit wall? I guess I'm picking up another spirit wall then, huh? All right, picking up another spirit wall. That one's cheaper. Might even be better too. But well, we don't have the the four AP on it. But yeah. Okay. Cool. We lose out on a bunch of vitality. We lose out on a bunch of protection as a result. Which means uh, Madoka here can take a bunch of extra damage. And that's notable. But we do have a much bigger shield. And any enemies that bypass protection are going to be able to ignore that value anyway. That's cool. Uh, that That's a, a real change. So both of my uh, casters now have sh spirit walls. So they have mana shields. Which means they could very well just run out of MP and me not be able to use their moves. Which you could then make an argument for putting on an item that then, like... Resolves that. Also, there's less value in Last Stand. Uh, the less HP I have. Though Callus is certainly still on the board. So, with that in mind, I can unequip that, though I will still definitely keep this item. And I will put this on. think. I do believe. Do I want to keep this armor? And lose some damage somewhere along the way? I think so. I think I'm willing to. Scrap these items. I think I'll keep this helmet. I don't think I'm going to be using this frenzy dash at any point. Okay, let's have a look. Electric touch. Magic damage times 1.5 plus 4. Doesn't pierce. We've got plenty of huge magic hits. I think it's going to be a no, and I think I'm going to walk away with 6,400 gold flat. This consumable shop, and we're going to we're going to just start pounding drinks. Jog, 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 jog. During your career, you have started 14 games in total. 
indeed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just chuck that wrenches. Cool. Enemies get a beast character in exchange for. What? Wait. Enemy gets. Hey, this doesn't say they get an extra. This doesn't say they get a plus one on top of that. <laughs> you believe I'm being scammed? Duped. Bamboozled. Go live in your corner. We'll take the two kills. This is not on our side, but uh, these two, Grimbone and Boyne, are. don't have enough wiggle room movement to get up there to, to do this, so I am going to stay here. They can use their cool skills on the Skelly Bros. Let's see about pulling this. Howdy! I'm gonna put this pillar down so that I deal extra damage. It will not kill though unless I crit. Nice try, Grub. Okay. Good, another skeleton for us. Did not kill. Who goes first on their turn? Let's... Everyone's rooted. Is there anyone whose skills I don't want? I do not want to have skills at all, I should say. Yeah, we'll say... We're not allowed to have skills. Alright, I feel like my work here is done. <laughs> Slitherer out. with the lack of rooting. The disrespect. Whatever. At least we didn't need to do it. I'd want the Slither to get more experience here because uh, that's the only unit of mine that is not max level. But we'd have to wait a while for those skills to cool down. Let's just keep it moving. Challenge one for us. The armor just grabbed up the cell. Pressure bomb. That's fine. Critical surprise. I'm kind of eh about that item. Turbulent waves. Then this armor, which I, I looked at a little. Doesn't do enough for me, though. Not do enough for me. And then an elite fight. Booby trap. The battlefield contains spikes. You can have a randomly cloned unit from my team. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Armantia has a singular punch and a sacred blade. Singular punch and a sacred blade. Jelly. I certainly use some skill replacements for Yoda. Like Grizzly Assault. Oof. Oof. Regenerating bone. We've seen that before. We've made good use of that before. You're a visionary. An AP, 9 AP, 9 AP. 
14 AP. Good lord. <laughs> Understood. Spikes. Fuck this dude. Is that the answer I want to give? Use this? Say fuck this dude? Sure. You know what? Fuck this dude. With 154 damage crit there, turbo fuck that dude. That dude's never been fucked so hard. Fucked him to death. It's fucked up. <laughs> Take that damage. Walk in here. Howdy! Can I kill? That will not kill. Obviously, this won't add the, the killing blow, but we'll eat it anyway. What's that? Th up to three units with an area of effect? Mm, we'll just hit those two. Kill there. Another Skelly Bro. So, our Slither is able to use all of their skills on a single turn thanks to Hasty. Using skills is not good to a turn, but they get plus three cooldown. So, we could just fire it at all, and then we got Jack. But we can fire it all, and it's really fun to fire it all. Then, we got Jack. Here on endless mode. <laughs> Use this ability to bypass uh, protection. Because Zeke here is maxed on a protection, so is reducing damage taken by 70%. Just go ahead and bypass all that, so we deal full damage. That seems reasonable, I feel. Yeah, 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 that seems good. You can do, and uh, that angel's not going to be hit, held down anymore. So, oh, I kind of blocked you a little, huh? <laughs> Fire off shot. Didn't realize that was an adversary to us. Wasn't paying attention on that front. That's okay. One, two, three. Not going to be able to get into the line. All right, you want to bring someone back? Go for it. There's plenty of bodies around. Who are you bringing back? That one. Ow. Nope. Could have moved around here to hit them both with that. That's okay. You will not get the kill there. We'll get the kill here with three damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got enough room for this shit? We could just sell the rest with that button. I'm not so arrogant to just click that button. So, it would have saved me some time. All right, event, what you got? Simple upon a gamble, goblin, gamblin. Gablins! <laughs> Gablins! 100 XP for the team. Why don't we just, uh... Recruit three Goblin Bros for the boss fight? Sure. Fucking Gablins! Gablins, man. Okay. 
Okay. Divine Plate, we've seen that before on foes. And in shops for ourselves. Six agility, eight wisdom, six physical damage, and 20 protection. I'm thinking no on that. No, it's a nifty, like, effect. I said I was buying potions. That's what the fuck we're doing. So I could just buy them all. You get the strength. You get the vitality. You get agility. You get agility. Have some more. Reroll me. Strong plus eight strength perk. We can we can do that. Sure. We can have up to three perks. Note that negative perks do count as perks. Just say no to those armor pieces. Strength on you. Vitality. Who gets that? Get up in the triple digits, bud. I want your crit chance to be higher since you deal extra damage with crits. And you have 10 AP. And of course, your specter gets half your stats, so eh, it's helpful. Reroll again. Plus 11 strength on that plate mail? That's, uh. That could be a winner. I think so. That's a winner. We lose out on a bunch of HP on Safrina. Lose out on some protection. That gives us a bunch of strength, which keys off of our abilities. Now, if we got that stone throw offered to us again, oh, we could be in business, chat room. You mean we're not in business already, Grimmeth? Yeah, you're right, we're in business. Found him. Spirit Wall? Mm, I don't think so. Free AP on that Spirit Wall. Okay. Goblins! Goblin it up. Okay. Go up there. Keep this potion for now, maybe, potentially, possibly. Take the strength. Gets this vitality. I think you do. You have my lowest protection score. And wisdom definitely goes to you. That's triple digit on the magic damage. Uh, to keep this to set someone up for an AP increase next consumable shop. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and pop this into Madoka. Get that crit chance up to 79%. With the viciousness there and all. Cool. Elwood! Wow, it's roast the third time we rolled beef, beef roasting? Roast beefs. Roast their beef. That is a variant. <laughs> Other things are on the table. Alright. The beef is meant to be roasted. Understood. That's how it goes. I would showering myself and Big Twitch and beef, as one does. I would treasure this. Keep the rest of us, he said, tilting his head. It will cost 400. No, it's fine. We could just be more careful about the potions we purchase, he said. Before. Proceeding to buy them all. Alright. 
We no longer have to be accused of being a dragon anymore. That's nice. Whew. <laughs> that's, uh... That's spooky. Who gets this drink? Say you. It's the wisdom. I'm not handed it to the Slitherer. Could certainly uh, stand to have someone else dealing big damage. Not opposed to the idea. He said as he hesitated on the idea. Sure. Go for it. Get you some damage too. Okay, with 110 bucks. Go into our next boss fight here on our endless run. It's the Royal Dwarf. The big old red honker right there. I understand what red noses are like. Medical Oddity, direct damage from debuffs heals this unit instead. You've got Wise, plus 8 Wisdom. Splitting Mirror, Battle Axe, Radiant Sculpture. And you are enlightened with a putrid feast on pre precise discharge, a mind lock, of course. What about you, bud? Three barrels is consume a turn, starting in this turn, you spawn a barrel randomly on the battlefield. You are impervious if you are attacked in melee. Sheltered, stubborn. You gotta be double tapped. Steel blessing, wild swing, remote detonation, airdrop. You are Barrel Master. I don't believe we've seen you before on the battlefield either. Just in a chair watching. Yeah, there's our goblins. Yeah! Get bows. Now a word from our friends. You're at Goblin Town. Do it. Good. Howdy. Heard you were talking shit over here. <laughs> Goblin or royal dwarf, excuse me. How's it going? You can have your impervious. Keep in mind, I cannot increase skill cooldowns on bosses, and that's definitively a boss. There's the death defied, and whoop! Found one. Max level on the slither. See what skill we're offered here. As we scoop it all up. Another conjure a singular punch? Fuck yeah. And a weapon that uh, might be appealing to me, but is not. Okay. Let's depart from this. Permit phase five. This game normally has three phases. Or an endless. We've won uh, 40 fights. I think the endless achievement for this game is 42 fights. I had uh, in the first Mortal Glory, I ended up not being able to do that on stream. I took care of it uh, in one last hurrah run that I did afterward because that was the last time I ended up playing the game. Okay, what do we got? Summon monster, unwanted offering, and putrid feast. Nice. Thanks. Singular punch? Yeah. Conjured assault? Yeah. We could... You could make arguments for those, yeah. Hell, you could put conjured assault on Madoka. Here we go again with that conversation. 
I don't think so, though. Singular Punch, though, is 100% going on with uh, Safrina, excuse me. The rest of the stuff gets sold. Yep. Is it time for me to be replacing a uh, Vampiric Swipe? Lose out on a heal skill entirely. Let's do it. Greet it up. Woo. All right, we are six and a half hours into this broadcast. The endless run has not ended at this time. Possibly we could have reached that end point if. I don't know. We had fast animations on. I'm willing to continue this broadcast, but I am going to require another break. I do have an unopened beverage jacks to me, but it's a little, uh, a little warm. We'll put that one back in the fridge. I'll grab something else and stretch my legs. So take my medicine. Ooh. My meds! They should uh, inhibit me from being able to play effectively. It'll be great. I'll leave it on this screen. I'll be right back.
we'll get we'll get cracking again in a few minutes. You know, I had thought endless would scale harder than this. Obviously, you have the difficulty toggles, the glory modifiers, the challenge modifiers. That's all fine and well. But if Endless was going to be in the same form as, I guess, the career, I just... I figured it would go, oh, what's that? You, you went past three levels? Let's kick it up. The only time we lost a fight was just when <laughs> it was really ambitious. And that was, what, four hours ago? Now, it's certainly not impossible for us to lose a fight at any point in our endless route. We just have to lose two fights, or a fight to a boss. And since we get fully restored after every fight, we just don't get the rewards that we lose. Those enemies are going to have to have a, a climb, too. I'm really enjoying, like, applying Rooted to the enemies. I would appreciate my specter being more reliable on applying that second hit of rooted, but you know, this is life. Oh, we. If we go another, like, if we go this level, and there hasn't been a market improvement. I might either just throw the run or pause the run as this broadcast has gone some unit of time. Only some. I walked around outside a little bit. It's a nice day out there. Not that many more days left here in South Carolina. Or become scorching hot. <laughs> Some folks, of course, do enjoy that temperature. Me less so. Not just the temperature, just so much as the, uh, the critters it brings. I have not yet steeled myself for the annual Wisp Wars. <laughs> wisp Wars? Wasp Wars. Fuck it, I haven't steeled myself for the Wisp Wars either. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm correct. And a couple of bumblebees. No wasps yet. May they still be pupating. Leave me the fuck alone. Wasps didn't bed down around here until real late last year. Due to the odd weather. I'm still seeing them around at times where normally I don't. I was still seeing them into the fall, like into November even. Like, hey, yo, it's your time to fucking die. I don't live in a place where you get to live year-round underground. You go die now. <laughs> there we go. A nice carbonated beverage. As opposed to the other carbonated beverages I've been drinking. This one comes in a can as opposed to a bottle. Wow. Okay. Madoka, one strength. Doing great. You're doing God's work, Madoka. Madoka and Safrina here. Don't be fooled. These two have a lot of survivability with their MP. A lot of survivability. What's a route? We're not exactly looking for a shop right now. We just spent several thousand gold in a shop. Like what? 6,400 or so? Maybe 6,600? It was a lot of fucking money I spent at that damn shop. Now these do both skills and consumables. Looks like I am connecting to chat. Oh, welcome to the chat room. Thank you, Twitch. It's like, uh, 
I temporarily lost connection to my Twitch chat room. Damn. Even Twitch is tapping out of endless. That's fucked up. Surely it's it's on big Twitch's end and not mine. I mean, I didn't lose any frames. All the elites are over on the left side. Uh, if I want some harder fights. But our elite fights? It's just two? The fuck? <laughs> okay. Sure. That's fine. I guess I'll take them. Yeah, okay. Fine. Sure. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Let's go. 13. Give the enemies an extra unremovable buff? Sure. Fuck it. I'm not gonna pay attention to your skills anymore. Who gives a fuck? I, I don't read. Who has time to read? These adorable orcs. They're big cuties. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Look at my sons. All of my sons. <laughs> I can't believe my son did this to me. Well, you know how it is with children, right? After everything I did for you, I want to kill this with someone. I was thinking about blowing up both of these orcs. But I probably want to kill this so I don't lose my specter so easily, at least. So let's go do that, shall we? Yeah, let's go do that. It's a decent time to use mending waves. I don't disagree. Must That's right, Carmine. Punch each other. And finally, we got something out of the roast beef today. Turns out it is only just a variant and somehow hasn't corrupted everything. Go roast that beef, Carmine. And let Big Twitch know it's time to roast. Hell yeah. Eat him up, yum yum. Hope you and yours are well today, buddy. I think we're refraining from using Amplified Advance or Sharpened Spirit right now. I'm just gonna Grizzly Assault. Get some blood on the ground. A little bit. Damn it. I didn't notice Vile Rain. No! That's a bummer. That's fine. Good. I'm going to kill you now. Thank you for understanding here, these, uh, these critical times. I end my turn. We are just starting level five of our endless run. Our uh, our squad is uh, is pretty okay at this point. I, I dare say pretty okay, pretty okay, pretty great. Not not, not nay too shabby. Nay too shabby. Hmm. It's a kill. It's gonna kill. That's not bad. Especially if I crit. <laughs> Burrowing Blade, of course, hits the both. It's time. Sharpen Spirit. Goodbye.
I don't think we need to make a pillar here. We have plenty of water. Better one, better two. Still not a kill. Even with Sherman Spirit. No, we just we just don't have enough damage on Yoda. It's true, we don't have enough damage on Yoda. Alright then. That's not gonna kill. Boop. <laughs> Your turn. You didn't lightning the team? Damn. Thoughtful of you, I guess. Everyone's, uh, everyone's squad's level 10, so we're not going to continue scaling up in regards to levels. Um, we'll pick these both up. Sell the gold. Clicks. Okay. <laughs> there was a dubious expression on my face as I clicked that. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. A little bit charged with the melee attack. I'm not, I'm not against that idea, but we do have a lot of great shit already. I could have just sold all of this. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. I said I was going left because that was the only elite town. We're going left. I don't need that shop. I could swing in though, buy a few potions. Rough surfaces, random unremovable debuff for a necromancer's beads. Sure. Howdy. Yep, that definitely hit me. Oh, you can hang out in place. We're callous here on uh, Madoka land. So we're immune to these so-called debuffs. Two, 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 two. Callous does mean that we cannot apply a way for us to bypass protection, though, unless we get like, like a glass helmet. That could be worth considering on Madoka if we find it. In shops or obviously just offered to us. I would definitely be willing to entertain that notion. A lot of magic power you got there. Also a lot of magic power you got there. Crit. Definitely heard a crit there on the prowler. I accept these charges. Cannot reach Raichan. rope this wizard in. Wizard! But uh, we'll rope this clone in, I guess. See if I can shield Raichan from uh, nuking my, my clone. Sharpened spear. That will kill the clone. Oh. Make it bleed. Oh, no, you had Vile Rain. I was just looking at the uh, precise discharge. Vile Rain definitely kills the... Uh, my Spectre anyway, you jerk. The Betrayal. Hello? Have some plague. My gift. See, if we hit our summon with an attack, it becomes an enemy. That makes sense, I guess. That happened. That must have happened. Whatever. I've already stopped paying attention because it's not mattering. You can die now. 
No, look at me, I got depth of five. There's Undying, there's my achievement. Win 42 fights in endless game mode. Yay! Am I gonna want this armor? No, there's no way. It was more necromancer beads. Am I actually getting full value from that? I must be. I choose to trust that I am. We have two enemies with necromancer beads, which you know be fits us given this broadcast. You know, I could have used I could have used some more necromancer beads. We we we, we get knockouts with the angel. As opposed to uh, this gold bracelet right here. It's fine. It fine. This doesn't matter so much anymore either now. I think we'll, uh, we'll put this last stand back on. So last stand has, if you're just tuning in, I uh, typically has a pretty like stiff penalty like, hey bud, you get a full heal. But hey bud, you get a debuff that says, uh, you're gonna take 999 piercing damage. Bypasses all your defenses. You got a few more turns to win this battle. Well, one of the bosses had a combo that I realized that I could employ myself. Alice says you're immune to debuffs. Doomed is a debuff. Just take a full heal. Ta-da! Well, we've kept that item down there. We'll continue to keep that item down there. Just think about it. Not only, you know, it only has one charge, and you can't earn another charge in a battle on its own. You'd have to have something else be able to charge it up. There's a couple items that could do that. Random unremovable debuff for a blue gadget. Rough surfaces, Ice Age special arena, so it's going to be a larger arena than usual. Yeah, we'll take it. I go first, huh? Be rooted. Whee! Yeah, just be mean to be dead, duh. Stupid. <laughs> what, what about that don't you understand? Ice, of course, is not a liquid tile. It makes sense. We have a 84% crit chance. I'd like to resolve, Julian. Actually, you know. Do. Get rid of it. Madoka is our starting character. Uh, we have Vicious for critical hit damage plus 33%. We have Agile for plus 6 agility. And we have Callus, so we're immune to boss and debuffs. We have uh, Safrina here. Those are our second character. Deadly, but we took a negative perk exchange for that deadly, which increases skill cooldowns by one. As a predator, dealing 30% more damage if the target's alone. And we have some big hits to go with that. Uh, Yoda, used to be Bubba, was renamed. Their third character, Invigorated, heals 5% of max MP at the start of its turn. You know, useful. Not the 5% HP heal, no, that'd be, that'd be wild. Giant Slayer was from a, a perk potion. That was upsetting. And then strong for plus eight strength, which sure, okay. I just took a perk potion that gave strength and put that on there. And then we have uh, ZF, who's been with us the shortest amount of time, but is hasty. One perk. Using skills not consume a term, but they get plus three cooldown. So this Slither is able to lay down a beat down in one fight is then good. We took one loss when I, it was like a 2v6. It's, I added three extra members to the enemy team. It did not, did not resolve great. But Endless uh, still has the normal rule of you being able to take one loss per level and keep going. But you know, it's a thing. That was a choice. Got 
Yep. Uh, Madoka and ZF both have spirit walls on them, so they have mana shields. You gotta go through their MP to get to their HP. How did he close all this distance? Whoa! That's fucked up, man. What makes him so good? Please. <laughs> Not kill. It's an ass load of protection. Well, we can resolve that. Maybe I'll get some knockback here. I did not get some knockback though. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> ZF and uh, Madoka both have Necromancer beads, so when they deal knockouts, we get Skelly Bros to assist us. You know, they don't do a lot of damage, but they're there. They exist. There's support. It's cool. We'll keep this heal. We could, you know, we could we could have replaced the skill at some point, but it's unnecessary. My work here is done. Whoop whoop. Goodbye. <laughs> and then my specter here, which I like to put pretty far away, uh, also has nature's embrace, so we can really root enemies down, and that's been pretty great for us. Sometimes the Spectre has not used the rooted skill, even though it doesn't consume a turn. It mystifies Grimoth. Because we're immune to bus and debuffs with Madoka, we can't get anything on to help us, like, resolve piercing as a buff. We'd need to put it on as a debuff. Or get, like, the uh, relic that says, hey, it's not an issue, but... This conversation is over. Who are my allies here? <laughs> Good enough. Thirteen magic damage, three AP. Blue gadget. Purple armor. Throw into the ether. Am I choosing to trust the system? Well, if it's if it's fucking me over when I click sell the rest, then hey, that's good knowledge, and it, it eventually should mean that I will lose this endless run easier, right? Right. Phantoms of Purity? Give them two extra units in exchange for an enchanted pendant. Sure, whatever. You deal 50 physical damage? Yep. Yeah, 36, 35. You got a cremate and a focused assault. Resolute, you have an enhanced thunderbolt. Yeah, sure. We're playing on normal difficulty. There's no glory levels or challenge modifiers. I thought this might scale up higher than what it has been. It hasn't. That's okay. For now. It's okay. Well, if the goblin guy said anything, it would be to don't hoard it like a dragon. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Hi, friends. Gold man! I've been waiting for you. 
Reds. That's not a kill. Hold on. I can solve this. That's a kill. Eat that pillar. You're not allowed to use skills. I have spoken. Also, now. We'll, uh, we'll make friends and enemies. Important to diversify like that. Very good, I had my turn. Okay, random knives, sure. It used to be that I had a heal move for the Spectre to use to be able to heal up. It's okay. If the Spectre makes it around, there's enough in these half stats to actually deal some real damage. Real damage. Oh no, I can't reach. It's okay. This has reach. Should have used Grizzly Assault, whatever. It'll probably be fine. Somehow, I think. We'll make it. Seven agility on that. Mm -hmm. Someone's three specters of yourself, then die an unpreventable death. Get a charge when you deal a knockout. Hmm. Is that... Is it time for me to put that on Madoka? Yes. <laughs> With a sharpened spirit, you could make an argument for that over, say, the box of termites. You could make an argument. That way I can also have piercing damage on my slither. This is the reason why we haven't been seeing, like, barrels and shit. You know what? Sure, that probably matters more. I'll miss you, Tin Protection. I'll miss you, Termites. Time with you doesn't have to be over, though, Termites. I could just put you on someone else. Edmund. Yeah. Tell him. Thank you, Patron. Two extra units? You got it. What do they do? Stuff. Our level sixes. Coming in? Meteor? No, oh, you couldn't see shit. This fucking song again. Help. Send help. Excuse me, just need to get in here real quick. Oh, that, that would kill you. You guys have some hit points actually correct. Okay. Drop in the spirit. Resolve that singular enemy. How you doing? Look at you. You uh, actually don't even have a whole lot of protection. I just don't deal a whole lot of damage with Yoda. If I put this pillar down, I'll get the kill. Gotta help him. Gotta help Yoda's damage.
That's that's what this world needed. Yoda to deal more damage. Hmm. Probably should use this first. Oh well. What do you mean he's playing suboptimally? He can't keep getting away with this. He can't keep getting away with this. Fuck, he got away with this. Shit. I told you not to let him get away with it. What did you not understand? The, uh, wisdom times 1.5. Yeah. Blue relic. Skills with charges have plus one charge. Another last stand to haunt? Yes, I see. Is that more important to me than any of these other things? Could be. The Slither? So the Mind Lock is a, a nifty racial skill. Uh, and allowing you to increase enemy school, skill cooldowns by one. That could, you know, depending on your situation, be a saver. Obviously, it doesn't work on bosses because all bosses are immune to skill cooldowns, but the opportunity to just deny someone the ability to, like, revive someone or use a really powerful skill. Yeah. Well, their uh, racial skills seem prominent and potent to me. They lean pretty well into uh, magic stuff. And we certainly got magic stuff. I kind of like you with that six agility. You should have more, uh, more AP. But obviously, I although I've seen items to give you extra AP, that would also take that slot. You can allow barrels to be back on the board. Hmm. Just keep this as well. There's some potential potent see with what we got going on here, but I'm really liking our current system of things. Did it put skill, skill and cooldowns that are not included? Absolutely. Uh, anything that adds to skill cooldown, uh, even though those skills that currently aren't cooldown, puts cooldown on them. For example, uh, the giant minotaur has a combo where uh, if it deals a collision damage through knockbacks, everyone who took that collision damage gets skill cooldown. You get a beast character? That's, again, you're, you're getting plus, you're getting an extra one on top of that. Whatever. Let's go. We have an ass load of gold. You got to move first, but you did not have any, like, skills that you could actually use at range, so you could not cross the board. It's funny. Alright, well, anyway. Excuse me. Pardon me. We're on level five. They all have ass loads of AP. Nine, eight. We've seen a lot of double digits. Is this trade coming or am I just hearing this further on the distance? We were we were tantalized by the possibility of a train earlier. No, this one's coming. Alright. Window fun is over. Rachel, 
Okay. Let's go ahead and sharpen our spirit so that our damage bypasses uh, piercing. And uh, send this foe, who has 132 hit points, to death. Now, that foe did turn into tornadoes, or rather just vomited out a bunch of tornadoes upon death. As one does, of course. Just not a whole lot of damage. Yoda needs more. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the Blood Brigade! If you want blood, you got it! I did not want blood. <laughs> but we got it anyway. Sure. Give me another skelly, bro. Good. Like, what the fuck do you do against that, right? Other than cry. Crying, I think, is the correct answer. Hmm. Looks like I needed to reload the chat room again. Perhaps Twitch is doing a thing. How does this... Don't... don't. You're asking too many questions. This world is full of magic. We don't need to know physiology. It's fine. Just stand here and kill it. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. That, uh, that Kitsune's still alive. No! That's what I get. How could this happen to me? Economy? Shit. My brain has totally gone on autopilot at this point, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> if it was not clear. Allow me to dispel any doubt. Now, there, now you can have 10 AP. Out here solving problems, chat room. Look at that. Problems. Can't believe our problems are fucking dead. You build up an ash load of gold if you basically sell everything you get. <laughs> it's a fuckload of gold. I wonder uh, how shop prices are going to keep scaling. Hey, bud. You gave work to our brothers before. Or you need some extra assistance? I've never seen this event before. Interesting. So yeah, I've employed goblins before. Would I like to employ more goblins? Sure. We gotta help stimulate the economy. It's not fast. I've been broadcasting over seven hours. We're on level five. This is endless mode. The game normally ends at level three. This isn't remotely fast. <laughs> This game will continue in perpetuity until my death. <laughs> yes, it's endless mode. <laughs> That's how we have so much of everything at everyone's level 10. No, no. I, hope, I was hoping that the, the title would convey that information along with, you know, all the other dumb bullshit we've been doing, but I understand. Man. I like the reality though, where you, where you thought this was a normal run, because that would have uh, meant that I was a, a much sweeter player. I like that reality. It's a cool reality. 
Like, I'm, at, I'm like, I'm starting level three and I'm already doing all this shit. About to go fight the Emperor. That reality's fucking wild. Son of a bitch. Well, you got me. That's the best defeat. I can't get my way out of <laughs> Damn, I can't nuke them this turn. What race do I like the most? I don't have a favorite. There's so many options. They they work well and there's not a whole lot distinct between them except for their racial skill. And I don't have a favorite racial skill. So I don't have a favorite. Pickle Grimace does not have answers to questions like this. But I do appreciate the uh, the attempt to uh, in elicit words of compelling wisdom from me at this moment. Uh, I'm going to nudge this barrel now and grumble. The first time uh, this Kitsune has been derailed like this. Short of being outright, you know, defeated to death. Well, anyway. HP total? 60. It should work. It did not work. Guess you did technically have more protection. Fine. That's why we can't these things. You just don't deal enough damage. Not for lack of trying, though, Yoda. Not for lack of trying. Maybe we'll crit. You can get bull charge from this position. I get bull charged. I did not hurt. More of them had barrel burial? You bastards. <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things. Well, anyway. I'm targeting this cluster? Which one of these guys do I hate the most? Well, now you're in a line to be targeted by that. Just kill that. Let's mind lock you. And uh, come back here in my turn. Bless the big. Barrel burial though. Wait a wait a wait to slow down my kids there, eh? Those those are pretty good defeat there, like shit. Now now I wish I had the nudge barrels as it cost a turn. <laughs> Equip. You got me. That was funny. Not too concerning, of course, but funny. Didn't crit. And someone decided not to apply rooted. It's fucking Spectre. I swear. I swear to God. I'll do it. You don't need to do anything. See, look at you not having rooted them all in place. Who paid? Who paid for this?
No, I haven't lost track of who's friend or foe. Shut up. You don't know me. That's fine. Good hit. I'm going to win this fight now. Okay. Thank you for understanding. There's my achievement to win a fight against eight enemies. Hell yeah. Stuff. Another, another conjured assault. Like, if I were to put one on someone, it'd be Yoda. It'd be nice to have that. I'd get rid of some stuff here. He's... He's the one who could use the most skill of. I don't think I need two copies of this, though. I don't think I'm going to put this on a... Well, you know, you know, I could actually make an argument here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, bud. Conjured Bolt? That's a, that's a separate argument. Critical chance is double for that skill. Well, that's a good crit chance. loads of money. Okay. Gotta come up into this treasure. We've got another event. Elite event. Fight. And we can opt out. What you got for me, treasure chest? Purple relic says utility gloves. Hey, hey, you remember that? Remember that time that you were, uh, you were buried? Isn't that funny? Purple skill. I don't think I'll use any of these. Back to being offered a chaotic sickness. We had that on Madoka earlier. It was pretty nifty to have that on our Spectre, too. We opted. Uh, we got out of that business. I say no to those things being offered. I nearly clicked on that as I was dragging up. What you got, event? A free item, a giant's belt. Okay. Enemy characters are tougher? Sure, make them tougher. Fuck it. Is that still plus 12? That's still plus 12. I say still plus 12. These are some stats that are definitely going up here. Like... <laughs> this... These enemies are some real bangers here. I... Yeah. Like, that's... Those are real foes. Really drop off an effectiveness when your cool enhanced thunderbolt just doesn't, you know? You know? Noxious Barrage. My crits also deal extra damage, so you know that helps too. That was gonna kill anyway, but that really really made sure I got the kill. Fuck that guy. A lot of damn damage these enemies are doing. A lot of damn damage. Let's go. Howdy. That's still not a kill. No, that's going to be 154. That, that collision damage is going to kill. I'm gonna get charged. Should have thought about that before I did that. It's the most damage I've taken in a while. Oh good, I have this barrel. Hmm. Hmm. If I could get a knockback at a 34% chance. Did not get a knockback. Got crit. 
Definitely not another crack. Well, that slightly complicates things. No doing skills. I in my turn. No rooted? Okay. You didn't even win. How dare you not root in place? Inspector. It's fine, it's cool, whatever. I mean, I guess we win. Another Everleaf, blue jewelry, which could be whatever. Arcane Calamity, which is fine. This armor is not going to be worth me replacing what I currently got. Barrel Burial. And this weapon could be worth me replacing what I got. Items are nuts. I mean, we're at the point now where everyone's got, like, the best shit, but there's no... We're not seeing items, like, give double any of these values. The enemies are scaling upward. And they're, like, they're better equipped in the sense that all of them are fully equipped. It's just their stats are going up. I think it's going to be a no to all these weapons. Man, yeah, no, that's really doing it for me. That is a pity. Yeah, that lowers my strength on equip that. I don't want to lower my strength on equip that. The attacks with strength. Alright, fine. Let's go. You wait. I mean, this can't happen. I can only have three perks. This is illegal. So we cannot gain Predator, which I would really like. But we also cannot gain Haunted. Oh. Oh, well. Isn't that something? Okay. I wanted to lab that, and I'm glad I labbed that. I'm annoyed by that interaction. Yes, I lost the vicious perk that was down there in the bottom left corner. That was giving me 33% extra critical damage. So that the negative perk could get slotted in, and that's going to be a perpetual problem for the rest of this run. The crit loss damage is one thing, but the fact that a tornado is going to end up underneath this Kitsune the entire time, yeah, it's going to be a real problem. Well, thought we lapped that. Sure, have a randomly cloned unit on my team. Madoka. Good news, the Spectre will also get to be cloned. Uh... Be haunted too. Just could use amending ways.
a very powerful crit. No knockback, though. Which would have gotten me the kill. For a moment, I thought that ended my turn. I was like, what the fuck? It's the, uh, it's the Madoka clone. Who thankfully has a one cooldown on all those skills. Just go ahead and resolve that, though. No, he won't. The interface lies there in that regard. Okay, that's interesting information. This is the first time we've attacked someone who has a spirit wall. And the game is not equipped with the, the notion of... Like saying, hey, you're actually attacking someone's MP instead of HP. Good to know. Put those on uh, cooldown of two. In my turn. Well, the tornadoes and the reduced uh, crit damage will certainly make the endless run more interesting. <laughs> Looks like uh, negative perks uh, take priority over positive ones and can overwrite uh, positive perks in the max of three. I'm having some difficulty at this point into the broadcast and telling the difference between friend and foe. Perks are permanent. I have never seen an uh, option to remove a perk at all in this split game in any of my runs. The only time this has ever been an issue for me has been this endless run, which is how this ended up being left. If I had known this in advance, then I wouldn't have laughed at Who's my enemy? What is happening here? Uh, you. We don't have to resolve the problem. Lightseed. Boots of imminent end. I think it's a little late for you, Boots. Do like a do like a good boot of imminent end. But tis a little late. Ten thousand gold. Okay, you're here to waste my time again by making another perk offer to Madoka that I cannot accept because I'm at my cap of three. Instead of, you know, offering it to the, the person who doesn't have three perks, one perk. This offer is useless. Can I just pay you guys to not fight you? <laughs> would you? Would you be interested in just accepting a payment of services? No. I thought that. Thought I'd try. A 
does reach. Good. Just wanted to make sure. Sharpened spirit. And crit on that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, sharpened spirit. Let's get up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Out of victory. Sinister readjustment is neat. I can use that. I can use that. I doubt I'll use anything there. Just sell it all. I don't even know what it was that was going to be offered to me in that mysterious box. How goes this endless? I'm kind of bored. <laughs> Grab that glass helmet. That's uh, that's the that's the kind of crimes that we're looking for there. That's how it's going. Kind of bored. We have been broadcasting for over seven and a half hours, so it's understandable that uh, my energy would wane-ish. But I also kind of thought I would be defeated. A bit mystified by that. You need to have your strength up. You need to start dealing more damage. Any of these armors, maybe? I'm not going to take another spear wall. No thanks. Can you give me a compelling reason why I should do that, Overlord's Art? Because uh, that game is certainly more of a pain in the ass to capture and record than this one is. I'm, I'm willing to listen to you trying to convince me. Well, I guess these could be ways to give this guy a perk bonus. Perks. Deadly. Thick. He doesn't bleed, so plus 20 HP, and he deals plus 9 physical damage. Alright. Good chat. Glad we had it. Let's find strength on that with 52 hit points. Deals a lot of strength, though. Okay. Toughen up. Toughen up. Toughen up. Who gets the HP? You get the HP. Who gets the wisdom? You get the wisdom. Who gets the agility? You get the agility. Who gets the vitality? It's you. Who gets the wisdom? You do. Ugh. Oh. My goodness. Did you know you could watch twitch.television slash Grimoth for exclusive content on broadcasting? Whoa. Whoa now. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I got my rock. That's what matters. Like a rock. Ooh, like a rock. More potions. I can't fit any more perks. Fucking haunt it. Never science again on stream, folks. Just leads to disaster. And heartbreak and sorrow. Five wisdom. It's yours, my friend. Five agility. It's yours, my friend. Four vitality. It's yours, my friend. Four agility. It's yours, my friend. Three agility. It's yours, my friend. Five vitality. It's yours, my friend. Five agility. Uh, another five agility. It's yours, my friend. It's yours, buddy. Four vitality. Hobbs. Oh. I boil. Sorry, Link. I don't take credit. There's medical oddity being offered. Of course, uh, we're now all full up on perks. Oh, what is this? I don't have time for the pores. Get out of here. 
Or he must have mistaken me as someone who didn't have money. Oh. Mm, Richard. <laughs> oh, shit. Richard. I, are these numbers good? I guess. They seem good. Yeah, these numbers seem fine. A little bit more. You have spent 97% of all the gold you collected. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bet we fucking have. Lifetime stats. 81 knockouts, 3 deaths, 50 wins, 1 loss. 11,441 damage. 7,615 damage, 62 knockouts, 2 deaths, 42 losses, 32 wins, 1 loss. 2,000 damage, 15 knockouts, 1 death. Yoda has certainly dealt the least damage. And ZF is uh, he's doing pretty okay in damage. One death on Yoda, no death on uh, ZF. Alright, 40 knockouts to 15, that's okay. Clearly we've been leaning bigly, bigly into having least two deal damage. Alright. I have more gold, but it cost me too much to reroll the shop. <laughs> Right, it's not like I can just walk away. Here's a giant slither. Let's go. Alright, you go first. I mean, that was a nice crit for 130 damage. That chewed through a third of our MP. Let it be said right now, I'm pretty sure we already fought the giant slither and like level one boss. So they can repeat, even though you haven't seen them all. No. You do not get to play as a giant sliver or any of the bosses you come across. Howdy. Yeah, um... Sort of thing, like the rich keep getting... Ri <laughs> the snow, by the way, has 33 hit points, and I'm about to send him into the fucking next dimension. It's gonna be great. Nah, we'll do that. Pause. See, it was too unfair that I had 33% extra crit damage from Vicious, so now I have to be haunted instead. <laughs> Looking forward to throwing this fucking rock. Let me tell you. That's gonna be great. Actually, we'll leave that guy behind. Because I want to throw a knot. A rock at his gnome. <laughs> oh, shit. And then deal. Yes. I agree. I concur. I'm putting down what you're selling. Now I'm now about to eat this mud pillar. And win. Turn one. What's this weapon? Tell me a story about this weapon. Wings of misery? Ah, uh -huh. you you have no idea. <laughs> I can't I cannot be asked. How much did we get paid? Some phase six. Woohoo! And we could stand to improve uh, the skills here available to Yoda, but eh. looks like we got an option for things. Have a look, shall we? You know, one elite there. We got an elite there. Out. So it's the right side we want to hang out this time for the elites. I want that elite. I can't take that elite ends up with me on the shop if I want to be on the right side, so we don't do this elite. We take this elite. Yes, I have. I've lost two runs on stream. 
which I have then uh, avenged in my, my off time. Shared the screenshots of it. We lost a battle earlier. But in Endless, apparently, it counts as a normal rules. You're allowed to lose a fight and keep going. When you lose a fight, you get like a skull down here in the bottom right corner. Every level, you're allowed to lose a fight and keep going. But if you take a second loss or lose to the boss, your run ends. And uh, certainly, if I uh, if I'd wield on the the some glory, some challenge, adjusted the difficulty, this run would definitely have been over sooner. This is just normal difficulty. Not hard, not master, and no further adjustments. Other than endless, which I I thought would scale harder than this. That uh, that achievement of forty two wins. We did it. I guess. Let's go. All right. I'm willing to continue broadcasting this game, but we're about to fucking accelerate this, this some bitch. No battle intros, fast AI, fast looting. Yes. Well, yes. I got a glass helmet now, that's right. Thanks for this unit, Pierce Protection. Any incoming damage is doubled. Explains all the damage I took. It all makes sense now. I'll probably resolve that in a turn. He said, nodding, firmly convinced of this. You do, in fact, take a lot of damage from Acid Mist, which deals damage equal to 15% of max HP. That's factually correct. Indisputable. Can you two handle that? I think you can, but I can't actually cross over and attack this turn. Due to the fact that we're facing fighting in a special arena. It's much lorger. Much lorger. Will this kill? This will kill. Good. Will this kill? No. Unless we throw a rock. I'm not gonna throw my rock. Get out of here. Deftify this. With that helmet. Oh, barrels. Hell yeah. Barrels. Get over here, little Kitsune me. Also the lizard. <sighs> Sharpen spirit. No, that's not actually a kill because we have to hack through all of the mana. Do not be tricked. I see you. Bamboozled. Why is this so much less damage? I go through... I go through piercing all the same. Like, I go through all protection. Like, 70 is zero. My damage is piercing. Why do I deal half half as much damage here? The specters take... Oh, right. Duh. It's the glass helmet. I don't know. I don't talk to them about that sort of thing.
I could replace Noxious Barrage now for another skill so I'm going to be wearing the Glass Helmet. I presume I'm going to keep with the Glass Helmet. That's probably true. I better look at this purple skill. Sager Blade Frocus? Frocus! <laughs> Been broadcasting eight hours. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Heroic Punch. Jump to target location if there is a unit in the next tile in that direction. Deal damage and knock that unit back four tiles. It doesn't... It's fine. You don't need line of sight. Kind of like a focused assault, though. Is it like distance clear? But frankly, Sacred Blade for uh, that real damage scaling. Chuck the, uh, the Vampiric Swipe. Get you some extra damage. Rampant Vines, we can easily put on the chopping block, too. Since, uh... Well, we're, we're starting to really have the MP to, to close distances. All this other stuff, sell it. Uh, you... You know I haven't tried to walk into a pit before. I don't have an answer to that question. We'll lab it. Fuck it. We'll, we'll science that shit right now in this run. Randomly clone unit from my team. Again? We're doing this again? I guess we're doing this again. Fine. There's not a pet. I tried. Hello. How you doing? Fucking wizards, man. Just fucking 13 MP just trucks on over. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm coming to hang out with you. Hey. Great, thanks. Hey. Hi, guys. No, we've always been at war with science. Yeah, the lab cannot happen this time. Soon. Soon. Soon lab la labory will occur. <sighs> and see, clowns will eat me. One day, though, I will see. You didn't need to see the lightning storm, mate. That's fine. I, too, have the lightning storm. Observe. Ah, oh, the clone was of our mind flare. I, 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 I moused over it earlier. I was like, well, that's my clone. Thought nothing of it. Here's the thing. If their original team is dead, I don't have to deal with it. Colossal damage, agility times 1.5. You can make an argument for that skill. What kind of weapon flavor do we have here today? Sell it. That's what flavor we have. I mean, you can be at war with multiple factions. They do not have to be mutually exclusive. I'm going to reopen my window. What happened? What happens when I leave things on fast? Who needs me? There's no pit here either? Unbelievable. We're trying to science, damn it. This is bullshit. Just want to science. Come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe you have, you know, vile rain or something. I mean, maybe you do, like an item. Maybe. I don't know. That seems pretty bad. You shouldn't have that. Hi. Dip, spirit. Can't throw a rock adjacent. Tragic. I'm going to knock you back now and crit you in the process. Enjoy. Ooh. 
Who once killed none of you? Why not you? You're stubborn. It's fucked up. Don't be stubborn. I said, who wants kill? <laughs> we're just, we're just trucking. Sell it. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, you know what? It's too late. There's already three perks on this character. You're too late. Savage. There's that uh, perk that uh, as you increasing his target skill cooldowns and you deal collision damage with knockback effects on this character. Bye. I guess I'm taking another shot. Fuck it. Double damage? Dealing double damage. Let's go. Uh-oh. That dealt. So. That crit there. Could. Could very well cause us to lose a fight. Double damage. Combined with a glass helmet. Combined with a crit. Chewed through all 364 MP. Well, I'll be damned. Not going to be able to root this time. Eh. Good. Perfect tornado. That's double damage for you. And that's uh, one of the arguments for you playing like on cautious start. So you take much reduced damage until you've had your first turn. What do you mean that doesn't kill him? He doesn't fucking kill him. Okay, then. I was kind of expecting that to kill him, and I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't. Now, he's coming up here to, uh, 100 Assault? Or Harmonious Discharge, I should say, on both of them. And hopefully crit along the way. I didn't crit. Kill that one, at least. Go ahead and heal yourself. I'll deal with that wizard. Using the slither. I presume the slither will be able to act. Slither might run out of MP before that happens. A lot of HP you got. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to deal with you. But this guy. How do you deal double damage? Yeah, we're fine. Look at that. It's been a long time since Madoka dropped the zero hit points. Long fucking time. You get out of here. You get out of here. Earth wins. That was exciting, though. Hell yeah, that was exciting. It was cool. Some real risk there. Big risk. Big damage. Oh. Don't think I'm equipping either of these. It was worth checking. Couple gadget. Should have just left them uh, in here and then click the sell all. Oh, another glass helmet. I don't think I need that with everyone else. Because uh, we're capable of sharpening spirit on everyone else. Alright, we'll walk away. Hold on. 
Hey, yo, you know, double damage definitely made it wild. Indisputable. The sort of thing that's like, oh, this heal would have been great to have. But, you know, that's not like they would have brought back all the MP. The answer is that we need more MP. Good news! There's a shop. You ready to drink? Brinks. 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 That's probably good. So, we determined that we needed more MP, right? I feel that's true. You can have some as well. Uh, you definitely need more. Why don't you have more? Keep drinking. Keep drinking. You get the rest. Oh god, I, I wouldn't want to hit triple digit wisdom. That would be scary. Uh, MPY, or HPYs. You should have some. You should have some. Great. Plenty of strength here. Strong. 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 Strong? Yeah. Strong. And agility. Who wants more AP? You. You. Great. What's happening here? Numbers. Let's continue, shall we? <laughs> Wendy? Sure. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. What am I care to be stunned for a whole fight? No, 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 no. I don't. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ha! Ha ha! It tried to stun the Kitsune, but the Kitsune is immune to debuffs. Ha 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 ha! Griffin wins. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this. This son of a bitch. He's gone too far. And I'd do it again. Does it kill? It does not kill you. I mean, what? who am I kidding? It's got a crit. Of course it's going to kill you. Yes, to small town. 18 AP. What the fuck ever, man. Things go so much nicer when you're able to root everyone at the start. It's good. Good. Highly recommend rooting everyone at start. <laughs> Who deserves a rock thrown at their face? This guy. Fuck you. A crit? The Mind Flayer, the Slither, and, excuse me, the Slither can, can handle that. Would, would, would not wish to insult the Slither by implying that it could not. Sure can, Overlord Zorb. Can and a whale. That it? Eat it. That's still a shittier staff. Just because it's orange instead of purple. That's giving me 20 magic damage. You're giving me 19 inferior. I can do math. Like, what about all the other stuff? Oh, grammar, no. Why, grammar, no. Why, no, 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 grammar. I did it. I'd do it again. My mind pulverizer. Four extra units again? You got it. What do they do? What do they have? 58 agility? <laughs> sure. Why not? 58 base agility. Fuck it. I mean, I mean look, look what I got base. Fuck it, yeah. Go for it. Who cares a fuck? Ow. The only solution here is to give you more MP. That's what we have to do. More MP is required. Because they keep critting you and you wear a glass helmet, and that's a real problem. <laughs> Shit. Yep. 
my face. 15 AP on a troll. What is this world, man? I love how, yeah, healing skills are clearly inferior at this point because we are, we're living in some bizarre fucko world here. Some wild shit is happening. See this, uh, you see this gnome? Fuck this gnome. I don't take shit from gnomes. Uh-oh. Out, out, of, out, of, out of juice. No, we if we take off the helmet made of glass, then we no longer pierce protection with Madoka. Madoka is immune to buffs and debuffs, so... Like, we would have to apply vulnerable to enemies. We don't have time to apply vulnerable to enemies. You see the speed these combats are going on? <laughs> you think I have time to debuff? No! Get busy living or get busy. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's what's happening here. 300 damage? That seems reasonable. Excuse me. That was way more than 300 damage. That was 750. <laughs> yes. Jack's math. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, totally not a buff or debuff. Yep. That thing can help anything. Well, we'll solve that. I really wow. like this mind player. Like, like I bought him out of the box of Hasty, and it's been so good. Such a fan. Such a huge fan. Fucking killed three dudes this turn. Lily skills, and then just mind locks that one. And says bye, goodbye. Love you. Kiss, kiss. Fucking tornadoes. Get them, skeletons. Yeah. Come up. Ow. <laughs> no. I think we're good. Oh, that was the most effective. Oh, oh, oh but you were able to, you're allowed to push barrels for free. You have the utility gloves. I see. I see. It all makes sense. It all becomes clear. Get up again. I know they are quite adorable. Stuff? 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 On the last stand? I think I'm good. Sell it. Fuck it. Who needs that shit? It just holds us back. We gotta we gotta we gotta get more wisdom money. Ass. I mean. If this unit is damaged by a melee attack, apply vulnerable to the attacker. Can't trust there's going to be a melee attack, though. You see all the skills people are rocking with these days? Get out of here. Crash. Safrina finds a pile of old dusty books detailing racial characteristics of different beings. Their quick overview, Safrina is confident that the books can be used to help everyone understand each other better. They gain a random racial skill as a normal skill. I could replace the... I could replace the whole team's racial skill with Safrina, so we could resurrect each other, but I would lose out on spear projection. I could take Madoka off and replace Regenerate and Mindlock with Resurrect. What if I just replace Yoda's? No, resurrect. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I've i never asked that question before. I would assume it would leave you at the same amount that you had when you died. I'm interested in labbing whether Madoka and ZF, because they're not on the active team. And if all everyone gets resurrect, I lose some killing power with spear projection, but that's okay. Teach. Teach everyone how to resurrect. Okay. Cool. This can allow you to, like, if you have people, like, in your roster, like, swap in to, like, do various things. There. We found a use for the roster, everyone. We, we got to control who our whole team would be. Yoda. 
can no longer heal himself, Yoda can bring others back to life. Cue Evanescence in the background. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? <laughs> Enemy characters are tougher. Is it still plus 12? I say he's still plus 12. Yeah, it's still plus 12. There's some real number in there. 72 agility, understood. So it becomes easier when there's no evade chance. Of course, they could go against you too. It's nicer when uh when they don't go first to act against my Kitsune. That helps. Well, so we don't know which events are are gonna be perk events, right, Palora? And when we go there, like, it chooses the character who it is already. So me cycling it out isn't going to change the fact that a character's already been named. I know, no more fucking pits. We're out here trying to lab shit. This game... ...does not understand the importance of science. And that's fucked up, man. Just down here. It's a small town girl. <laughs> Just trying to science some things. No. Which one of these are mo the most dangerous? Yes. Oh, what a... You say that's a negative perk. Look at how I scooted away from that position. <laughs> Change my mind. Yeah, sure, we'll print that. Why not? Hello. You want to build a snowman? A snowman in the dark. It's obviously a yeah. This is definitely how they went late in, uh, in Mortal Glory 1's Endless 2. It's... You will win quick or you will lose quick by this point. So that part is definitely accurate. Oh, we can dunk this purple scepter that we've uh, we've had to keep for so long because we haven't found anything superior and gain three action points for it. Or we can dunk someone's face in and gain five vitality. Let's dunk someone's face in and get five vitality. Madoka or Safrina. Madoka, Safrina, whatever. Game uh, bugs out with that sometimes. Whatever, it's fine. I might, uh, I might stop in at the uh, the skill shop here, just to just to make it so that I don't have to have another fight. <laughs> Randomly, another random clone? Sure, fine. Throw down your weapons, and I promise to end you quickly. Hey, look at this angel here with only six action points. <laughs> You're even agile. <laughs> you think I can't reach? You think I have no power here? How dare you? You know, Lightning Storm may actually end up being superior than Enhanced Thunderbolt. I'm thinking about it, how it's going to end up working and comboing with crits. This allows me to give, like, a more controlled blast, though. Instead of randomly. There's arguments to be made. Definitely could do without a having Noxious Barrage, since I'm going to be keeping the glass helmet on until the end of time. I guess. That's what we're doing now. Which one of you do I really not want to see in my game ever again. Chlamydia over here? That's not even remotely close to Chlamydia. How do you know? Oh, 
Oh, by the way, Safrina. Oh boy, no! Safrina is the uh, the clone of us. Safrina clone. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. We better throw the rock. Is this gonna do it for me? No, unless it crits. I don't think this is gonna do it for me either, though. The knockback damage. Knockback immune! My god. Because of the immovable object. Son of a bitch, you lived. They said it couldn't be done. They were fucking lying to you. Don't let them do that. It's fucked up. I think I'm just gonna kill the summon. I didn't move to put anyone else in my view, so, uh. Pick a summon blade. I am resolving that clump. The Slitherer has spoken. No matter the cost, the Slitherer has spoken. So, perhaps so. Whoop. Of course, I wanted to reposition there. Tornado, you're a genius. I am a god. How can you kill a god? Oh, it's two orange weapons. Will I want to equip either of these? It's like we're, it's like we're going winter here. I think we got a winner! We did it! We did it! It's the same amount of damage. We lose a point of wisdom. We gain so much more. We lose eight hit points, but look at that. We got Glaciate too. Ah, oh, another skill for us to just go absolutely hog wild with and completely fuck myself over with. Remember! We we don't stop casting! The Slither has no fucking time. He's also deadly. Plus nine physical damage. Yeah. And he doesn't bleed. No time for bleeding. I believe that's four orange weapons? No, we're still rocking that damn uh, purple Gladius. I said I was stopping in to go see that fucking shop to skip that fight and I fucking meant it. <laughs> what you got for me? Growing Blade, Putrid Feast, Spinning Presence. You're seeing some real number on the Gladiators here. Like, these are actually scaling up in, like, value, too. Not just their skill quality, but, like, their stats across the board. Like, they're not just level 10. They they have real number. Like, if you, if you need to pull out someone in level 6, there you go, bud. If you've just been investing in, like, two people with your potions. Anyway. I'll re-roll one time. I'm not seeing a boss. Oh. Thought I'd take a look. We tried. Potion time! Uh-huh. 
I agree. I agree. This this should be a thing that's allowed. I 100% agree. And obviously, if we take off, it's still there. As it should be. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll permit you to have a duplicate in exchange for 450 gold. We need that to buy more potions. Got room. Any of these weapons I want to buy? Absolutely not. Let's try again. Any of these weapons I want to buy? Mm, no. Any of these weapons I want to buy? Wait, look, the sword's on fire. Needs more strength. Come back later. We're not going to be able to fit five potions out of here. Oh, oh strength? Strength? Giant knife. Oh, good. Got the strongest weapon we can find in the universe is a giant knife, of course. And it has just as much strength as my current weapon. But it does deal three more physical damage. That's five protection. Five vitality. That does improve your survivability. I lose out on some agility. No, that's not worth the adjustment. You kidding me? Oh, that potion wasn't meant to be bought. Okay. Um, cool. We'll buy them. All right. There's our clone, and now that we see our clone, we'll stand up again. And actually drink these potions. Chug! 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 Ch Listen, if we're gonna wear wear spirit wall and we're gonna have a glass helmet, we need more MP. Chug! 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 It's gotta be good, right? 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 It sounds like Quitter talked to me. Chug! Chug! <laughs> We need to ensure that's a 100% crit chance. Chug! Alright, you need more hit points. You should move faster. More health. More health. Because you all don't have a, uh, the spirit wall. More health. seems far. Guaranteed crits. We're not vicious anymore, so we don't deal an extra 33% crit jam damage due to us sciencing that earlier. Like how I'm keeping this last stand. I guess if anything, it would go on one of these characters. I like keeping this on. Because the plus 10 physical damage. We made use of the mud pillar, though it might be time to phase that out at this point, but no one else is immune to debuffs, but our combats are not going that long anymore now. We'll think about it. Well, anyway... Giant Minotaur again. Again. 51 strength. Is that healthy? Uh, how about you... Give that some more thought. How about that? Don't go that far. Incorrect. You have accelerated unacceptably. Leave it to someone in fucking chat to just push the goddamn envelope too far. I will invoke the Lord's name multiple times. Now, in disgust and dismay over these actions. Griffith has spoken. Also, Griffith has spoken. Noxus out.
we win. Would this be worthwhile? Eh. How about this? Eh. This weapon? But this weapon. Nah. All right, fuck it. Throw it all in the furnace. Got time for that shit. Main seven. Didn't know you had it in you. How about you, you go fuck yourself, Goblin Patron? Things have accelerated much quicker, of course, since I turned on fast AI, fast looting, turned off battle intros, and just. Gave 40% less of a fuck. We're still looking for a pit ever since, uh, ever since the demand, the self-issued demand was, was proclaimed to science. There's no potion shops here. What's even the point of living? Like, what the fuck? You don't have a, you don't have a bar? You just gonna have to go here and drink. Fuck. What's the point? All right, fine. Just go there and drink. It's cool. It's cool. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. No. Just go there and drink. No, it's cool. Just go there and drink. Just drink. Show me a pit. Will your character be stunned for the whole fight? Let's see if it ends up rolling the Kitsune again. It did not. The troll is stunned for the entire fight. Indeed. It is stunned the entire fight. Can confirm. Will not be participating in this fight. Understood. Man down. I figure the Slither can handle that fucking shitty gnome. Nah. Fuck yourself, gnome. You take that damage and you like it. Have a good one. Endless has, in fact, been endless. We have, uh... We've stopped caring. Or I've stopped caring. The, the royal we. Got a whole lot of stuff. And, uh, well... You know... I thought Endless would accelerate harder than it has. We, we just kept it on normal difficulty. No glory modifiers, no challenge modifiers. But, uh... Endless has not yet presented an end. And we're seeing... We've seen the circumstances by which it could present an end. It just hasn't yet. Uh... Sure. I'll... See. Does, does this survivor scale by hat chance? Let's see whether the survivor scales. Eh. Eh, welcome to the party. You know what? Fuck it. Just sit there. I got viewers. Why not? Be a viewer. Close the shop... There, the shop was there. I can always just swing by this shop and buy potions too. I mean, yeah, uh, double damage stockpile ice age, four extra units. It's time for us to take this loss, folks. We're gonna do it. Remember, we had to take two losses. We're, we're gonna get one of them right now. Assassins of Obliteration, eight enemies, double damage. Here we go. It's happening. We will lose this fucking run. We still have some MP left. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll lose. Getting right on it. Just, just getting all that losing. Yep. Oh, good. They put me in a spot where I could... Hmm. Okay, 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 yep, yep, okay, yep, yep. 
Let's sharpen her spirit. Can I throw a rock and get a kill? Can't get a kill with a rock. The Mind Flare can take care of that. Whoop. Any one of you have, like, really low HP? Mm. That rock deals so much fucking damage on a throw. Holy fuck. Why, yes, I am about to go into that cluster of three and skull fuck them. I... No. No, it's perfectly fine, officer. Everything is fine. Hello! Greetings! Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Greetings. Stay a while, listen. I don't even need to use a skill. Stay a while, listen. Da -da 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 -da. Kick it. Yeah, boy. Gate in the house. Give it up for the Haradrum. You you want me to uh, name our bench warmer? You got it, Zerfall. Your request has been granted. I'll we'll rename in a moment. I mean, there are definitely other combos. I see. Shit, I didn't mean to pick that up. But they're just I'm not being compelled to. Get out of here. That's right. That's right, they... They dealt double damage. We dealt double damage. Rename. There we go. Bench warmer right there. Howdy! Welcome in. Thirty-five percent less HP? Don't bread me with a good time. A lot of fucking MP. Excuse me, a lot of AP. 22 action points. Some. Some amount of action points, your honor. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I'm leaving now. Bye. Bye. Which one of you dies? Under careful consideration of all the, uh, Available tools, I've come to the conclusion that, uh... That you're going to die. Thank you. Skillful relocation engaged. Alright. Perfect spear. Iron shards, iron. You say another stupid thing, you will not... You will not be able to join me for the rest of this broadcast. Did you know that sometime, I, sometime ago, Twitch made it so that banned people, like I have an option that disables banned people from being able to watch my stream. Think about that. You would have to log out of Twitch in order to be able to watch my stream. Don't you fucking push it. I don't know when exactly that option was added, but damn it, it's been added. And it was seen and witnessed. Noticed, even. Hmm. Oh. What skill determines the turn order? None. The game rolls a D2 to determine who goes first in initiative. Evil twin? Nah, not this run. Not saying no to the resurrect, but I mean, we got two resurrects now in the squad. Could this weapon be it? Hmm? That's 22 magic damage. That's, uh, you know, it's 11 wisdom. Hmm. 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 Oh, we'll have to drink so many more agility potions. Hold that thought. I do believe there's a potion kiosk just just to the left. 
<laughs> Just hangs a hard left. <laughs> yeah, that amuses me. Fuck it. Pick the exit. I guess I could be looking at skill books. There's Lightning Storm. Oh, sure. Fine. Let's, uh, let's forget. Let's forget Noxious Barrage. I don't feel like we need that anymore. Let's wear glass helmeting. We'll just forget Lightning Storm. Lightning or Lightning? Would you like some Lightning? Maybe some Lightning. Would Lightning be good enough for you? Have you considered Lightning? All right, put that on. Agility. Agility. Uh, hmm. We probably could have traded the three with a five and made that work. Whatever. 18 AP. Yep, that seems reasonable. Wisdom. Wisdom. They keep attacking you first. I can't imagine why. It's because of how terrifying you are, really. Oh. Have a drink. Have a drink. Uh, have a drink. Cool. We need some more protection on you. Drink! More potions! Good luck. Weapon. Pumps. Rope. Pumps. Rope. Pumps. Rope. Rope. That boil. You should have some more, too. There we go. Cool. Sell this. Sell that, right? Yeah, we're selling that. Cool. Great. Alright, we'll walk out the rest of the money. We got a skill shop we need to look at. Four extra units, stockpile, you got it. Let's go. What do they do? Stuff, I guess. You go first. I've been I've been purged. You purged me. You did it. 154 damage. Fuck. FML. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Corporate Griffith Cannon Fang Bear is just expensive. Corporate Griffith Bear is just expensive. Whoop. What's that? Do my eyes deceive me? Are all the enemies clumped up here together? I didn't even throw the rock. Damn. Hello. That's right, I have pit science I need to do. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got this. Let me just... Let me just do some partial killing here. Or just in case. We won't, we won't lightning storm and kill everything. We'll just, uh... Oop, there you go. The pit science has been done. Is that non-copyright infringement Shrek on your team? Yes. A troll. Not an ogre, though. It's different. The greatest copy or potential copyright infringement would be the uh, the Slitherer that we just pitted on our own team, which is a uh, probably not a mind flayer uh, from Dungeons and Dragons, not a proprietary monster like the holders are. Definitely not. Oh, yes, Shriek. Of course, of course. Now things are beginning to make sense. Sell it all. Sell the money. Anyway, the moral of the story is yes, you... Or rather, not the moral of the story. The science has concluded, Overlord's Word, that yes, you can walk yourself into a pit. I think it's time for me to pick that up and... Uh, yes, I am getting rid of Repealing Salvo here. Please, thank you. 
Also, also take a vile rain. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave, walk on out, and uh, we'll stay on this lane for now. No, yes, this changes everything. Is this still a plus 12 to their stats? It's still a plus 12 to their stats. Now, this wizard here packs a huge punch. Lightning Storm, Meteor, 97 magic damage. He's resentful, immune to knockback, gains memento. And the wizard does get to go first. You can definitely see that they recognize how easy it would be to kill this enemy. They, you know, on the, the threat level, the glass helmet. But, uh, that's a lot of I MP they have to get through. A lot of fucking MP. Yes, I was I was making the game easier, really, by uh, not simply incorporating a lightning storm onto this unit. I don't need to break that cage. Nah, let's break it anyway. Sure. We still have MP, we're good. Did not kill. Notable. You go ahead and deal with the wizard. Good. Oh, he was knocked back at me. Wow. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we got it. Blob of seven strength. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that more strength? Holy shit. You did it. Ugh. Wild. All right, sell the rest. There's more strength. Yes. But some other stuff too, but I just wanted the strength. Treasure. What'd you get? Purple weapon? That's gonna be nothing. Purple relic? Nah, I'm good. Purple skill? That could be something. Gotta build up charges with Otherworldly Blade. Which... Who's got time to build up charges, you know? No time. Sell all that. Booby trapped. Mana costs halved. Patchy terrain. Mana costs halved, huh? Let's go. Yep, I did it. <laughs> and then I move backwards gracefully, <laughs> just as planned. We don't even need to use this. Let's do it, though. Oh, no, we do. It's a clone of us, right? Due to the challenge, I accept it. That's why that extra unit was there. Oh, my God. Well, anyway. What do we got here? Tell me about yourself, Savage Strike. Crit is double for this skill. Hmm. Hmm. Big thinking. Big thinking energy. That's not worth it. Get that stuff out of here. It's more potion money. Not far from another shop. What's up? Nope. Volcanic Perk Potion. 
That could have helped me gain some manners, but, uh, we're not allowed to have more than three perks. Did see some crimes with this in an earlier event where my three positives got erased by a negative. No, lab again, science. So we'll just sell that and move on. Gotta make sure we take the exit there. You go first. Yep. I agree. Boop, 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 boop. Who dies? You die. Goodbye. Vile Rain. God. Oh, didn't read the Vile Rain skill there. No, my Spectre. Damn it. Oh, good. Glad you randomly targeted the fucking barrel. That was important. Make sure I use this. That way we can bypass protection. That was, a uh, That was a, a huge problem I had in the, uh, the Master Difficulty run that I did. This is my last stream of this. Where I didn't think the scaling of that would be so high, and then I got to the Emperor, and... I didn't have, like, the gear or skills to effectively deal damage to enemies. While I certainly made misplays, too. Uh, not, uh, having more piercing damage. Was the, uh... Or was a real killer. Of course, I was like, no, I'm not playing with any glory level modifiers. Shouldn't be a problem. It was. Ten strength. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. It says ten strength. You can do that. I'll take it. More strength. Makes those skills more effective, and we'll just put that on here. Cool. Tell that axe. So it was written. Everything else into the furnace. All right, potions time. Everyone loves potions. Eat up, yum yum. Except for that one. We're already at a perk limit. You could make an argument to me for a harmonious discharge over here. Yeah, I can see that. Forget rampant fun. No, we can still make more use of that than we would say of grizzly assault. Assault plus three? Pretty sure I sold that book before. I have. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't scale with physical damage either, but we we have We actually have nothing over here that's scaling with physical damage. We have some gear that's adding it anyway. All these skills are leaning on strength. That's okay. We have plenty of strength. I really like these area of effect attacks, so I can deal with multiple enemies. Let's let's junk amplified advance here at this point. I'm gonna keep the rampant vines. Okay. Buy these. Oh no! What do you mean I can't buy those potions? Oh, I guess we're selling the last stand. Oh. We're buying the potions. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. This potion. Uh, we got a, we got a plus five wisdomer here? We do. All right. Triple digit wisdom. Great. You need some more vitality. You need some more vitality. Increase your protection stat. There we go. There we go. Vitality. Vitality. Up that, up that protection so you take less damage. Wisdom. 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 Still glad we have one strength. That's good. 
important. And agility upping. Well, obviously you need to go faster. Duh. a little bit of gold for the uh the guaranteed shops there at the end a little bit oh randomly cloned unit it's madoka Carp. goodbye <laughs> Oh, an elite fight. Let's see what we got here. Double damage. Oh boy, it's double damage o'clock time. I will make you pretty. Let's fucking go. Wizard wins. 416 crit. Double damage. I take double damage. Problem. I still have MP. He can't keep getting away with this. No. Get defied. One moment. Let me just, uh. Let me just, uh. <laughs> 1248 damage. That's a new high for me. With a singular hit on a singular target. That seems pretty good. 10 strength on that? That's less than 11 strength. I did the math. It checks out. Wild. Same thing I looked at. Get out of here. You're unwanted. Rest well. Or not. Do what you want. Look at armor and skills. And I guess relics too. Real quick. Storm blockade, spiny effigy, pressure combination. Oh, grand slam, afflicted black bash right there. Grab that afflicted bash, and we will drop. Binds at this point. Enough AP that we can cover a distance relatively okay. Relatively. You too will want to lean more on strength and less on physical damage ups. Cool. I could re-roll the shop once. Sure, we'll re-roll. We got the quiche. Then we gotta take the rest of it with us. Those are the rules. We're going to say no to this gear, and barrel chain is all fine and well in utility gloves, but we're out. Next boss. Hey, first time we've seen you today. Yikes, you really walk around with that face? 70 vitality, 64. Wisdom. Ifrit here is here to bring fire. If you attack him in melee, makes you all windy and shit. He bleeds fire, he's immune to fire. Eats fire, walks through fire, summons, summons all sorts of wild shit. Involving fire. Anyway, that's the wrong character you have out in front. I know it has focus assault, that's still the wrong character. It's my turn. Oh, I get to go first? Nice. I love going first. Anyway. Oh, oh, let's make sure we don't target that barrel. Ah, fuck it, let's leave it. Oh, cool. Those are the three I wanted in anyway. And I relocate. <laughs> Hey, Emperor, how's it going? You good? Mm. From speed reads. Does he sometimes maybe leave behind an item that would be more useful than what he currently has equipped? Maybe. 
That's a good sell the rest by. Phase eight. This game normally has three phases. 70 on one. It's a record. You know, weapons are often a great investment for extra gold. Are they? Pro Goblin. It's super effective. Wow. Show me a potion shop here on the right. Yeah! Show me another one. Ah! Oh. Wait a minute. And go from this shop to... Ah! Oh. What do you mean none of these are potion shops at the end? It's even a fucking point. How am I supposed to get better? Let's go. Randomly cloned unit, you got it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Urgh. Burp, 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 burp. Hurt something in there. Very good. <laughs> oh no, that clone almost ran out of MP. Well, anyway. Yeah, alas, the clone gets added to the end of initiative. Oh, there is a conjured assault. It frantically reads. For a chance? We don't need that shit. Get out of here. Event me. Listen, kid, I know you're coming to fight in my town. Six goblins, please. What do my characters be stunned for the whole fight? But come on, man. Come on. Come on. This is the challenge of I. <laughs> I dislike the most. Come on. Come on. Don't do that to me. Come on. 91 agility on, on Celid over here. Come on. Stun my angel. Fucked up. Oh, anyway. Rith tilts his head. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just do this target. Mass detonation! <laughs> Nuclear launch detected. Mass. Well, anyway. All right, I guess we'll take a victory here. Yeah, woo. Wild amount of gold, I know. Think about all the score I'm getting. You wouldn't understand. Score. I said score. That's necromancy right there, everyone. Change my mind. 13 strength? Son of a bitch, you got me. I'm in. That's not gonna do it. I can touch. No thanks. We get a lot of fucking rewards. At this difficulty level, we certainly do. We certainly do. How about we put that on, then we put that on. There we go. You need more strength. This shit ain't gotten it anymore. Like, oh, about the hit points, it's not gotten it anymore. Get rid of it. Get stronger. There's no time. Where was where was my potion shop? It's a while still. But so far. Ah, uh, it's so far. Alright, fine. No, oh, it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Take this round. Inferno? Promise? They promise. Cool. 
Uh, th by the way, I would not be able to mow through things this fast if it were not for this glass helmet, being able to pierce through all these protection values. You have two numbers on that side that are below 70. Just wouldn't deal enough damage. Without debuffing them to make them vulnerable. Or not having callus. Thankfully, though, you know, we have a glass helmet. So who's dying in this? Someone. Oh, oh, oh tornado! Oh. <laughs> How could you do this to me, tornado? <laughs> Damn it. First, you negative perk I achieved through science that I totally didn't deserve. Well, anyway. Perhaps we shall just take the, the kill here, I guess. The first time it, it got picked up, it was uh, pretty damn inconvenient, but... And of course, I, my damage output is reduced by 33%. Like, recurrent, that doesn't really matter now, but it did. It did. That plus 33% damage, like, was a big deal. All because of the consequences of science. But say you, bitch warmer. Nodding emphatically. Yes, I agree. I thought our gold rewards would scale down. I thought that we would end up having less money or that the shots would end up becoming more expensive than what they already are. Um, they haven't been. Devastating criticals. Critical hits deal 50% extra damage. Understood. And we get to beast character again. We're plus one in here. Fine, whatever, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. It's cool, fine. Scumbag game, no, it's fine. Fine, whatever, no, it's fine, cool, great, wonderful. Who's getting fucked by this shit? Who, who is it? Which one of you? Show me the doll. You only have 51 HP. What kind of bonus beast are you? <laughs> a dead one, I believe that's the correct answer to that question, bye. I could get flung into a pit again. Would I rather kill four or would I rather kill three? I think I'll kill four. I think four. I think killing four seems fine. Let's go four. We didn't kill four there. No! One of eight directions again fucked me. <laughs> I'm going to uninstall this game now. Unbelievable. If these circumstances were more dire and I weren't, like, you know, burnt out by this experience, I, you know, I could see myself being more worked up. There was a time where I was rooted. Once upon a time. You can't get rooted from a random debuff anymore. That's been changed. Uh, and one of eight directions flung me into that pit. I was, I was kind of cross about that. Ah, memories. You're oh, just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. What do you mean you aren't dead? What? Bring him back. <laughs> just so much stuff. I 
I guess the endless part is no, this will never actually end. Joke's on you. How long can you last? I see. I get it now. We have five figures again. The fuck? Hey, we've already signed Tornado. You need to call the hell down. Still plus 12? Still plus 12, BB. 100? Oh, 103 vitality. Dingle him. Dingle him through the power of the extra challenge. Buoyed over 100 vitality. Holy fuck. Throw rock. You didn't even throw the rock. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't deserve to have a rock. <laughs> How do you not know how to play this game? You have a rock, you throw a rock. Duh. Here, let me show you how it's done. That's how you throw a rock. Still 382 damage to old dingle him down there. Dingling. Oh, we get our last stand back. Cool. Whoop. train here. Nom, 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 nom. Two extra units? Sure. Let's fucking go. You move. Yep. I mean, that, that was a lot of spell points you took off of me. If, if I wasn't buying an ass load of potions, that would be an issue. I'm buying an ash load of potions. <laughs> no, vile rain. No. Well, anyway. Don't even use a skill. Yeah. Hello. Greetings. Can I interest you in some death? No, that's not how Vile Rain works. Vile Rain deals a percentage damage of HP. Of like max HP, like 7%. So, no. It's never going to kill. Except for the case if you're... you're Specter has one hit point, which is what it comes out with. In which case, that does kill. I like when you worry about Sacred Blade. That's 282, as opposed to like 230. That's factually correct. That does mean that we have less of incentive to keep this Earth room now that's giving us plus 10 physical damage. I'm sure I brought that up before. But I, you know, I'm fond of it. Quite fond of it, actually. If I replace this, this basically would end up meaning that they have the same skill, just in a different order. Basically, no, it exactly means that. No, oh, Grimmat, that deals less damage. Why? Why, Grimmat? No, Grimmat. It's okay. I'll just deal knockback. Easy. Oh, okay. It knocks child bargain back eight tiles. You combine that with my 100% chance of knocking back a distance of 38. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll uh, equip a giant's belt if we see one again. I'll have to... I'll have to remember it. It's a blue item. The blue relic, so not a purple one, as one can see here. <laughs> Ass. Thanks for the offer. Twenty-five percent less HP for summon monster. Whoa! Wow.
I missed the extra crit damage. Those were happier times. What do you mean that won't kill? Holy fuck, throw a rock. There we go. And it also crit. Another glass helmet. Everyone is glass. I don't think so. Sell it all? That's too much fucking gold. What the fuck, man? 1,600 gold? Uh, no, 16,000 gold. Griffin. You ate a zero. Griffin, there's no zero in that number. Shut it. Oh, look! This experiment again. <laughs> Remember the last time where I lost my, my cool positive perk and I got filled by a negative perk? That could happen to me again. <laughs> I could become incompetent. LOL and lose agile. You know what? Fuck it. Do it. Who gives a fuck? There we go. Do I look like I give a fuck? No. I'll just have two negative perks now. Fuck it. Incompetent. Oh no. There we go. Remember, max of three. But I'm, I'm glad our negative perks can overwrite our positive ones. We're still callous. That's what matters. That's how we're able to keep getting away with them. Uh, some of you will be dying today. I want you to know that. Some of you have been chosen to die. No, that's not the cutoff point. <laughs> no, it is an amusing concept. I don't think I'm inclined to replace Callus. Uh, I want to angle this so that I'm not attacking. I don't want one of my attacks to land on the cage or the barrel. Just get in there somewhere. That seems good. Ow. Ow. My body. How did I make four skeletons out of three enemies? Those are all my skeletons. Skeleton. Also, I accidentally bumped my mic stand. I think everything's fine. I'm coming through fine. Just coming through the same amount. It's cool. It's great. Don't worry about it. Mildly concerned. Do not walk into a pit. I'm amused by the concept that you can pit yourself. Um, put this kill your bomb. Uh, remember? Remember? Ah, it, now I just succeeded in killing none of you. This is the worst day. Quick, let's divide more damage. It's the only way to be sure. All right, you see all that blood? Now it's time. You're not dealing with an ordinary slitherer. Walks in the pit, son of a bitch. <laughs> You're dealing with a super slitherer. Alright. Said alright. Hit them. Oh, I forgot to. Sorry, I forgot to. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Time it. That's how you know I'm really fucking around. Where I'm like, oh, where's my, where's my thing that negates their uh, protection? Oops. Ocean shop. It's time. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> oh, Predator, come on. Come on, I'd love to... You know what? You can be a Predator. That's a cool perk. You can be a Predator. There you go, bud. Predator allows you to deal 30% more damage if the target's not surrounded by any unit or only surrounded by this unit. It's a great hunting perk. Good shit. There you go, Bench Warmer. Never know when we'll need to call your number, buddy. Blessed be. What do you mean, my inventory? I bought too many potions. What? Up. 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 
Let's get everyone to 70 protection. Uh, more agility. Somehow, along the way, you no longer have a hunt crit. Oh, right, because you lost six agility. Because that perk that gave you six agility. Shit. Well, gotta take care of that. Oof. I would resolve that problem. Oh, that was, that was so frightening. I was concerned. And a feared. But I am no longer a feared. Let's go. My damage numbers aren't scaling high enough on here, so... Drink. 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 Fuck. Let's see. Reroll. 1,000 per shop reroll. 1,200 per shop reroll. Worth. Random perk. You got it. It's yours, my friend. Early knockback distance plus three. Good job, bud. Your turn to have some more wisdom. I would say the, the drinking interface should be better, but... Okay. This is not really an issue that happens in the game. <laughs> Until endless mode. Alright. That seems fine. Everyone's got max protection. I'm not going to pay 1400 to reroll. We'll just... Singular punch. Precise burst. It's fine. That's cool. We'll take the 3,800 gold with us. To the skill shop up there. We'll take it to the skill shop. Special arena, Inferno, you'll be tougher. Okay. Let's see how tough. That's not barrels. You didn't throw barrels at me. That's not good enough. You considered throwing barrels at me? The only way to be sure. Tooltips on momentarily. Okay. Hmm. That won't kill all of you guaranteed. I guess we'll have to risk hitting the fly. Alright. You know what? No giving up, I'm trying to understand. It doesn't fucking matter. It did happen again, though. Did not kill? Notable. Hold on, I gotta go take care of this. Oops. Oh, fuck it. Not even gonna use the bill. Stuff? Question mark? Now let's change the. Oh. Yeah. That, every way, that way, everyone can have sharpened spirit in the same slot. Necromancer beads can be in the same slot. Good. That helps my immersion. So much money. I'm out. I'm in. Sure, we'll, we'll allow you to clone him for 450 gold. Why not? That seems like a good idea that we should do. Yeah. That seems entertaining. Maybe we can finally lose and get out of this endless pit. Frost Giant, first time seeing you today, bud. There's Yoda. Frost Giant here with bleeds a lot. No, 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 right. You're the one who taught us last stand. Right. God, this stream has been long. 
<laughs> we definitely saw you earlier. You taught us about the the wizard ring. Well, anyway. Th none of those were the correct people. Do we have so much magic now that the game's like, the game knows better? <laughs> I have no answer to these questions. Oh, you're you're fucked. Well, anyway, bye. Nope. Mm, nope. Like, I'm not replacing these spirit walls except for better spirit walls. Because if we lost the ability to turn MP in the HP, that would be... That would be some issue for those two, considering the amount of damage I'd see now, particularly given the whole glass helmet situation. Well, anyway. We needed more gold. Obviously. Duh. Phase nine. Like I've done three runs today. <laughs> you know, well, you know what matters to me? I see three potion shops on the left. That's what matters. Potion shop. Look at all this other shit. We're going to go drink, chat room. Done for the whole fight? Boo. Ah. Scam. Oh, the secret is for everyone to become callous. That would actually be pretty good. Pretty strategy. Just, just be callous. Give me into bust and debuffs. I wouldn't mind that at all if everyone had the callous perk. Sounds like good. Sounds like a good. No, no not banned doping. Shit. Don't do that. I need my dope. I'm using that. So, you know, I hadn't anticipated today going infinite. <laughs> but here we are. Yeah, wherever the fuck we are. Oh, I can get a buck. No, I'll donate. I get another buck. Spent 120 gold on that book. Profit. 49 gold. That's investment right there. Invest in your local libraries today for profit. Random on removal debuff. Rooted? No, that's... No, they, they removed that. It was just bleeding, slowed, and bleeding. Slowed is like rooted. Unsteady, excuse me. Well, anyway. I've decided it's time to win. Put a lot of thought into it. Would you like to bring one of them back from the dead? When it's your turn, maybe? Damn it, I'm bleeding. Right. Well, anyway. If the gold and reward scaled down, that would be something. But look, I... I have so much money and rewards just coming out of every orifice. After all these fights. Shop prices are scaling. Just double moves. Oh, double moves. <laughs> double moves. Understood.
I think the person who has the most moves is uh, this 56 action point prowler right here. A lot of fucking moves. If only our arenas were that big. Well, anyway. Kill some of them. Which ones? Some of them. You'll figure it out. Yeah, fuck it. Now, am I saying that, like, this, like, needs to be fixed? Uh, eh. I would like to see the bit with the perks changed. The max is three, then the max is three, and a negative shouldn't be able to write a positive like that. But you can always just not do that event. It's just a way to, like, hurt you on your first time, and then you learn your lesson and you know better, I guess. Power attack will not target back to equal to remaining AP times two. That we could be onto something there. We had double moves all the time. But uh, definitely the first game did not have this issue of like me being able to at least not that I experienced in my two times playing endless. One on stream and then one after. But perhaps you could end up getting into a circumstance where you could not lose there, too. The, uh, the fact that evasion existed in the first game, though, did complicate things. But sometimes, you know, you go to attack, but then you just miss. I don't know, Polora. I don't think I'm willing to science that. Yeah, we've we've had so much gold. Like, look at how much gold I'm about to get from selling like everything here on the screen. And when we keep getting this much gold after every fight, and then we take that money to the potion shop, <laughs> what happens is. And the shop prices are scaling like tw an extra like 25, like per like, it went from like 200 base to now it's like 225 base, but I was spending what, 1200 to reroll at the last shop? Bench warmers already got three perks. Now we've got like multiple shops coming up, so. Like, there's, there's another potion shop on this route, so we're, we're good here. Who drinks? Everyone's got 70 protection? Cool. You drink. You need more vitality. Cool. You need more strength. Yep. Who gets more agility? If we need to cross a large arena for whatever reason, we could definitely use more agility across the board and obviously for extra crit chance. And wisdom, you're taking the wisdom. Those be the potions we buy at this shop. We need to save our 8,000 gold for another shop. See ya. And we get a beast character? Yeah, sure, okay, uh, beast plus one. Inferno, double moves, let's go. There's fire, a foot chat room. I have 34 moves. I can probably reach the enemy with 34 moves. People mowing the grass in the neighborhood. I'm not so close that I'd have to close the window. I can smell the... Uh, being carried in the wind, the freshly cut grass. Think about all the fun I could be having outside. That I'm in here. Endless. Oh. Oh, 
I love how I'm like, oh, I don't want to run in the fire. Sunfire. Okay. Whatever. Are you better? You Maybe you are better. Maybe you're not better. It's 29 protection, 17 physical damage. We're not looking for physical damage. We're looking for strength. If you're not here to strong, then you need to go the fuck away. Those are the rules. I wouldn't mind another rock to throw. I, I would replace seven pillar with more throw rock. I have to, I have to look out for that. Will I remember to look out for that? Uh, we'll see. You're here to do that. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Haunted Ring. Minus 50 vitality. At the end of this unit's turn, spawn a friendly 1 HP specter of this unit. I'm sorry, excuse me? A legendary relic? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, minus 50. I mean, who cares about 50 vitality, right? In this economy? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Who cares about a, a unit's turn ending, right? I will, uh, I will delete this, though. I do like my necromancer beads here. We do get a lot of knockouts, which turn into a lot of skeletons. But what if we just had more specters? Huh? Think about that, which means we could just have our necromancer beads here. Yeah. Which means we just need more vitality here. It's resolved. Chug. Jug. Jug. We need more wisdom. I'm going to take you to 200 strength. Agility-wise, uh, have some more of those. You have some more of those. You can have those too. Fuck it. There you go. Jug. Jug, 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 jug. Those orange relics are just so rare see them so rarely you know like that's a, that's a that's a cool thing minus 50 vitality to get a specter out i'm willing to i'm willing to make the run more interesting by dropping my protection score that that low <laughs> I'll go 28 pick, in case I really need to get across say, a large arena for whatever reason. Hold the shot one more time. Okay, we gotta save the rest of our gold. We we burned through a lot of that on re-rolling. So much money on re-rolling. Oh, there we go. 203 strength. Cool. And uh, we have another potion shop not that far ahead. Yeah, sure, okay. Now I'll look at the purple skill. Yeah, sure, okay. Okay, sure, five enemy cultists in the next fight. You got it. I might want this extra fight instead of this event. We'll see more events. Double moves? Okay, yeah, double moves, sure, ah. Uh. Well, anyway. Sell it all. Now nah, we'll just go to the, get the event here. Again? It's another 450 gold. How could I say no? What a deal. What a steal. Just sign on the dotted line. It's just a pinprick of blood. Duh. It's going to help me buy more potions. 
After all the money I spent on re-rolling, you don't understand. I need more potion, buddy. Help. Maybe I should stop buying agility potions, he said, laughing, knowing that wasn't true. Surely that's not true. I couldn't mean that. That would mean that I'd have to pause to read. I got time to read. We'll do a more reroll. Oh, we'll have to sell that again. It's the only way. That way we can be sure. Fully geared up. You almost have as much. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, all right. Event. You again. We saw you, what, back in rut? Like, level one? Sure. I'm looking forward to fighting you too, buddy. It's gonna be great, buddy. It's gonna be a rip-roaring good time, buddy. We're gonna do that event chain. It's Andy. And three extra you. It can't even display three extra units. Aha! We might as well take this challenge. We'd be fools not to. We nearly got protection back up to 70 again on Madoka. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the game's broken. It doesn't know how to display nine units. <laughs> I can't leave the screen. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna close out Mortal Glory 2. Have we have we have we have we found a bug? I mean, well yes. I would say so. Okay, he, here's what we do. We don't turn this on. We are allowed to leave the screen. We re-equip these things. And then we actively try and sabotage the game. Yep. Okay, cool. That's what's causing it. Now, Griffith, you might... You might argue, you might exclaim, that means you shouldn't take the challenge then, right? 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 That is where you are wrong. Turn it on. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Why, yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at this. What you doing over here? Sorry, right, I didn't have any room over there to line up. I had to come over to your side of the board. I don't even care about their stats and shit. It just I'm not even bothering to Warriors don't read books. I don't I don't read stat cards, man. What can they do? Things. I don't fucking know. They do stuff. Don't ask me, I don't know shit. That fucking tornado. I guess I'll just have to walk through this. You're not allowed to have that. This kill them both? Good. Ooh. 
what is even happening? <laughs> Whomst amongst us can say, tis a mystery. These, uh, these regenerating bones really, uh, really made things exciting with how shit got lined up. Uh, we're gonna position ourselves here. That's not where. We're gonna position ourselves here. We're gonna do the cool things. We're gonna crit. Yeah. Well, anyway. You get out of here. <laughs> can't believe I did that to my troll buddy. I can't believe it. It's fucked up, man. I'm over with this fight now. The fight has concluded. <laughs> The subject is closed. Well, I mean, there are some skelly bros involved in there. You know, it's just, just you know, I'm gonna get my last hand back. Oh, 17 magic damage. Vile rain. See, here we go, Palora. Damage, 7% of targets max HP. See? Like, even if that crit. Oh, it's 14% of targets max HP. That doesn't, that does not save Christmas. 1515 it was meant to be. Alright, that's uh that was good uh, that was good bug finding. We did it. Got any uh, other cool relics? I'll uh, I'll tithe you 225. I tithe you 225. How long did we have to play this game today for me to see something like this haunted ring? I mean, I guess I wasn't looking at every relic that I ever got rolled. But, I mean, perhaps a little too rare? Like, imagine using this in a normal run, right? Like, by the time you get this... Oh, my run's over. What, what cool moves are you supposed to do with this? Like, how are you supposed to execute this in a meaningful way? Like, minus 50 vitality, unless you have, like, a spirit wall, is kind of a... Kind of a... Oof, ah. <laughs> That's a minus 150 hit points. It's a big deal. Anyway, here's the Royal Goblin. Royal Gobbo. Loaded, medical oddity, grand fortitude, split, future presence, energize, mending jab. 157 vitality. 471 hit points. Yes, every time you drink a potion with that perk, you would have one. But you can't, like, really account for, like, what perks you're going to be getting over the course of gameplay. You never know. I'm going to deal some damage now. Look at that! 19 hit points left. See, we would have gotten a kill if we didn't get bamboozled out of our positive perk. The Royal Goblin, too chunky. See that shit? We're not letting the Royal Goblin get a turn, though. We just, uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. The Royal Goblin does have smoke. Leads thick smoke. You're not making a liar out of me. I said you weren't getting a fucking turn and I meant it. legendary orange ring that I saw in that shop for several hundred gold. Which perhaps prices might be up given where I am, but man, it's still going to be several hundred gold. It's a good thing there's a sell the rest button. Phase 10. This broadcast is nearing the 10 hour mark. We're at 9 hours and 55 minutes, but of course it has not been the amount of time I've spent during gameplay. 
Um. Guys, I'm a level to get here. I truly can't say this is infinite. Do we get back-to-back -back double damage instances that uh, totally crushed Madoka? Uh, like, we could... So, like, like, you could, like, reasonably see a situation in which we would lose a fight. Yeah, that's happened before. And you could see one how we've, we've come close. But then we'd have to lose another fight in the same level. The fact that Endless is permitting you two losses instead of one is pretty damn generous. But it also did have meaning that we're kind of, we're kind of Endless. As in like, this actually has an end. <laughs> Which runs counterintuitive to my understanding of Endless. Very excellent. Reading me? Well, I guess we're gonna keep playing. Hello, B, and your constant, inexorable pursuits of games. Morrowind, no doubt. I have known Varianx for 14 years now. A pleasure. That means Varianx has known me for 14 years. Currently playing Mortal Glory 2. Mortal Glory 2 hasn't been out for too long. I have uh, put 60 or so hours into the first game. We're currently doing an endless mode of the second game. Um, this endless mode has gone on over three times the length of what a normal run would be. And so our numbers cannot be trusted at all for what the actual gameplay experience would be. From Morrowind into whatever the fuck is happening here. I really enjoy the tactics of this game. This game provides a cool tactical battle map. With a bunch of challenge modifiers and skill usages and enemy types. That have varying degrees of skills and efficacies. Efficacies. A lot of language options available on the main menu. We have fast speeds enabled though, so we can really go fast. Initiative, we take a turn, they take a turn. We take a turn, they take a turn. How our game is going is that when we take a turn, enemies get critically hit and dead. Which uh, kind of prohibits me from being able to show off some of the uh, the tactical, cool, strategic maneuvering positioning to you. But when a run has gone on endlessly, apparently, like this, what has resulted is uh, we have effectively become invincible. Which does complicate things. That's right, that is a mind flayer. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The game considers it a slitherer. Which... Look at it. They have like a mind lock racial skill that basically like stuns enemies by like prohibiting them from using their skills. It's a mind flare. Discount bargain bin mind flare. We have a troll here. We have an angel with three eyes and then we have a kitsune. Are there are other races you experience and encounter along the way. Uh, I do find this game's tactical battle map to be a firm upgrade over the first one, uh, which I broadcasted three years ago at this point uh, in winter 2021. It's in like the start of that year. Now the strategy though, like between the fights is definitely a side grade. It's a different experience. You have more of a familiar with Slay the Spire, or Monster Train, uh, a pathing that you choose. And that has apparently persisted in endless mode as well. How's your uh, Morrowind Iron Man adventure been going today? Very X. Big V. You managed to persist and endure and survive today? Or have you been flung into another run? Here's our key. We have fights and we have elites with the red skulls, which are only there. And there are plenty of like glory modifiers and other challenges, ascension related type things. That's right. Totally not a mind flare. It's a slither. You see the name tag? It's a slitherer right there. You can rename your character. We can all retire right now. We have a roster. Here in our Ludus of Gladiatorial Combat, we have stats with a drop of 14 games in total. Rolling field and patchy terrain. 10 hours of this broadcast though, we are, we are near the end. Endless did not scale enough for me 
to end, though, dealing that much damage to me. We have a combat log over here, and all this damage was dealt to my mana pool. This character has a piece of armor and effectively acts as a mana shield. Damage is MP first before HP. That's a lot of fucking damage. Uh, behavior like that is how we could lose the game. We're going to freeze everyone in place. We're going to make a little specter copy of ourselves. And we're going to come up here and we're going to find some enemies and we're going to fucking kill them. Case in point. And then we're going to have a little tornado scoot us somewhere. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You asked too many questions. Sharpen our spirits so that we can bypass all of their shielding, because they don't need that. We'll crit there for fun. And we'll land a big hit here. Perfect. This is how... Uh, when I say we have become, like, endless on our endless mode, I do mean that. I I can construct the possibility that we will lose this run. But I'm not willing to play long enough and fast enough to, to find that. A bunch of different, like, gear things. We'll just click a sell-all button. Because I know that's better than what we got. And if it is, I can't see it. Let's keep it rolling. 25% less HP. We're taking a challenge here for extra rewards. That doesn't matter. Got, like, a Minotaur over there. Some cool chained enemy. Like, pulls you in with a chain. Woo! Look at that. Singular punch. Big hit there. A lot of damage to the MP pool. I need those spell points for all of my spells that I cast. And that would severely hamper my ability to kill enemies. I didn't have them. Thankfully, though, I do have them. Deftified, doesn't matter. We deal the collision damage and get the victory. And keep it moving. Am I interested in any of these relics? As we speed through the interface 10 hours into this broadcast. They are looking gnome approaching. You have events. They are either purely positive, or ones you can opt out of. Wow, I can't believe I ran to you again. Our last fight was a dream come true. I mean, I got my ass kicked bad, but it gave me the motivation to keep chasing my dream. My dream is to become just like you. Please, let's fight again. I'll put up more of a challenge. I'll give you one of my most treasured relics. You got it. Dreams really do have a way of coming true, buddy. This is an event chain. Andy's back, and he's tougher than ever, but he... He is not scaled. Like, you get this event chain, like in the, the non-endless game. You get him on his third event... He's a beast. Like, literally, mechanically, he's a beast. He, his eyes glow red with power and everything, but here at Endless, he's not doing it. But again, that's only part two of his event chain. We'll go ahead and perform our patented strategy of win. I worked really hard on it. Run some numbers. I did the math. I came to the conclusion. If I just won the game. Hmm. He is stubborn. This will not kill him. But it will resolve that death defied so that this can kill him. Our turn. Good stuff. Relics. Stuff. Sell it. I don't have time to read. We do have time to shop. It's time for drinks, chat room. I love drinks. There's only one strength potion here. There's just a bunch of agility potions. Reroll that. We don't we don't need any more agility, he says, looking at his crit chances. Those aren't 100s across the board. I guess we could have had some more agilities. Oh, well. Here, let's uh, get yours up. A chance. How much of extra damage? You need to drink more strength potions. Strength, agility, wisdom, vitality, attack damage. 
Physical damage, knockback chance, action points, critical chance, magic damage, mana points, protection, health points. Drink. 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 And... For one moment, you can have more wisdom than Madoka. <gasps> what the fuck? Perk potion, we can't have any more perks. There we go. All is right in the world again. Okay. Our, uh, our damage scaling has been falling off this Kitsune as we have really upped our Slitherer's damage output. We don't want to be too dependent on our character in case, you know, they get down due to a double damage arena for whatever reason. Which is not this one. Start with 25% less HP? Sure, why not? The more you... The more you win, chat room, the more you keep winning. The rich get richer. Or so I'm so I've been told. I don't know. I'm, I'm not one of those riches. Hold on, we can fix this. Let's throw a rock here. Make sure I deal enough damage. I mean, it's only a 99% crit chance. I might not crit. There we go. All good. Vigorate. Look at this armor briefly. Not good enough. Scoop up this gold. And proceed. Found some jank along the way. Another, another time me spent playing a video game. I don't think I'll be shopping until this shop here at the end. I'll stay on the right path, though. Nope. Oh, 10% less HP? Okay. Sure. That is notable. Mr. Glass Helmet over here did, in fact... Lay down a real ass load of damage. When their glass helmet goes first, chat room, it downs her angel one blow and nearly obliterates all of our MP. Glass helmet here is something that our Madoka wears. Attacks from this unit pierce protection and the incoming damage is doubled. So all of our cool armor just entirely nullified, like we're doing to the enemy. Well, anyway, all these barrels can't angle this shot so that it doesn't like just this targets three units with an area of effect, and that's not good enough because that might kill the barrels, which is not actually killing my enemies. So what I think I can try doing here is this, but that didn't kill it any of them. That worked. I guess. How goes Endless? Um, It's absurd, Tangled. We're at the end of our time together because we're at the end of our time together. Not because I'm actually being legitimately threatened that we're gonna lose. It's been a long time since I've had a run going, a fight going to turn two. We'll cruise through the stance quickly for you, Tangled. We have Madoka Safrina Yoda, who was uh, named in chat. The F and Benchwarmer, also named by someone in chat. We're on level 10, as opposed to uh, where the game would normally end on level three. Our numbers are... We've had a lot of potions. We have lots of protection value. We do lots of damage. And we could potentially take lots of damage, too. That glass helmet that was being wielded against us did a, did a nice number. Indisputably so. If we didn't have as much MP as we did on Madoka, we wouldn't actually be able to open up with our cool moves. We'd have to lean on... Well, not Safrina, because she was down. Yoda 
could have resurrected Safrina and then ZF could have had to take us home. I have made sure to split damage dealing capabilities in case any character does get fucked. I replaced Yoda's racial skill with the Angel's racial, racial skill. We still have the others with what they are. Uh, we did some science and ended up getting two negative perks as a result of our science. Well, one of them was the science. The other one because I didn't give a fuck anymore. Because I was... I've kind of been trying to end this run. I've walked into a pit intentionally. <laughs> I can't even care. I turned on fast mode like half the run ago. Which hasn't actually been that much real time ago. Booby trapped, windy, and rough surfaces. Have no fear I will end you quickly. Okay. And if he gets a beast character and a plus one. For whatever reason, don't worry about it, it's fine. What skill did you- Burrowing Blade. Gotcha. Also damages any unit behind the target, repeat the effect for all effective units, half of damage pierces protection. That- that hit the entire line of four, that was pretty effective. We just ended up like in a condensed area where we were all together in a line instead of at least having one space between us. And Muba got to go first. And Muba had enough movement to get hit all of us. Yoda hasn't gone down in a, well, relatively recent thanks to the slither. Yeah, that, that fucking hurt. Okay. So there are definitely some moves that you could see that could like legit threaten the team. Irrefutable. Of course the Spectre had to spawn there, so I couldn't bring the troll back. For fuck's sakes, this fucking game. <laughs> Piece of trash. There's too much to fucking ask. gonna go win now. I'm gonna be bloody pleased about it. Yep, yep, yep. That's not a potion shot. What am I supposed to do with that? I guess I'll stop it and say hi. Another haunted ring? Is it time? Do we? The haunted ring meta. My god. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, hold on. We'll, we'll save that. We don't, we don't, we don't want to get too carried away. Let's roll again. We'll tip the barkeep. The, the shopkeep. The whatever keep. They're keeping it. When do we fight the goblin? I mean, we fought a, we fought a goblin boss. We don't attack shopkeepers. This isn't Spelunky. It is still plus 12. It is still plus 12, though, you know, 145 vitality. I mean, they're scaling. They are definitely scaling. I take double damage with this glass helmet on. So, you know, it's worth keeping in mind. boss of endless that I don't think you understand how this works I don't think the dev understands how this works either I think there's been some miscommunication here sure you can be tougher again mana cost tab booby trapped sure howdy you have reached the... Or you're near the end of our time together. I'm also near the end of our time together.
It was much longer than I anticipated broadcasting today because I, for whatever bizarre reason, thought that endless mode would defeat me. But apparently one loss wasn't good enough. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have two losses at the same level. Of course you do. I've unlocked so much more time with my day. No. There we go. I've been following you all this time. Now let's fight. Andy. Andy is ready. Andy's here for blood. Look at Andy. We'll look more at Andy in a moment. Look at Andy's stats. 22 strength, 38 agility, 18 wisdom, 30 vitality. He remains the same. Beast, stubborn, frenzied. Charge, wild swing, sudden gust, turbulent waves. His gear is mighty and potent. He is a real serious foe to face, like in the normal game. The problem is that we are not in the normal game. Look at this gnome above him. Look at Betty up here. 67 strength, 117 agility, 64 wisdom, 59 vitality. Look at Jafar. Blithy. Itata. Trying to removal debuff? You got it. I mean, that... that... that did stuff. I guess. I could think about it. Well, anyway. Whoop! Andy! You goonies! Look at you defying death. Defy this. Eat that, Andy. With your um, bleeding acid mist and immune to acid mist. Yep, 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 yep. Step one. Gaftify. Step two. This slitherer is hasty, and so can just spam these skills, and has been really great at cleaning up shit. Just so good at it. Yeah, just I can I I can keep alpha striking because we don't <laughs> we don't really go that far into turns anymore. We have 15,000 gold. Let's shop, everyone. You ready to drink? I love drinking. Uh, drink, 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 drink. That's a lot of agility. Drink, drink, drink. We don't need that much agility anymore. See, we're all, we're all 100 percent in. Yeah, we definitely weigh 100% uh, here. We can have that. You can have that. Cool. Drink. 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 Okay. 1750 for another reroll. I think we're good. Especially given our inventory is full. It's time to get some more wisdom on Madoka. They said it couldn't be done. They were wrong. They're always wrong, Chad. Remember that? All the doubters. The deniers. Look at Yoda's avatar pulsing with power. Real ultimate power. Drink. 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 Getting close back up there to 70 protection. Two haunted rings. At the end of this unit's turn, spawn a friendly 1 HP specter of this unit. This is prohibiting me from, you know, increasing the vitality of the people who don't have mana shields. It is making them easier to down. That is irrefutably so. All right. Level 10 white. First time we're seeing you today. 127 vitality, you know, invigorated, thick hide. Flooding mirror, big summoner, big summoner. Also has a spirit wall, so we're going to have to get through that MP first. Will we manage? 
Maybe. My turn. I do like this music track. Suitably epic. Let's go ahead and finish you with a rock throw. Right, I was meant to look out for another rock for Yoda. Well... That'd be pretty cool. Oh, well. Oh, I need to sharpen up. Yeah, death defy that. My slither did not even need a turn. Look at this. You see what all this is? Did you say potion money? Is that what I heard you say? You said potion money. That's right. It's potion money. Gobbled it. Doubled money. More potions. Grimith, eventually at the rate of scaling, you will not be able to afford as many potions. That's... You know, it, the rerolls just keep getting more expensive every level. And that's true. But, but we're on level 11 right now. I'm going to back out, and I'm going to find the folder for my game save. Wherever the hell it is in here. I should be able to remember this pretty quick. He said tilting his head. It was in local low. There we go. We'll copy the save folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and abandon this run. But I'll keep that save there. So I always have that. Yes, I'm sure. Our score is 10,000. Looks like we get a thousand. I got a thousand points every run. But it's not even showing up here. Doesn't even list a. Doesn't even list a scoreboard in the bottom left corner like it does for the other things. What the hell, man? Of course, we didn't get any completion trophy for that because it's endless. How could you possibly complete it? Oh, no, no, t I tell you what, game. I'll show you. I'll copy that folder. I'll paste that folder. We'll launch the game again. We'll run it back. You're not even giving me a little score in the bottom left corner? Bam, it's like I never left. You know... I didn't think I would be done with Mortal Glory 2. By the way, you can only have one save. At least supported by the game. When I started this broadcast, the uh, my time with the first game ended. Broadcasting it. With Endless. I haven't seen everything there is to see with Glory levels. I've cleared 9. There's 10 through 15 to go. But I'm not too engrossed by the glory levels. Uh, they really do change how the game plays, and not in a way that I find enjoyable, particularly given how uh, gladiators are handled. Challenges, they definitely are here to do as well. Uh, the ones I haven't done are rotating skills, which is a fun, random adaptation thing. Early enemies, which always has mele melee attacks, flying knockback, and permanent death, which I don't know how I feel about coming into like Mortal Glory 2 compared to Mortal Glory 1. It is possible after 60 plus hours with the video game. Let me like, load up the Steam page particular. 68 will factor in like an hour of me just like being idle on it during stream. Like four or f five hours of my runs have gone much quicker than that of the two runs I did off stream. Compare that to Mortal Glory, which has 61.8 hours in it. Uh, one of which was my off-stream endless run. My last time I played that in February 3rd, 2021. So I played the game about the same time. Uh, the tactics of Mortal Glory 2 are superior to those of Mortal Glory 1. The strategic stuff, bit of a side grade. Uh, it's been a fun experience, well worth my prize of admission, which has been free. 
the game is not on sale anymore, unless it's on sale as part of the Steam Summer Sale. Summer Sale? Yeah, Summer Sale, Grimoth. Yeah, so it is no longer on sale. Uh, 11 dollars US dollars. It would have went off sale... Like the 18th, was it? I think it was on sale for two weeks after its official release on the 4th. Yeah. Yeah, this is well worth the price of admission. Just a fluke that I ended up finding this. A fluke that was this was really sent to me, I'd say. It had a positive impact upon the game. That's a bug fixing. We had this. How many race options? Minotaur, Wizard, Troll, Chained, Ubibozu, Dwarf, Elf, Slitherer, Gnome, Fiendling, Werewolf, Kitsune. That we just rolled around endlessly. I really do enjoy that spirit projection. Then we have the Prowler, the Vampire, the Undine, the Lizard, the Dryad, the Whisperer, the Angel, and the Minotaur. I think the Lizard's the only character we ended up not having in the party over the course of these runs. But we certainly fought plenty of Lizards to know how their racial skill and everything works. There we go. I provided my feedback. I provided my review on Steam. I feel good with Mortal Glory 2 for now, having having done that. Endless just going on how fucking long? That fucking long. We made so much gold this run. We spent so much gold. 99 and 1. <laughs> I'm the inverse of Gabby J. Gabby J! Yay! Okay. It has been a pleasure being with you over the course of the past 10 hours. Which as it was, the past several hours have really been a blur. A lot, a lot of speed gaming, a lot of nuking, a lot of dunking. And we could see glimpses of how we would lose that endless run. We still didn't take one loss in those later levels. And even if we had, we still would have needed to take a second one or lose to a boss. And that was with me slamming those challenges. Which you can't take challenges during the boss fights. So, you know. Yes, you are quite welcome. Oh, shower with all manners of wealth. Everything remained stable. Twitch chat had to connect three times. So it goes, that is absolutely it for me. As it turns out, I don't fucking feel like broadcasting anything else today. I am done with this computer today. <laughs> and I'm done with all of you. I do not have anyone to direct you folks to from whom I could vouch. That would make for a good transition. Releasing you out into the wild. But really, it's because I'm fucking leaving. I'm not sitting to watch any damn one. Ugh. Take care. Smoochies, who fucking knows when I'll be back broadcasting? But it's probably not going to be this game again. We could dust off Mortal Glory 2, maybe, in the nebulous time period known as whenever Fickle Grimace feels like, which could be tomorrow, could be ten years from now. But, but likely not anytime soon. Fare thee well. I said fairly well. It's time to go. Goodbye.